chicken like one, dolomite. Two, three, Last one got copyright. I'm kicking like dolomite. Five, just to be sure. Hey, one time, Last you ready? Got copyright. Yeah. Last one got okay. copyright. Hey. You know what time it is. Every time I rhyme, it's just a sign that I'm about to kill. Yeah, it's time for weapon wheel. We got the skill, we got the games. Don't make me grab it still. I put a hole in one like Abby did to Joe. Yeah, for him. But when it comes to aiming, I don't miss like Master Chief. I'll grab the piece and give your ass to Halo just for talking sweet. When it comes to gaming, yeah, you know our team's elite. Check the leaderboards, run the game. You should pick up your feet. You can't lose them too smooth. Just going to admit defeat. And ain't no captain around here. Cause like Vond, I keep receipts. The most dangerous, better than these other guys. Try to come for us, what's like between your eyes like Jen Sakai? That's no lie, no prank. I grab the ratchet, no clank, and get my jiggy mask to show you how Jack Move got his name. Yeah. Weapon Look, look, look. King of the castle like Cooper, captain of the ship. My name ain't Blandry, but don't make me have to hit the switch. We'll dump you overboard, then watch the views. I ain't talking Twitch. Hey, yo, Alex, go ahead. Talk to him real quick. Say yo, still putting wheels on the pavement. My game so tight, it's like Jordan one lays. Hey, we stay in these gaming streets, ain't no way to be dormant. Hey, a Drake will leave your body uncharted like Lost Fortune. Coco Long Seen was cute, hey, and yeah, it served its purpose. But I'm trying to give a detailed description of what a hearse is. I say we flip the switch on these against before it get bland. I see a lot of pods jack in the format like that, but damn. You hitting the dislike button? You still a fan? Talk slick in the comments and like Dutch, I got a plan. We don't do the sneak dissing, that's that stuff that gets you banned. Last time we told your fellow squad up, you turned telling him go. It's like I play with the sliders up. Get it. You just got 30. The game turn me the time is up. Since 2015, we've been kicking game knowledge up. Dust your boots and join the crew if you wild enough. Hey. 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 Developers, Dust developers, developers. Dolomite. Forty clips kicking like dolomite. Hey, forty clips. Aimed at your fit beam, shoddy, so much ammo, it don't make sense. Trying to compete is a sacrifice, die again in your afterlife. I'm taking a road trip, they need to get on a fight. Do, do, do. Guns and body counts, that's, that's all that I tend to like. Any other podcast, a copy, it look alike. Hey, hey, and what they say? Huh. What they say, huh? Hey, hey, what well, I say? Put them, hey, I put them in the dirt. Toss to get hurt, no face, no case. Mess up like a jiggy merch shirt. Hey. Sliding in that vent, I'm gonna get back. Time to pay that debt. Weapon Wonder what weapon well we keeping it true, we keeping it real. What weapon well they watch our move, they copy still. What weapon well we keeping it true, don't care what you feels. What weapon well they watch our move, they copy still. Weapon well, weapon well, watch I show you my weapon well. Weapon well, weapon well, watch I show you my weapon well. What weapon well we keeping it true, we keeping it real. What Weapon well, they watch our move, they copy your style. BG, Black Vine, Jack Move, Kiss Move, Blandrew, Alex Two. Damn man, that's a heavy crew. Other pies, they don't know what to do. They watch and they copy our every move. And they still fly like the Wii U. Jack Move voice, we saying you hop off the roof. Long range, no scope, yeah, I'ma shoot. Cause they wanna play games, no David Blaine, but I'll make a nigga go poof. Oh, this not a game. Gang talk, they gonna what you know about the slang. Hop out the range. All black master will step out your lane. Every week it's us on your screen. Every weekend we entertain. It's not a thing that gets in between. Me and my team, me and my gang. When I'm on the beat, you already know. Trace to the top, yeah, we about to blow. BG my dog, he told me let's go. Sit back, relax, it's time for the show. What weapon well, we keeping it true, we keeping it real. What weapon well, they watch our move, they copy and steal. What weapon well, we keeping it true, don't care what your feels. What weapon well, they watch our move, they copy and steal. Weapon well, you you weapon well. Watch how I show you my weapon well. Weapon well, you weapon well. Watch how I show you my weapon well. What weapon well, we keeping it true, we keeping it real. What weapon well, they watch our move, they copy your style. We got the guns on deck, no foul car, but you know I came with a tag. Yeah, since 2015, been stepping on the seat, putting foots on nets. Yeah, set them up, super soaker, pump action, wet them up. Shooting out the floor. Yeah, we catching up. We got the games, y'all are bark, drop by midnight. Hit the like show, it's just how you feel.
weapon well. We keeping it true, we keeping it real. What weapon well? They watch our moves, they copy and steal. What weapon well? We keeping it true, don't care about your feels. What weapon well? They watch our moves, they copy and steal. Weapon well, weapon well. Watch out, show you my weapon well. Weapon well, weapon well. Watch out, show you my weapon well. What weapon well? We keeping it true, we keeping it real. What weapon well? They watch our moves, they copy and steal. Fucking out of here and then fuck do it again and fuck sick of this dude. Yo, mic check, mic check. Um we throwing it back? Can uh uh if one more one one more person shows up, if one more person shows up, then uh I'm gonna go to the cams. You know the cams is five people and up. I know y'all wanna why see you, our faces. Why are you talking like that? What do you mean? It's just us. <laughs> Why are you talking to me like you broadcast? You saying uh, you like my voice. That's what you say. No, I'm saying it's just us for Why are you talking? <laughs> you, you saying talking? you like my voice. You freaky. <laughs> oh, you're live. You weirdo. I thought you was in there talking to us like, yeah. Get, get, get. Uh, what do you mean? I, this is how old. <laughs> I didn't know you was live. You're freaky. Nah, you, listen, just say you like my voice, bro. That's it. <laughs> you like you my voice? It turn you on? Sexy red. Let's get it. We we get it, man. Just say, uh, you know, you, it's okay to compliment. It's Black History Month, so you can compliment hey, me can without we, it being gay. Can we, do a, can we do a giveaway? Can the person that guesses how many wrinkles in your shirt get like a $10 PSN card? <laughs> That's impossible to guess how many wrinkles in my shirt. <laughs> that is literally not possible, good brother. Um, Wow. Yo, the last 24 hours? What the hell happened? What are you Nig talking about? Bro, dudes is calling this like the precip the precipice of the end of the war or something like that. They said the console wars is over. I don't I don't mean to use hyperbole, but they saying the console war is over and like uh everybody could um you know put down their weapons and uh go home and be family men. That's what they saying. That's what they saying me. All right. My girl was asleep. I had to walk in there and uh get me some fruit snacks. Yeah, a lot. Me? Yeah, what up, Blandrew? How's it going? Yeah. What, Blandrew? Damn. Don't be mad at me. Mm. Don't be mad because you lose losing exclusives. Oh, there mm. you go. It's good, Jack. Hello, yeah, brother. Man. Listen, um, like, I I'm getting reports that the console war is over. So everybody can put down their weapons, lower, you lower your guns like the Michael Jackson meme. Let's all go home and be family, man. Hug, hug your wife, hug your children. The Yeah, they waving... The white flag. This is what I'm being told. I don't mean to be dramatic and, you know. But that's that's what it's looking like. You know, like the end of World War II when everybody was outside dancing and like the newspaper and all that shit. That's, that's what I'm being told, man. Same energy. Same energy. Wow. How are you, Smooth? <sighs> um... I'm all right. Um, well, my retirement is coming sooner rather than later. Retirement um, from what? Retirement from <laughs> everything. Everything. Essentially, everything. I, I'm still going to play video games, but I got to make a huge pivot. That's a very popular word nowadays. Pivot. Mm. So, um, yeah, man, I, 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 I don't know, man. Um, it's... We gonna have a lot to talk about. Yeah, oh, man, yeah, we are. We it's are. smooth. We are. His descent into yeah. madness. Whoa! Well, well, don't, <laughs> don't get don't get too crazy, <laughs> Blandry. Because because you said you quitting if if everything goes all digital, <laughs> man. Oh, facts. Yeah. Mm. I'm here to defend smooth today, man. I feel like people 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 is looking at this wrong, smooth. Mm. They don't see what's going on, brother. Okay, shit, crazy. Um, well, I'll I'll just say this, smooth. I I am pro exclusives, but at the same time, you guys let Microsoft get away with this for so long, so you can't be surprised that it got to this point. That's all. No, I'm no, because your narrative is wrong, very wrong. Narrative, very fucking wrong. His <laughs> narrative, narrative. Thank you, Jack. Blue. About y'all not buying games, so they yes, have... yes, buy not buy games. Yes, yes, it's very wrong. That's <laughs> like, what I, accent I, was I, that? I, it's I don't know. It's my frustrated with Blandrew accent, like. The thing is, is that this is how you look at it. You say we don't buy games or Xbox gamers didn't buy games. And it's not true. The problem that, that's is that's a fact. No, that's not a fact. Because what happened is this is what happens. Let's I'm, I'm not going to count because during the three, Xbox 360 era, we bought games, right? We bought okay. games, right? 
Because the Xbox yes. 360 yes. sold yes. more consoles. Yes. Things were fine and dandy on the Xbox. Yeah, there was more consoles out there, so more Xbox 360 customers, so more Oof. people bought games, right? Uh-huh. Right. That's how it worked. Xbox One wasn't very successful as a console. So, oh, wait, before, Xbox, before you even continue listen, that, where would where would we say Xbox One ended at sales wise? I don't think we ever got an official. Number probably for that. fifty million at best. That's still a D. De- okay, go ahead. So, factor that right. Let's say fifty million, but when Xbox was actually competing, it, we say they ended at around like fifty million. When they were competing, we're looking at maybe 35, 40. Right, so when you factor the games that were coming out, their realistic peak for game selling that's not named Call of Duty or Grand Theft Auto, the best a game can possibly do on Xbox One was about five million. And the games that did that were Halo, Guardians, and Gears Four. They and, and like they did that. Now all the other games that were putting out in that same period did not. But Halo, if Halo was... Halo, Gears, was, and Forza, we know. Yeah, they did those numbers that they could do to an install base of about 35, 40 million. So you can't turn, say that we don't buy games. It's like, no, y'all niggas didn't buy the console. Well, so, to, to because me, well, y'all niggas didn't buy the console. So there's not enough of y'all. To y'all niggas not buying games. There's not enough of well, we, we y'all buying Nintendo, the console. We still had Nintendo games. games doing five, eight, nine million on an install base of fourteen million back in the day on the Wii U. So that's no okay because the, the Nintendo's fit. That's all right. So Nintendo is a special case, a special case of a bunch of retarded motherfuckers. So <laughs> when, <laughs> when they sell a console, the install base is like uh, fucking one, bro. Or wait, wait, say, say again. Did it's we like officially announce the podcast? We no, doing? we didn't. It's coming in hot. Oh man, y'all, y'all, y'all gotta say that, man. Coming in hot about? and heavy. Okay, let's introduce the podcast. This is Weapon Wheel Podcast, episode three hundred and ninety-five, closing in on four hundred, real quick, faster than Jack Move closes in on Alex. We are on iTunes, Google Play, Spotify, all your favorite audio live streaming platforms. Um. To support the podcast, check out patreon.com slash weapon wheel podcast. You can become a YouTube channel member by hitting the join button. Um, and also, it is completely free. I don't know if y'all knew this. It's completely free to hit the like button. Uh, some of the Patreon perks, After Dark, ask us any question, no matter what it is. Early access to Planet Xbox episodes. Access to the Weapon Wheel Discord. You can submit uh, Weapon Wheel trivia questions and gaming questions that we will answer during the show. To submit gameplay for the podcast, the uh, link is in the description. Um, I appreciate all submissions for gameplay. By the way, bro, I was trying to get some gameplay for Suicide Squad today and like yesterday, asking everybody in the Discord, bro. I, I might as well have been panhandling in the middle of Times Square, bro. Like I was like, nobody I mean, had gameplay. I was like, yo, man, could could you spare some Suicide can, Squad gameplay? Can, can, can you blame him? Hey, BG, I got a quick question. How long was that last after dark, good brother? What was it like five hours? Damn, a five hour that's additional crazy. five. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think I think so. Hey, I think like five hours. That's real yeah. content, and that's that's on the short side. We done had what eight hour after yeah, dark. Eight. Are, are you yeah. still beefing with these niggas, Jay? <laughs> no, I'm just saying that's a lot of content right there. That's a good yeah. price for the content, bro. That's all I'm yeah. saying. Yeah. So couldn't get no Suicide Squad gameplay. It's 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 sparse out there for it. Um, Why you hit up Jermaine? Uh, Jay man, he got some. Oh well. Oh, he got no. Oh, he got some. He been playing it. Truth of YouTube got some. Hello, <laughs> I'm not familiar. I'm not familiar with that. that? Oh, man. You, you know what? a former superstar when he mentioned it. Don't do that. Oh, Don't not, ring a bell. Not familiar. Um. So yeah, let's do these intros. Smooth. I'll let you go first. What's up, everybody? It is the best gamer. It's smooth. And, um, <laughs> we missed what something. County, nigga? Hold on. What? <laughs> he can't what say the best spot no more. You got to say the best game, right? which oh, is also. Oh, okay. See, y'all, went, y'all didn't peep. Y'all didn't peep. Mm. Go ahead, smooth. Yep, uh, uh, best gamer um, in my home. So uh, yeah, like we gonna we gonna have a good show today. Okay, smooth. I've been to your house. I seen your your son play Halo. It's debatable. Yeah, you sure you the best gamer in your yeah, house? Yeah, it's, it's debatable. You know, he could have an edge on you. Just saying. Way back at it. Um, I mean, for I mean, hey, at the rate that uh, uh, we we going, I told you. Uh, Xbox get get out the uh you know the the business you know I'm done gaming so yeah he may in a few years or so be the best gamer in the house. Mm. That don't feel weird to say smooth that their business practices determine if you do your hobby. This is what's crazy though. Some people say smooth never started gaming, mm. but smooth. Mm. Like I, I feel you though, brother. Yeah, I'm with you, brother. Alex, what's my username today? 
No, this is Chef Bubble Foam Sluts coming out in what? Two foam days. Slut? Very excited. Going to be in the foamies with my homie. Yeah. Is, wait, excited, is, boy. Is, is Chef Bubble one of the characters on there? Is it y'all just That's, made up that name? That was my that was my title on the game. Yes. Sassy ass. Uh, Jack. What's good? What's popping? Yeah, that's it. All right, Blander. How's it going, everybody? Let's have a good show today. Sorry, right. Smooth. And uh, our guests, invited by Alex, Ham Solo. How are you doing, sir? Does he have, oh, uh, wait, does he have speaking privileges? Oh, he, he might, might not. Yeah, have... you got to get yeah, him okay, the role, hold on, brother. Hold on, hold on. Let me give you hey, some Jack. What's speaking there, privileges. How's it want to say this? Been on the portal, boy. This shit kind of clutch, dog. I've been when it, on the portal. You, you been having connection issues yet, bro? No, because I'm wired, my guy. Fuck you. All right. Yeah. Uh, you should be good now, Ham. How you doing? <clears throat> What's cracking? What's cracking, y'all? Thanks for the invitation. Appreciate it. I'm just getting my camera and stuff set up in the background because I was trying to get it set up just a little bit ago, but I ain't got no permission, so I wasn't sure what was going on back there. Okay. So I was in time out with it. Right. Yeah. Okay, cool. All right. Um, so I want to get started. We're going to have a nice seamless podcast today. Um, let me start out with some super chats. You know, I'm, I'm going to try to do better with the super chats, try to not neglect y'all, be timely with it. Almighty J24, imagine spending billions to keep games on your platform only to give them away anyway. Mm. Metro Knight, I need all the violence this episode while I play Grand Blue Fantasy. Really? Okay. Uh, let me go to Patreon real quick and uh, let's do some question and trivia. Uh, I think there was some question and trivia that I didn't do last week that I'm going to try to take care of real quick. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, okay. Here's from last week. Mafia Quad. In Batman Arkham Asylum, which of these villains does not appear in a, as a boss fight? Is it A, Joker, B, Scarecrow, C, Bane, or D, Ra's al Ghul? D. Thought it was... Isn't it D? Uh, I'm going to say Bane. I remember Arkham remember Asylum. You remember, remember you Arkham Asylum. Yeah. Y'all remember when you fought Bane, brother? I, I, yeah, to run him into the wall and shit. That was definitely Arkham Asylum. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you fought Scarecrow in the little. You, uh, yeah, yeah, man. This little just, dream sequence. Yeah, Roger Ra Ra Ghoul. That was the second game. I, Arkham City, he was in that game. Yep. Uh, definitely D. Answer is uh, D. Ray Shao Ghul. Mm. See, I, you know, growing up, I always said uh, how you said it, Jack. Uh, Raja Ghul. Ghul. But people have been telling me recently is Ray Shao Ghul. I like Raja Ghul. Ray Shao. I like yeah. I like Raja Ghul better, yeah. man. It sounds uh, better, man. Yeah, I, thanks. I don't know what's the true pronunciation. I like I like Raja Ghul better though. Um, okay, Nick Knack. In celebration of both the Oscar nominations and Tekken Eight releasing this week, let's do some trivia based on the. 20, uh, 2009 Tekken film. I forgot there was a Tekken film at all. Uh, uh, for, really seen that. for those that have seen the film, Tekken fo uh, follows Jin fighting a ton of characters you're familiar with in the franchise. Uh, down below is a list of Tekken characters he battles. Put them in particular order. He fights them from first to last. I'm we haven't even seen it. So Who's in this movie? <laughs> no, I, nobody even knew this existed. Uh, it's exclusive. The characters are um, Anna and Nina, Brian, Kazuya, Martial Law, Miguel, and Yoshimitsu. Uh, I, know he, say... I know he fought Miguel first, for a fact. I know he fought Miguel first. The singer? Go ahead, okay. go ahead, Alex. Okay. Go ahead, Alex. I'm just going with Miguel. Okay. That's um, it? That he fought, fought him first? You're still Yeah, he fought him first. No. Damn. Um, I'm going to say he fought that Nina person first. Nina. Here's right the order. with that Nina. Here's the order. He fought uh, Martial Law, uh, yeah, Miguel, both Anna and Nina in, a, in a, an attempted assassination. Yoshimitsu, then Brian, and then finally Kazuya. This was a live action movie? No, I, I think, no, it was uh, animated. I, mean, I, ain't animated. Never, I ain't never seen or heard of this, bro. Yeah. That was on Netflix. It was on, oh, I ain't never you seen You actually that. saw that movie, Ham? Hell no, I didn't see the movie. Uh, I just thought it was on Netflix. <laughs> <laughs> said 2009 BG. Yeah, I know they made an animated Tekken series. It, that might have been live action. Then I don't know. Yeah, I ain't never seen that. Bro. A Dragon Ball movie. Yeah, 
All right. Mafia Quad again. What is the name of the first open world video game with 3D graphics? Is it A, Super Mario 64, B, The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, C, Mercenary, or D, Elder Scrolls Daggerfall? I'm going Ocarina of Time. I don't even consider Mario 64 an open world game by those standards. I'm going Ocarina. Uh, I'm going to go Daggerfall. Yeah, I'm going to go Super Mario. Uh, I want to go Super Mario, but I think that's a trick question, bro. I'm going to go with the dagger shit they said. I, I feel like this is kind of a trick question. It's He said it's C, Mercenary, which was released in 1985. I don't even know what oh, that I don't is. Even, yeah, I don't, I, yeah, I don't know what the fuck that we is. We weren't born yet. Well, well, that's maybe not Jack. 3D, bro. We're, we're, How we know it wasn't? You ain't see the game. How you know it ain't 3D? Because it was I mean, in 1985. <laughs> but I mean, bro. maybe. Uh, it might have been 3D. I, I have no, I have no idea what that is, but y'all look it up. Um, and last one, knickknack. All right, for this week's trivia, I'm gonna give you you guys an easy gaming list, and I just want you to see uh, what all the games have in common. Here's a list: Fruit Ninja, Nicktoon, Nicktoons Unite, Hollow Knight, The Blob, and Cult of the Lamb. Mmm, they all have oh, a watermelon in them. Oh no, you said. Fruit Ninja, Nicktoons Unite, Hollow Knight, The Blob, and Cult of the Lamb. What the fuck does Fruit Ninja have to do with SpongeBob? Uh, oh, they all got a pineapple in it. I'll say they, they've all got demonic imagery in them. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> Nick Slashing? I don't fucking I don't know. What kind of Sunday school answer? In, the indie, indie game? What, what's the, what's the, what is it? Pineapple. Is, telling it's the pineapple. They were all made in Australia. So, Australian teams. How are you oh. gonna figure, man? Somebody, hey man, these trivia questions is crazy, man. What are y'all doing, bro? It's supposed to be. They gonna ask us like social security number next week. Hey man, y'all got to get some. <laughs> we might know out this motherfucker, bro. All right. No way in hell I would have got that. Um. All right. Let's get to the the, the topics. Let's get to it. Um. I'm gonna start up with. Oh, as we always do, start off with layoffs first. You know. Um. This is a horrible year for gaming. This this week ain't too bad though. Um. Ah. So the only three I got. Um, no, I think there's only two. So, Idols Montreal, because they're under, um, what's that terrible publisher? Embracer, right? Embracer. Okay. Embracer. Oh, Embracer. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're under Embracer now, so everybody under them gets laid off or just um, thrown into the void. Uh, they laid off about 100 people, and they canceled the Deus Ex game that they had in development for like two years, which is sad because I really like Deus Good Ex. Uh, I like Deus Ex Mankind Divided, and um, I was about to say, y'all like Deus Ex? I thought that was yeah. very mediocre. Classic IP. No, I, I really like it. It's, I really like it. I'm so I'm I'm saddened by that. It sucks. Um, really would like another one. Um, but yeah, that, it's it's over, man. It's Jober. And <laughs> Sega reportedly laid off about ten percent of some of their staff. Their um, American staff, not their American Japanese staff. staff. Yeah, because you know. Japanese. I'm about to say, Blanger, you were just talking about how Japanese developers don't lay off people like that. That would have been nah, crazy nah, if that it's, was. A... It's, yeah, it's the, no, it's their American branch that they uh, lay off people. Whew. Anybody want to hey, move to Japan? Hey man, good shit, bro. Good shit. Gaming industry, they they doing their thing, man. Yeah. Yes, sir. Natural selection. That's what I call it. Gaming, <laughs> gaming selection. Darwinism. Gaming yes, Darwinism. That's what. Yeah, Only the I strong it. survive, man. I love it. Um, MLB The Show 24. They announced it's coming out March 19th. This year, uh, usually comes out in like April, but it's early this year. Um, no, last last couple of years it's been it's been March. That was like really? February. Oh, or I something. think the only one I think the only one that came out in April was when it first came to multi plat, um, and that was like the twenty one. Uh, I'm a I'm a hate on this as I always do every year, um, simply because look, I get it. It's it's baseball. It's the only baseball game. You might make the case that's that's one of the reason it's successful. Um, I mean, no, it was still better when it when there was that other baseball game that existed. People still said this one was better, but I'm still hating on it because I just don't like the idea of a PlayStation first party studio solely being dedicated to making just a baseball game. So that's that's a studio that is never going to do anything I ever care about because I don't care about baseball. So I'm hating on this. Like, can I, I, can y'all at least like maybe increase the studio staff just a little bit so maybe they can work on something uh, you know like have some people they, in there work on something indie or or double a bro something 
They did that years ago in both of the games. It was Watch, bad. Yeah. It was bad. Yeah, they I, tried to make two games. I guess they was supposed to be game that Kill Strain shit. Yeah, and then it, it was another game. I played Kill Strain. That shit was ass. And then it was one more game they was making. Both them games, they fucking suck, bro. Bad. Give, mm. give, them, give them another chance, bro. I can't take it with only baseball games coming from the studio every single year, bro. I can't do it. So. Yes, it generate revenue, man, and people like it. So I don't yeah. give a fuck you about baseball. Like you feel like it's a waste of time. I mean, like if they doing it well, what? Dude, dude, just do something else too, though. Like annualize, like uh, that's 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 it's nasty. Um, yeah, I just I just don't like it, man. I'm I'm hating on it. Uh, Rise Star, be prepared to come on the podcast when that comes out, because you know that's uh that's 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 the one time we need you two times a year when Sonic if Sonic comes out and when baseball comes out. That's the only thing you're good for. Wow. So, uh, Please, please be that's, ready to be on, sir. That's Thank crazy. You. Um, so yeah, and I, yeah, I get it. It goes to Game Pass, so they're making you know it goes everywhere, so they're making a lot of money from it. Cool, I guess. Fine, whatever. Uh, I got attacked this week. Every every week I get attacked because I tell a di- a, a different fan base the truth that they don't want to hear. Before mm-hmm. I told banjo fans that um they don't exist. It's always non-existent fan base. I told, I think before, I told Silent Hill fans that they don't exist. Um, they attacked me, and in th- this past week, I told, uh, I told, X specifically Xbox Visions of Mana fans or Mana fans that they don't exist, and they mm. showed up in my, you know, in my thread. Oh no, we're gonna buy the game. You know, like, no, you're not. <laughs> no, you're not. Big dog, relax. Uh. Y- y'all not buying that game, and I and it, and I'm not. I'm not shaming y'all. There's no history of Visions Visions games on Xbox like that. It's not a huge JRPG by anybody. So I'm not blaming y'all. It's, it just is what it is. Why y'all mad at me, bro? I'm just calling out facts. So wow, you know, there I go getting yelled at any, for any, no any, reason. Anybody, again. anybody here picking it up on Xbox? Was, anybody? No. no. Is there a fan base that you're waiting to go at BG? Is it gonna be on Game Pass, Move? Wait, wait, what? I thought we're we're not talking about MLB no more. Visions. No, no, mana, mana. Visions of mana. RJ. Oh no, 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 no. If it's not on Game Pass, then I might hold off. It's not. Yeah. It, yeah, it's you, not. You might you might hold off or you are going to hold off. You see, and this is exactly why your future looks exactly the way it does, Smooth. <laughs> not willing to support nothing that comes to your platform. Unlike yeah, they us lovable Nintendo fans. Yeah. Um... <laughs> lovable. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So um shout out to the few hundreds of people that that will buy it i'm sure game i'm sure gaming addict to buy it he liked jrpgs like that he probably messing with it maybe he said that gaming addict crack yeah. it do <laughs> um a mario vs donkey kong uh demo came out on switch right um bland you tried it out you, are you gonna buy that? I'm, a, I'm gonna pick it up but i didn't play the demo okay yeah i'm skipping that one I, i'm not trying to i i don't I'm like like Jack says for no return. I'm standing on business. I don't like the Donkey Kong disrespect. Um, so when you actually you know give me another Donkey Kong game, I will be there day one. But you're not going you know submit Donkey Kong to just being a cameo or you know a co-host to parents. Like no no no, we're not doing that. I do, I do think they got something in the works for Donkey Kong because they've been doing a lot with that character as a late. Like they just changed something with the Nintendo Switch Online showing all the the Donkey Kong games that you can get. Mm-hmm. in the uh in the service and we all they also have the donkey kong world at their theme park coming out this year as well so and listen long it just makes sense to drop a new game alongside it switch you can do a review of that plan, Drew? a review of what the ride yep <laughs> oh no i no i'm not going to i'm not i'm not a big fan of amusement parks if i'm being honest what you don't like you don't like being amused I don't like being around all those people and waiting and all the other stuff that comes along with the ride. Just bring your switch. It's poor. They got, good, they, got good, they got good food though, Blandy. You ain't fucking with that. I'm on a I'm on a diet now, Jack. I have to watch what I eat to gain. Mm. I watch what I eat too. I look at it right before I take a bite of that shit. I ain't gonna <laughs> hold <guy>. you. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> I told you. Three miles on a treadmill followed by like five corn dogs. I understand, Jack. Yes, sir. Mm. That's Where's how you the mustard, out. brother. Yep. You know what you be saying, Jack? Yes, sir. Switch two coming out, launch with a Donkey Kong game, man. Yeah, y'all know it's right to do. And a few Xbox games, apparently. Yeah. Um. So there's there's this rumor. Um. I I, I kind of don't want to believe it. Uh. But it comes from a kind of reliable person, Moore's Law. 
says that uh, PlayStation is exploring, uh, apparently because of the success of all the handhelds in the, sp in the gaming space right now, they're exploring um, developing a new handheld. Uh, it, it seems to be what, it, I think Jack brought this up before, not, it's not gonna, it wouldn't have its own versions of, of handheld games, but it would just play PlayStation games uh, locally, and I think because uh, they're working with like AMD, and it would maintain the compatibility between PS4 and PS5 titles. So it would, yeah, that's bro, essentially what it would that's, be. That's literally what you want, BG. You said that, bro. I mean, that that would be fucking amazing, dog. I got the portal, bro. If y'all ain't got it, bro. The only problem with the portal is that it's not native. That is literally the only problem I have with this thing is that it takes forever to fucking connect sometimes because sometimes my my PlayStation be fucked up, bro. Right? Sometimes it got to sign on online twice. Sometimes it's got to... Every, everything that I could fix with the portal working, you can't do it remotely. You see what I'm saying? I had to toggle on the online or toggle on the enable remote play for the shit to work. You can't do that when you're on the portal because it's going to disable it, right? So... If this shit was native, bro, listen to what I'm telling y'all, bro. I've been t and I got the most heat for this shit, y'all. I said I really like the way the portal look, and I ain't got one yet. I'm looking to get one. But if it was if it was native, it would be so much better. And everybody attacked me. It's not native, cause of all these all these dumb ass, stupid ass reasons. Oh, it'll take them ten years to develop a game on the. Shut your stupid ass up, okay? So now, all you goofy motherfuckers that argued and slandered Jack move for all that time, now if they actually do this, damn, I was going to be on the right side of history again. Don't let me tell y'all, man. <laughs> y'all got to stop. Oh, it's going to cost too much. Why? It's going to play games the exact same resolution it plays. Bro, the Steam Deck don't do that. They got a Steam Deck out right now that's $300. So you mean tell me PlayStation couldn't do something similar, bro, for around that price, maybe $350? Come on, man. Y'all just was arguing to be arguing. And yeah, the same people that was dick eating this shit not being native gonna run out and buy the new one. And it could be five hundred dollars. Niggas still gonna run out and buy it. So I don't understand what all the argument was about, bro. But like I said, bro, the portal fire just need to be native, bro. Can't wait. I hope the news is true, BG. What about you? I hope it's uh, true, brother. As long as they as long as it's just playing PS5, PS4, fire. PS4 games, by that time it'll just be PS5 games, I assume. And it doesn't need its own versions and it doesn't need to, you know, developers to actually make games for it because it's just going to play PlayStation 5 games. Then I have no complaints. I don't I'm not convinced that I would buy one, you know, but you I, buy I, one, I, bro. you're buying one. BG. You I, you I'm not. Yeah, because bro. that was for the big. But that was because it's essentially a dual sense. Now, if they change up the whole design, it is not this that is, du that dual sense with a screen. Oh, and is a is a fire design. I was just saying. This shit, bro, the way this look, bro, they got to make it exact. It's got to look ex identical to this, That's bro. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, it's going to be a hit, I, bro. I'm telling you. They, they, have, they have to clean that up. There's no way they can sell that bro, again. Bro, bro this shit feel, with, this shit feel this great, bro. They got to make it like this, Blandrew. That's the only way I'm fucking with. I ain't going to get it. I just want a dual sense in my hand. I don't want to know. If, it, if it's shaped or designed like just your typical handheld, I don't, I don't want it. I think they could run back this exact same design, man. And then you could have, you could either keep the same SKUs, you know, you had the one native, put native on the box, put remote play on the box, or get rid of the portal altogether. I'm cool with that. I think they should. And I've been playing way more, bro. I've been gaming way more since I got this, bro. I ain't gonna eat a lot of y'all, bro. I just love playing LOA 2 today. When I've been saying that since 2017, Jack, I was the bad guy. You hate to see it, bro. You see, you see why they they always arguing shit, Blandrew, and then it just end up being true at the. You know, see what I'm saying? Like, wow, are you really playing games kick back in my couch. It really just enhances the overall <laughs> gaming experience. I mean, yeah, certain games are just bad. better suited for portable. Yeah. When I was saying that, you know, I was public enemy number one. You hate to see it, bro. People just, I don't know, man. They don't be really knowing what they need for real. You know what I mean? They need people like we, we the truth tellers, bro. We got to tell them what's going on out here. Everybody, what are you saying? Bro. That's, that's you've been gaming, gaming more. You've been gaming more since you've got on the the PlayStation streaming thing. Hell yeah! Sometimes because, you just bro, don't want to be in front of a TV smooth. It's just really just that. And it, bro, it's it's little shit, bro. I don't be wanting to hook up my TV, even though I've been having to recently because this shit don't be want to connect. I don't like hooking up my TV, plugging up my capture card, sitting next to the TV. I don't be feeling like doing all that shit, bro. If I could just chill somewhere else, bro, play this shit remote, like away from where I usually game at, bro. I'm doing it, bro. I ain't gonna lie, I got a, a few completions on a rogue ally. So. That's what I'm saying. You fought with it too, though, right? You like what, it. What I think is yeah. really good for it 
what it's really good for is trophy cleanup. That's how, you know, I spent, yes, um, yes. cause I pretty much played Prince of Persia on my PS five up until the point where I got, got up to the last boss. And then on the portal, that's when I went and cleaned up a whole bunch of, bunch of trophies. So I'll say it's, it's, it's definitely good for that. You know, it's definitely good for yeah, trophy been, cleanup. I'm using it for a single player right now. I played the finals and rocket league on it. You can feel a little bit of latency. Um, I was still able to get to get the job done, but this is definitely gonna make me want to. You play just got play. you just got yours. What yesterday? A couple days ago. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yesterday, yeah, you only had yours like a couple days. All right, gotta make that thing native, man. Well, okay, let me ask y'all this: if They make it native. What y'all think their price point gonna be? I'm saying at least three fifty. It's gonna be at least three fifty. And to play PS4 games or PS5 games, both. Well, it's gonna be PS5 games, but it ain't gonna be at the same, you know, fidelity. Probably ten. It would essentially just be digital versions of the games you already own in your yeah, yeah, library, yeah. right? Yeah, nigga, if this, if this is one ninety nine, they definitely put this shit at three seven three ninety nine. I ain't gonna lie, I buy that shit, bro. I, I, I give them three hundred. I, I would too. They and they, you know, I, I assume they would have learned from their mistakes with with the Vita. Um, I never bought one, but uh, they wouldn't have any need for like them proprietary memory cards and all that shit. No, before. they would. Yeah. Vita was fucking would. fire too. Cause that people kept trying to hack the Vita, bro. That's the thing when niggas be doing all that homebrew shit, bro. They they wanted to put matter of fact the first PSP. They wanted to put trophies on the first PSP, but people kept hacking it. So when they added trophies to the Vita, that's when they started making shit like proprietary memory card, but they were still overpriced. There ain't no reason for that. And then niggas hacked that too. So it's like, yeah, bro, y'all gotta stop. Yeah, man, it's them, them pirates, bro. Y'all know what's going on. They ruin everything. Yes, sir. All right. But it's just one person, Jack. There's never multiple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just one guy, Jack. <laughs> Ruined the whole shit for everybody, bro. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. crazy. Ham, hey, any thoughts on this uh, possible future handheld? I mean, it it sounds dope. I mean, it sounds like what they should have did the first time. But you know, it is what it is. Um, I'm not sure if I'd be willing to get one right away because I already have like a Steam Deck and I have Windows update uh, uh, uploaded onto it and I just do whatever on there. Um, but I don't know. Who knows in the future? I mean, it's, me, it's, it's not a bad idea. I mean, sure you got a PlayStation, right? Yeah. Do you be you do you already remote play like your PlayStation through the Steam Deck? Uh, Yeah. See, see, that's another thing, bro. Like the Steam Deck could do the same shit the Portal do. I, I probably could do it better too. That's the and, I, and, and I can do, and, and I can do uh, the cloud gaming thing too. So, see, look at this shit, man. See, man. Mm-hmm. See, Sony got the they got to tighten the fuck up, bro. For real, man. They got to step it up, bro. Because it could hurt them if they're too late. You know, sometimes you could look into this stuff. And exactly. Like, oh, great idea. Well, too late. They got. Yeah, they already playing... got the. They already got the ops doing it right now. I was playing yeah. Ridge Racer and Siphon Filter on it the other day. Is that MSI Claw? I think didn't they announce that thing is like something crazy, eight hundred dollars or something? Dang. Yeah, it got like an Intel GPU in there and shit. Weird. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Which is um, horrible at doing updates, but you know, buy it and see it for yourself, I guess. Yeah. A <laughs> uh, manual A one. Happy Black History Month, WWP. I'm excited for Tales of Ken uh, Kenzera. Zao uh, to come out this month. Will everyone on the panel be buying it? Only seventeen ninety nine uh, with Game Pass uh, Ultimate. Yeah, I already pre-ordered it. I already bought oh, what's, it. What's, what's the name of the game? Tales, Tales of, of Kanzara. It's a Metroidvania game that Af- they showed it at the what show was that? The African oh, kind of yeah, yeah, the yeah at the Game Awards they showed Zao Tales of yeah. Kanzara. Yeah, it's African Ori. Dude on stage. African Ori. The one That's with the, the, the job application running out. I remember that shit. I might fuck with that, bro. Yeah, it's it's what? African Ori. I, uh, I mean, since you brought it up, um, I so I played the demo. I encourage everybody to go. It's Black History Month, so I'm obligating all. The, it's, there's a demo out on Steam. Um, go go download the demo on Steam. Try it out. It's and the game is mad cheap. It's it's seventeen ninety nine. Um, and I play the demo. It's it's good. It feels like it's still, it feels like it's, I don't even, I, I think they're a new studio. I'm not sure what else they've worked on. It, it feels like, you know, it doesn't feel as, maybe as tight or as good as something like Ori or even Prince of Jack. Stop making that face. <laughs> I'm trying to figure what you're talking about. It doesn't, it, doesn't, it, doesn't, it doesn't feel maybe as tight, but it's good. Like the, the art is beautiful. Like the color palette, it definitely reminds you of Ori, you know, the visuals. Well, I just, um, this African devs, right? I, I, I. 
I know the producer or the main guy. Yeah. Um, you know these niggas ain't made no other games, man. They, they, that's they're racist. Trying they in, they're trying to put their foot in the door, man. I'm just saying, like, you know, they ain't made no other games, man. Yeah. When they getting their foot in the door, man. I mean, these, these, are bl- these are black developers? Not all of them, not the whole studio, but the the main guy, he is. Um, and the, the voice acting is is really good. Um, yeah. You know, they, they got the African accents and, it, accents and it doesn't sound like fake. It sounds like mad authentic. Um, it, the, the demo is only on PC. Um, I, was like, I, was, I was gonna ask you where you got that from. Yeah, it's only on PC. It's not on. They should they should get it on consoles if if they can. Um, the plat like I said, the platforming. I I do think it, it could use some work. It's not as tight as like something like Ori or Prince of Persia or you know your other Metroidvania games. But you know, and and the combat is is decent. I got to see what you can possibly unlock. You know, as you right. as the game goes, but it seem it seems solid. It seems solid, solid experience. I do like the ability to be able to switch weapons so quickly and continue to fight and some of them are like 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 they have that range weapon where you just like are shooting like pretty much that laser beam and then you go into melee weapons and i i I like that balance that you're able to kind of play with during that game it's fun i wonder if there's going to be other masks because they start you off with two powers and you you do you use them by uh, switching mask i wonder if there's going to be more i hope there is you know we'll see but um go check that out Great looking game, nice, decent platforming, some okay combat. Yeah, we'll see. Um, Speaking of like history, man, what happened to the uh, Kenna Bridges developers? I, I think them. Was, we spoke oh, about God. spoke about Good that question. last week. They, the last I remember from them is so they made Kenna Bridges Spirits, and they said because it's two brothers that were like uh, the um, the heads of that studio. Because before, mm-hmm. before, prior to Kenna, they were like an advertising, an animation studio, I think. And the last I heard, they're not even sure if they want to do game, make another game. The game was successful. Um, that's but, crazy. But they're, they're apparently not sure if that's even what they want to keep doing. So we'll see. Kenna we'll was amazing, bro. I, I, I'm, I still for all that, that. My thing is, you, they, for all that, you, you make one game, you did your dream job, and, you, and, and it's still exclusive. Make that, put that shit everywhere. Make sure everybody in the world. Oh, no, no, oh, 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 wait, wait, wait. We're not, hey, listen, we ain't <laughs> doing that Phil Spencer shit, brother. You got, to, you got to calm down over there, Smooth. What's wrong with having something exclusive, brother? Now, now you, now you want to play everywhere? What's going on, man? <laughs> I, I do think it's, a, it's weird if they only do a one off. Like, uh, that's I, odd. I don't think it's weird just because. Dislike some shit. Well, there's one they passed it because they were animators first, right? Like they yeah. was on like some Pixar type shit. So mm-hmm. they used to making like commercials, movies. They ain't never make no game. So they just hopped off, tried the shit, and it was a success. So uh, I'm not really surprised if they don't make any more games, but I would be uh disappointed by it. I think that I think yeah. they should make a sequel. Like that shit was a good game. Yeah, it was good. Um so I want to give a shout out to this game that wasn't really on my radar before, but it looks decent. It looks like high level double A. Um, it's Banisher's Ghost of New Eden. Um, never heard of it. Let me have, see. I never heard. Oh of yeah, it. man, that, that's that's this year's a Plague's Tale. Be. That's kind of what it's. It seems like a Plague's Tale with like, it looks like actual fun combat. Um, isn't it, focus back in that? Folk, yeah, it's focus yeah, probably, home yeah. entertainment. Um, don't nod mix it don't nod which that's why i'm saying oh, like don't nod okay there's stuff be like you know it's always like teetering on double a triple a you know type of type of vibes um but it looks good i'm like i think i'm a I think i'm a buy this go look up some gameplay if, if you haven't check it out it comes out february february 13th so just like in a week or so and um yeah it looks it looks solid i like the concept because you like it's like you alternate between two characters one is like a spirit and one is human yeah, and like yeah one is dead one is one is a human and they both have different powers and you have to use them both you know switching between both of them so it looks solid uh i'm interested it looks kind of like a love story yeah oh you think they take oh they together he oh he was a he's a he's a mixer nigga knocking down ghost okay he he like, uh, like it. oh he like chocolate milk in his in his okay um, if it ain't got if it ain't got all them rats and shit in it, I, I might fuck with it. I couldn't I play Plague's Tale, bro. I, I tried to play the second one. That shit was too boring, bro. That shit grossed me the fuck out, brother. I couldn't do it. Hell no. Mm-mm. Yeah. Mm-mm. Swirling, okay. Um, all right. So yeah. 
Check oh, this is like some God of War shit. He throw it, it start twirling, and come back in his hand. It's like some God of War shit with the axe. Mm-hmm. I'm looking at this. Yeah, I cool. see what's going on. Yeah. Uh, all right. Um, 2K pulled Spec Ops the line from um digital stores without warning, uh, because of an expiring partner licenses. I think his his music licenses expires expiring so that's why they pulled it if you haven't played spec ops the line you've missed out the game that that game has one of the best stories you're you're ever going to experience in gaming in a military shooter not to spoil it but it's 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 along the lines of like some of the some of the good call of duty some of the best like call of duty stories i would say it's it's somewhat in that vein and it's one of the first i want to say it's one of the first games it's not like the story's not completely original. You've probably seen this plot or this premise in in a few movies, but it's really one of the few games to like to to do it and um to do it this well also. Like it's it's a really really good story. Um so if you haven't played it, man, I they, started that game mm-hmm. like what three three times, bro? I always play the first level and then just delete the shit like It's I, that voice, bro. I can't do it, bro. Oh, it really like, has it no, really Nolan has North. Game, yeah. Yes. It really has the gameplay of similar because it was during the time where it was really hot to do that kind of uh Gears of War type of shooting. Mm-hmm. Um, a cover and shooter. what 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 what's that? Yeah, very very much a cover shooter kind of game and whatnot. Very uh <laughs> um intense in this in, in, in the sense of <clears throat> what you end up finding out you know towards the end it, it was one of those games where like 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 the end almost kind of i don't know it breaks your heart a little bit it's tough, it's tough. Mm. The, only, the only thing that annoyed me about this news is all the niggas on twitter going ah, i was just about to buy this it's like no you weren't like it was something to talk about <laughs> i just downloaded this last night right before they took it off i'm so happy i'm like no you weren't nobody's giving a fuck about spec Ops line it's if been out ever, 15 years if you ever bought it or downloaded it, it should still be in your library. Yeah, I still got it. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I bought it. Uh, I want to say that was on my games beat list of 2022, maybe. Mm-hmm. I, yeah. I, that's when I played it. Yeah, Jack, I beat that shit on GameFly back in the day. <laughs> Jack was talking about uh, the voice of the main character is Nolan North because uh, you know at that Bro. time they was hiring Nolan. And and the thing is at that time, do everything. Un- un- Uncharted wasn't also wasn't like super popular as it is now, so he didn't change his voice. At so, all, bro. At all. So at all. <laughs> it, it's you're essentially just hearing Nathan Drake on the main character because he, you know, he was like, uh, you know, I'm not my voice ain't super popular right now. I'm just going to be a voice actor and use the same voice in every game. So that shit threw me off so bad, bro. I'm like, wow, this shit is. <laughs> yeah. I might, I might run through one of these days. I do need something to play on PS3. It, it might feel run. a little dated now, Jack. Yeah, because yeah, pro- probably, probably. I, I've beaten it like three times. And I, the when I most recently went back to it, you know, the controller scheme back then they had like me- melee B like on a bumper yeah. or something like this, some cr- mm-hmm. sprint B. I don't know, something crazy, Spr- you know. Sprint was the PS button or some shit. <laughs> something crazy. Bro. <laughs> went to the XMB like, while you were like hold B or hold A or something yeah. like that. It was it was something weird, bro. We we played games as barbarians back in the day. That can that controller layout was wild, bro. I was like, we used to play like this. Barbaric. You play wow. with your feet. You play claw, don't you? That shouldn't have been weird for you. Oh, oh man. You think Not about resistance that. buttons. That's oh up. my god that's the game i tried to go back to and i was just like i missed, <laughs> I missed the boat bro i missed the boat on that yeah uh okay we moving let me see um persona 3 reloaded came out two days ago right anybody played waiting for the switch 2 version yet. Nope. Switch I, I played. I just didn't play enough of it. Um, I downloaded it yesterday, maybe. Yeah, yes. Okay. Uh, you plan Jack? on beating it? Um, if it's shorter than P- P5, then it's, I, I probably uh, have it's a about the same. Oh man, probably not. High reviews. It depends. It, it it depends, man. It's it's got an 88 on Metacritic right now. Was the was the first one similarly rated like that? Wouldn't know. It might Jack, be low not, 90s not on the PS2. 
I'm going to get Persona 3, man. A couple of things keep me from getting it, man. First of all, 70 goddamn dollars, man. I'm going to get it. But, and then this is what I know too, right? Because I, I bought the special edition, the P5R, bro, $100 edition. It took me like a year and a half, two years to get through the game. By the time I beat the game, that same edition was like 19 fucking dollars, right? So I'm not doing it, bro. I need well, to beat also... some of these other games first, bro. I'm, I'm going to get to it, though. I'm going to play it. You only played it on stream. Now that you got the portal, you can play it all the time. See, but this is the problem too, though. Every Persona game I've played so far, I've streamed the entire thing. So now it's a tradition, bro. I got to play the whole oh, thing on stream, bro. Mm, I got, got OCD to, bro. In your nerves, bad. It, yeah, I got OCD, <laughs> brother. I got to do the whole gameplay, bro. It's, it's a tradition. They also said it's missing like content from the original game, and they found like some I guess mission, I guess missions or something. So it might yes. be. An updated version coming down the line that you the might original well game that. the original game you could you could have a male or female main character right it ain't like that no that, that was in the uh the ps oh version, when they came the original, out the, okay, yeah. the other, okay okay the vanilla one was on ps2 yeah. and then they rem- remastered it for psp so everybody knows i don't like persona except for um you know the strategy when that came out i I'm no. I'm sure I'm the only one on planet Earth that played that and i platinumed it tactica. Oh, I still need yeah, to play tactica. That too. tactica yeah i platinum that um they're not making another one. Nobody bought that joint. I, I already know. I'm, and that's okay. I got to enjoy it and platinum it. Um, but I, I, and even though I don't like Persona, the main series, you know, listen, I'm happy for them that the the later ones they made got popular enough that they could just continue to re-release the previous ones, and now people can appreciate them. So he, I'm not mad at that. You didn't play Strikers. You didn't play Strikers. You didn't I didn't that. yet. I th- I didn't try it yet. I think I might like Strikers. Anything other than the mainline series, I'd probably like. <sighs> I don't know if you'll like Striker just because it got some long ass story parts too though. Like I don't know, bro. They was talking they a lot no in, in Tactica. They were talking a lot in Tactica. That's what I'm saying. I, but, yeah, it's still know. a lot of talking, but like I think you'll probably forward the gameplay though. Yeah. So listen, man, uh I can I can appreciate things I don't I don't necessarily like, so happy for Persona and and, and its success. Wish them the best. Yes, sir. Hey, so that's on Game Pass too, man. You might as well go and play that, dog. Yeah, yeah. Um, no, I, I, I plan it. I just hope it's like the thing is because I would have beaten uh Persona Five. I like I was getting through it, no problem. It's just that it's uh the whole cycle though is tired. Did, um, did you mess up? No, I didn't mess. I didn't level up. Right. No, no, I'm not. It wasn't that I got like like I couldn't get past something. It's just more so the in between the um out of downtime. Thing. The, the, yeah, the downtime, the chapels, whatever you call those uh, palaces. palaces. Um, I think I was on, I was on my way to the fourth palace. That's what I was working towards. And I oh, think what ended up happening, ways, bro. Yeah, what's uh, up? what ended up happening is like Wolong came out, and I started focusing on that, and then I, the rest of the year kind of just occurred. Bro, yeah, that Persona, joint got like Persona, eight, nine palaces in that motherfucker. It's, it's way. Yeah, Persona is not a game you can just jump into. I, like I have to mentally prepare before I even turn on my PlayStation to play Persona Facts. back in the day. Even like like the Zelda Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom, I could not just boot those games up. I had to be in the mood for them. It's a it's a whole experience, bro. But the <laughs> thing about Persona, bro, once you beat one, bro, you be feeling like your friend died or some shit. You be I sad. As, you be sad as hell for days. Like, bro, what the fuck I'm gonna do with myself, bro? Maybe like, playing you playing that sad be, organ at the end? You just yeah, like, man. You be going to cry at the credits and shit like that. Maybe saying shit. goodbye to their friend. It's like, yo, I really knew these people. Yeah, you feel like you really live this shit, low key. Like <laughs> they do a good job with that shit, bro. They can't be fired, bro. Yo, there's more breaking news happening. We're gonna get to it later, but it's it's crazy what's happening right now. Oh no! Like, what what like, you just read? Bro, shit is exploding. Huh? It's about Indiana Jones now. Oh, what it say? Oh, we ain't got to touch on it right now. We can touch on it later. But what it say? It's, it's saying it's saying like Wario sixty four reported that's going to PS five also a few months after. Ooh. Wow. <laughs> 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 Hey, Jack, hey, Jack. Uh, Jack, do it with me. Do it with me. Get that whip. Get that whip with me. Come on. No. <laughs> these, these, these are. This shit is crazy. Tom Warren, Tom Warren reported it. Listen, this is all rumor. All of this could be wrong. In, in defense of my Xbox brethren, I don't want y'all to get too stressed out. It's it's there's a possibility all of this could be false, right? That's where I live. Like, breathe the, shit, they breathe shit, the 40 oh, man. Hey, Jack. Kids move, <laughs> kid smooth is starting to become clear. You can see straight through him. He's about to disappear up out of here. Everything smooth. Everything is false until it's actually oh, confirmed. So this is not, not 
It's not happening. When has yet. Tom Warren ever been wrong, though, man? I don't know. And Wario bro. 64, nah, you're done. Smooth. Yeah, when they ever been wrong for real, like. Nah, smooth. I, I think I think it's a possibility that some of this stuff is wrong. Like, if 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 I was you, <laughs> I'm I'm holding on until I get absolute confirmation. BG, if I'm you, there's a re there's a reason Phil Spencer walked out and they threw that black woman up there. No, look, fuck all that smooth. If I was you, man, I I get that <laughs> rifle, load up that truck. <laughs> 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 you might have to go handle some shit, but I'm gonna be real with yeah, you, man. They're playing, they playing with you right now, bro. Wow. Um, he just called out of work tomorrow. He about to do something. <laughs> Boy about to go out, go out on bereavement. Um, he told his girl to wait up. <laughs> oh my god. Con uh. Connor uh, Garrardi, Indiana Jones <laughs> is going to PS5. Also, he said it's confirmed. Indiana Jones going to PS5. GT Bato. Uh, what is y'all most underrated multiplayer mode that you played? For me, it's got to be Max Payne Three. That multiplayer was fire. Underrated multiplayer. Ooh. Hey, hey, Jack. What's up? Man? I don't. You, you remember that kid smooth stream where Halo Infinite got delayed and it just started Whoa. raining heavy outside? It <laughs> <laughs> just started raining heavy. <laughs> this shit, Kurt and I smooth. My stand was smooth. I stand was smooth, man. Yes, I wouldn't say. I couldn't say underrated because it wasn't online, but back in the day, Tony Hawk had this mode that all my cousins hated. You do a trick on it, and it becomes your color, and you had to see who had the most red or blue parts in the skate park. I, I was the only one that liked Ooh. that. Mode. Jack, what I was that game? Few. Bat? What was that Batman? Um, Gotham Imposters? City Imposters. Yeah. Gotham City Imposters, fucking amazing. That's probably my favorite FPS. Well, that is my favorite FPS of all time. Another first person game that I enjoyed the online on it. Uh, Bioshock mm -hmm. Two. That was very fun. Um, Pixel it's Junk Shooter. It's an game mode. It's an underrated game mode. But I, thought oh, it, 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 I thought it said game mode. Uh, well, I don't want I'm saying it's multiplayer. Like, oh, okay. I, I thought it'd been like uh, he said multiplayer, multiplayer mode. He said multiplayer. Mode. Okay. Multiplayer. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. which one I said? Galaxy of the Imposters, Bioshock Two, uh, Pixel Junk Shooter had a fun online component. Um, I'm gonna say PBZ Garden Warfare because a lot of people didn't play that game as opposed to the other <laughs> two. So that was dope. Uh, what else I got? You know what? Um, what I fuck with online, bro, and it was a horrible experience, but I still had fun with it. I'm gonna say Tomb Raider 2013, man. There you go. That's my list. I'm what was the question, man? Underrated multiplayer. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga still in shock. <laughs> this nigga doing a thousand yard stare. <laughs> um, no, but for real talk, bro, I, I actually. I actually really enjoyed Bleeding Edge. I know y'all gonna laugh at that, but like y'all know, I I really did Why like Bleeding Edge, that? bro. I don't huh? remember you playing that. What, bro? I was I was like, it was me and three other people on the server. When the fuck you play Bleeding Edge? You used to stream that. I, I remember yes. BG playing that. Like the game was slow. I don't remember. Bro, that, bro, I used to play some Bleeding Edge, bro. I was. Oh, you was playing it. Cupcake? What was the name? Buttercup Cupcake? What's that fat bitch name? Okay. I, I didn't use. It. I used. Is, is I used the, part? the the poison guy, <laughs> the guy with the poison. It's a good um, point to bring up Knockout City again. Is this sure. a good topic to bring that up? Sure. Yeah. I can't Bro, I, Alice can name every single online game he played and it'll be uh, underrated. Like, <laughs> 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 this shit is crazy. Go ahead, brother. Yeah. Chef Bubble. Sons yeah. of the Force. What other shit you be playing? You be playing a lot of shit, man. Sons of the what? Sons of the Force. Ain't that the shit y'all was playing? Forest or some shit? Yeah. You said, you said underrated multiplayer games, BG? Yeah. I want to give a shout out to Kid Icarus Uprising on the 3DS, one of the best multiplayer games I have ever. I didn't played. know they had multiplayer. Yes, sir. I don't remember people used to talk about that shit back in the day. Why don't, don't know. Yeah. why they don't make more Kid Icarus games? Oh. I don't know because that that last game was super good, and then they just stopped making it. Who well, he, he's only made one. Like we haven't seen uh, Kid Icarus games since like the Game Boy. So, mm, okay. Who the fuck? Let me see. All right. Let's see what else. Is there any more super chats? Uh, um, <laughs> Connor uh, Girardi still going. He said, breaking news, console war is over. Um, Man, come on, bro. Tadek Ahmed, will we get a Tadek. remix of Game Pass by Smooth? I got it on my PC and my Xbox and PlayStation. <laughs> get Alex and Wani to feature. <laughs> Wet weapon, Will. Let's get it. <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, he also said, uh, "Report that Xbox is not making another console." I I, I think he's lying about that part. That, that's yeah, not I ain't a report. See, I ain't yeah, seen that. Yeah, if that's true, that that'd be fucking. Wait, who, crazy. who said that last part? Uh, Connor Girardi. He super chatted that, but I haven't seen that report. Oh, okay. 
Yeah, but would we truly be shocked if they don't at this point? I think they make one more console. I think they make one more. I think, uh, but I also think if they can get assurances from Nintendo and PlayStation that they will put Game Pass on their systems, it's definitely going to be <laughs> their last one. I, I think that's true, um, too. So, you know, Microsoft is always doing stuff ahead of time, like too soon for their own good, so it's possible. Um, Very reactive. Yeah, also, uh, Special Nick, he also just tweeted out, because sometimes, he, you know, he's tapped in, you know, he, he's like... Um, uh, you know, knew all the PlayStation games that were going to be a state of play, so he's actually be knowing this inf- inside information. He said Starfield isn't where the plan ends. Reckon you'll probably see Hellblade two as well. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, it. Just every every other fucking minute, they keep out announcing another game. Every <laughs> other minute, like somebody, yo, I don't know if it's fucking the Dean gates. head ass that yeah, fucking Tim <laughs> Stewart, <laughs> someone like. Get them the fuck out of here, man. My d- See, this is why I said they need to sell fucking Xbox to Apple. Somebody who mm. would would not let this dumbass shit happen. I will buy a five thousand dollar Xbox from Apple uh, <laughs> before I would agree for them to go do this shit that they're doing. Because they, I know they're gonna protect the brand. They go they go they they're about that life. They're about that life. They These are. soft ass, rainbow ass motherfuckers at Microsoft is on some bullshit, man. Like I, like I'm, I'm, I'm done, man. I'm done, man. This is crazy. Five thousand dollars. That's that's insane. Like hey, I said, hey, to I him, mean, it's it's not confirmed until it's confirmed. This nah, but all over. these fucking frog ass niggas on Twitter talking. All of them. All the people that break news before Xbox break their own news are the ones like, and they feel all comfortable, like they like they won the fucking lotto of fucking Xbox news. Stop texting this shit. Stop it. <laughs> like, wait, what, what's the point? <laughs> you know what I'm what's the point? Hey man, that's, that's, that's cool. That shit to get a reaction, man. What, what's wild, the point? Man. It's Sunday. This on the the tape. It's Sunday. Stop. <laughs> I know they never report news on Sunday. Everybody's hanging out with their at least wait till Monday like PlayStation. <laughs> so so smooth, you don't like having the heads up like, hey brother, you about to get your heart broken when oh nah. you don't like nah, that. Nah, I'm sick of down because at this rate, it's like, bro, all right, I've been talking for it, oh, some not one of this shit come to fruition yet, but the list grew by fucking tenfold. Like yeah. let one of them shit come yep. true first, man. Like that, like it's like, what are they doing? That's are they purposely leaking? Are they purposely leaking this shit to, but, but, to, to, to mess with our emotions? Yeah, mm. but that's why I'm saying some of this stuff can't. All of it can't be true because how how, do, how does it evolve from just two games to like whole slate in like 24 Smooth, this, hours? This is a real tweet, Smooth. This shit from Kids Movie says fucking Xbox. This is a real tweet. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's him. That's a real tweet. That's wow. Him. Oh, let me mute. Oh shoot. Wow, brother. Let me repost this. That's crazy. <laughs> So let me repost this. That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. What's wrong with you, bro? <laughs> oh, shit. This okay. ain't funny. It's not funny. It's yeah, not it's funny. not. Um, okay. Hilarious. Let's see what where else we're going to. We go. I'm gonna jump to. I'm gonna jump to Grand Blue Fantasy Relink real quick. Um, I, I think that's the last release for this week. Um, so I I bought this game. Didn't get a chance to 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 play it yet, but I I played the demo, of course, and that's what convinced me to buy the game. Um, and <clears> as <throat> what I've been hearing about it is the same thing that Alex said is like, there's not like, don't expect like some deep story here. It's a very basic story. The game is all about combat and visuals. It's very, it's a spectacle. Like the combat is fun. It's not the deepest system. Alex um, said that. Yeah. Remember Alex? You Our, said like the one, this, this, Alex, nigga, or, this yeah. nigga right here. Yeah. Him. You playing uh, Grand Blue? Alex, can you hear us? Hold on, nigga. I got music playing in my ear. I don't know what the fuck is coming. What? <laughs> See, y'all. Are, are, are you playing Grand Blue Fantasy? Because remember, you said Grand Blue Fantasy is about is is pretty much about the combat, not the story. And I was that's what I'm saying. That's what all the accounts are saying too. It's like just a really good combat game. Shit off. I ain't never played that game in my life. <laughs> <laughs> what, what are you talking about? Say, I've never known him to play. <laughs> what, what, are you, what are you talking? You should talk about this nigga right here. Alex said that two weeks ago on a podcast. He probably was just guessing <laughs> some shit. I he mean, I don't, I never heard, I never heard him say this shit personally. Grand Blue Fantasy, nigga. You what said are you talking that, about? You that, sound said like that, that sound like some shampoo, bro, nigga. I ain't never bro. <laughs> yeah, that's some Salsen Blue. He what the said fuck? that no, two weeks ago. Well, anyway, he guessed it. And that's, that's nah, correct. That's correct. Like, it's, it's, it's great to look at the, you know, there's not like a super deep story there. Um, but everybody loves the combat. You know, they give you a lot of characters. 
to uh, play with and, and flesh out and, you know, um, to see what, you know, fits your your fighting style. Um, but I'm going to talk about I'm going to talk about it more next week. Uh, well, there yeah, won't be oh, a podcast next week. Super Bowl. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that even your type of game, BG? Like, I heard the main yeah. story is only about like 12 hours. And then after that, it's pretty much like a grind fest type game. I like the combat. So that the demo is what convinced me to, to play it. I was like, yo, this combat that's is action, really that's an action fun. RPG, right? Action RPG. Yeah. yeah. All right. Um, I, I've, I've heard it like kind of compare it to Monster Hunter in a way to where you want to keep grinding, focus on your build of your character or something like that. Yeah. I, I mean, listen, if. Based on what I played, I was like, this is fun as hell. Um, so I'm, I'm with it. So in two weeks, I'll give you all my my deeper analysis and my, and my thoughts. Just wanted to bring it up now. All right. OK. Looking forward to it, BG. <clears throat> You're a scumbag, Alex. I don't know where you I don't know what fantasy you had. I ain't never. You, that happened. I'm telling you, yo, uh, yo, weapon wheel, we, weapon wheel uh, archivist. Can y'all please find when. When Alex literally said that on his podcast, it was only like a week what or two ago. What podcast do I have? What are you talking about? On our po- on this podcast, you said that about Grand Blue Fantasy, the demo. I'm te- and I'm telling you, somebody gonna find it. I'm not I'm be honest. Be, he probably said it about Foam Stars or something, but I rewatched no, these Weapon Wheel episodes no. like constantly, and I don't remember him talking about Grand Blue like at all. He said it. I'm telling you. I'm a, all right. Somebody gonna. You find sure it. you weren't talking to somebody else, and you just like. Thought, imagine, and, just, no. and just wanted me or some shit. Yeah. You sure you didn't no. dream this better? I don't. Wonton really said that was him, so I don't know. Oh, what Wonton well, big, what Wonton big ass know about Grand Blue well, Fantasy? Th- well, there you go. <laughs> oh no, Wonton for sure did say that about Grand okay, Blue. My bad. Listen, y'all, 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 so much alike. Uh, I thought. Can I have an apology? Then you said Wonton and Alex are like that's crazy. Y'all, y'all are like because we're movie guys. Y'all are like twins, man. Okay, they just look to be offended or oh, it, it was Wonton. <laughs> There you go. We uh, thought you was crazy for a minute, BJ. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. Hey. Um, okay. What else we got? Uh let's go to let's talk about, oh, Suicide Squad release. Um I gotta <sighs> do, do, has, has good? anybody good? first of all Yeah, why did he put the mail like, <laughs> You good, bro? Somebody chasing you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> the police on their way, Chief? <laughs> He called him a bomb threat because X Fox. <laughs> Tell has, that juggernaut head bitch I'm coming. Has anybody played Suicide Squad first? No, I respect. I refuse. I refuse. I refuse. No, sir. And I play a lot of bullshit. I'm not. I'm not. Hey, I'm solo. You 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 played that better? My bad. Nah, bro. Nah. See, we, we some self respecting guys. In it. We some self respecting No wonder the viewers be mad at us. We don't play anything. No, but hey, man, we we self we're self respecting <laughs> gamers, man. I don't, I, don't, I don't think they played it. So here's here's my thing. Okay, look. I played the, the alpha or the beta or whatever it was for Suicide Squad. The game seemed mid to me, right? Seemed just very mid. It, seemed, it felt like a generic third-person shooter. Uh, it felt very um, uh, Sunset Overdrive-ish um, with, you know, just some, with some other mechanics, right? It just wasn't, it, it wasn't what I thought was fun. And I'm like, yeah, I don't want to do this for 10 to 12 hours, whatever. By the way, they said the game is like kind of short. Um, which is usually not an issue, but the fact that y'all been working on this game for like seven, eight, whatever, and many amount of years, that that makes it feel kind of crazy. But my thing is like, the, my issue is the discourse about this game has been all about the wrong things. If y'all want to shit on the game, shit on the game because it's like it's it's kind of uninspiring, it's dull, it's boring, it's a generic third person shooter. Um, all the things that are, there's plenty of things from what I can see based on my eye test wrong with this game, but people, the shit people have been crying about is, is some baby bullshit. Like they crying about how the justice league was treated and how the justice league is killed and all this shit that doesn't matter. And, oh, they're not respecting the justice league. The the gamers kind of make me sick, bro. Like this is really what y'all are crying about. Really, bro? Like... So I watched all the cutscenes, uh, most of the cutscenes. I wanted to see how everybody dies and all that stuff. Um, obviously, they killed the Justice League. It's in the title. I don't know why some people were acting shocked about that. It's Suicide Squad killed the Justice League. It's not Suicide Squad killed the Justice League respectfully in a, in a way you like and all that shit. So I seen, the Justice League. So I, I seen all the deaths, right? And I, I, definitely, I definitely think the deaths were like mad dull and not... The deaths did not fit the characters. 
right? If you're going to kill the Justice League, it got to be some grand spectacle, right? You can't just like, oh, I shot Green Lantern enough times and he died. That's lame. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it got to be something super creative. Like if you're going to kill Flash, you got to do some shit where, oh, I don't know. I, I got Toy Maker to, to make a, a, a fast reacting bear trap and, and, and Flash ran into it and, it and it cut off both his legs. Something that like has to do with the character. You know what I'm saying? I'm, and I'm, I'm not saying that's a good idea, but something creative like that. It's literally very dull and boring. And very anticlimactic the way they kill these characters. So that, I, I would, that's an issue. But the characters themselves and how they're treated, who the hell cares, bro? Like, there, bro, there are so many, like, there's so many universes. In, in, there's so many universes. The shit gets re retconned all the time. Uh, st different studios create their own, um, their own storylines. Like, why are y'all crying over these over these fictional characters dying? Like, y'all acting like just emotional bitches. Like, there's this irrational connection to these characters. It's it's not that serious, bro. Like, I promise you, the Justice League is not permanently dead. They've died. I can I can tell you on four occasions where they've already died, and they always come back, just like every other comic book character, bro. There's gonna be another studio that uses the Justice League. They're gonna come back. Y'all are gonna be okay. There's no reason to start crying and whining about it. There was literally a dude who was crying on Twitter because he read, so they have bios for all the characters, right? And the bios are written from the perspective of the Suicide Squad, because that's who it's about. The Justice League are just bullet bags. They're just targets. So I don't know why people want this like this utmost respect for the for the Justice League. It's not about them, bro. It's about the Suicide Squad. So like they they have um I forgot I forgot who who wrote Green Lantern's bio. It might have been Deadshot. And he just, you know, talk talk shit about him. I'm like, "Do y'all not understand who the Suicide Squad are? It's like this dark parody and the game reflects that." So what are y'all mad about? I, I truly don't get it, bro. I think it's like this irrational connection to these um to these characters, bro. Like it's they're they're just they're the targets. They're they're evil in this game. Why did y'all and y'all talking about um what's the name who uh Kevin Conroy? Oh, y'all disrespected his legacy. Do y'all know what Kevin Conroy wanted before he died? Did did y'all speak to him? How the hell y'all know he didn't love this game? And love the story. What are y'all talking about, bro? Y'all be crying about absolutely nothing. Shut up. Shut up. It's not that serious. That's what, that's, that's what I want to say about it. Damn. How you really I feel, could, though, brother? I could definitely see a world where um, killing... I'm not... Well, I don't know if that's being spoiling, but the scenes I've seen on Twitter, I could see another world where people think that's kind of lit, though. Like, y'all put these superheroes so high up, y'all exalt them so much, and then we clap that nigga right there, and now we're on to the next one. I kind of like that. That idea that it's like nigga, they don't I don't give a fuck about this nigga. Bro, you know, you don't you don't understand. No, nah, niggas hold these superheroes like the same way people act with Joel, bro. They oh, magnify that by like 50%, bro. That's how niggas look at these super. I can't believe, bro. You heard these think pieces motherfuckers was writing, bro. I can't believe you took my childhood and spit on it and <laughs> like bro. You know how many iterations, like, yeah, I think we just, yeah. you know how many iterations of this shit that it's been? I mean, I can understand, yeah, if you really was plugged in with the Arkham games, you don't like the way the whole, uh, I guess you say, storyline wrapped up. That makes sense, but at the same time, bro, it is what it is, man. They're going like, to they do more. Like I said, I'm more. okay if you complain about the game being bad and the story and all that, but don't cry about, like, oh, how they were killed and it wasn't respectful. Who cares, bro? Like, it's, Well, for me, out. for me on this game, I just thought that if I were to buy this game, I may have a couple of people to play it with, right? And I feel like that game, I'd only have fun if I'm playing with other people. Mm -hmm. I don't want to go out and buy a game that's $70, leans really hard on live service as much as it does, and I can't really imagine myself sitting and enjoying it by myself. So it's a Probably pass not. for me. Probably not. I don't think this is a game most people can enjoy by themselves. Um, yeah, because like I said, the, the story seems the, the story actually seems like it has OK parts. Right. Um, like I said, the deaths are very underwhelming. They could have done much better with 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 those. The visuals are probably the best part of the game. Like some of these designs are, 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 are really good. Gameplay seems whack. Um, so that's my thing. I, I criticize the game. I'm not defending the game. Like I said, I'm not buying it because it looks it looks whack to me. But don't don't focus on the 
the, the shit that don't really matter that much. And I'm bro, I'm a DC fan. I've seen all all, all these animated series like Green Lantern Corps, Batman the animated series. I've seen all of these joints, all the all the Justice League movies. Um, bro, I've seen all of them. Trust me. So I I I care. I I I like these characters a lot. But I'm not crying and mad at the way they were died in Suicide Squad. To me, this game is a one-off and it does and it doesn't even exist. Okay, cool. It's not the greatest way to cap off maybe the Arkhamverse uh, with Batman in the first three games. But bro, I just to me, I just pretend this doesn't even exist. It's not worth crying about. The last three DC games have just kind of stunk. They just yeah, no, 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 say, how we go from Arkham to this, bro? Like this is crazy. And then yeah. if you even throw in like a um an Avengers game with this, like superhero games in the dirt, I could throw. Hey, I ain't gonna say too much, man. Spider Man too. I might even I might even put that in the pile with it. Listen, superhero games going in too the far. Dirt, you're right? gone too far. Listen, superhero gone too far. games are in the dirt right now. Gone okay, too far. Compared, compared to the old Arkham games, Spider Man 2018 and Miles Morales. I ain't like the superhero game in a minute, man. Like some of them been cool, but they ain't they ain't been that. They ain't Wait, been so what BG, they the, was, bro. the Batman they're hunting in this game is the one we played from the yes. past games. Yes, oh wow, same one. Okay, same one. Um, that's so I, I I get that from like a story perspective how it how it ends, but like I'm specifically talking about the people talking about like oh the bio and how and oh you killed them up because be clear there are people upset that they died at all. That they were actually killed. I because I've looked through the comment sections while watching like these spoilers and, and these deaths, and some people are just flat out mad at them dying. And I'm like, why would you click on a video of spoilers for a game called Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League? What what did you think was gonna happen, bro? And and I hate this this concept of oh respect respecting characters. Man, fuck fuck these characters bro what are y'all talking about yo why y'all be acting like these some of these characters raise y'all and sent y'all off to, to college y'all know me i'm listen i'm all about killing protagonists i i want to see more of it i i be asking for these developers bro can y'all take a chance and like do something different kill off some of these kill off some of these protagonists because i, I feel like game bro gamers are so uncomfortable with protagonists dying y'all got to get over this bro like niggas die every day, B. Get it's over it. it. It happens. It's not that we're, you know, upset about protagonists dying, but nobody wants to play a game where you're actively killing off your favorite characters. That goes for like anything. You can make a Dragon Ball Z game where you're hunting Shit. down the Z Warriors and killing them off one by one, Naruto, anything. I remember you even said they should make a game where they kill off Mario and Luigi. I, I when definitely right want to kill off that. some of my favorite characters. I absolutely that. want to do that. It, it depends if it makes if it make narrative sense. Like I'm still mad they didn't kill Sully in Uncharted Three, right? I feel oh like they they, God, they pissed me they, off. They, they pump faked it. It made me really dislike the game because I'm like, oh shit, damn. Okay, now this really means something, right? But then, oh, uh, gotcha. Like, nah, man, that's bullshit, bro. Like, don't do it. Like, I don't know. I don't like that, that toe dipping shit, bro. I agree yeah. with BG. They should definitely kill characters. But if it don't make sense narratively, like, why the fuck with Mario and Luigi? Down? Like, what because, the hell? Yeah. They eat a mushroom? Like, what the fuck? No, some, if Dark Souls Mario, that might be fire, though. Nah. Some, some of these games have no stakes in them. Absolutely no stakes, bro. Like, when all of these characters are so damn safe, right? Because how many games. Have you actually walked into and you felt like, I really don't know what's going to happen? Exactly. There's not, there's not that many. There's straight plot armor, bro. It's, it's, it's too safe. And gamers, y'all have been experienced this, this safeness with your protagonists for decades. And y'all still want all your characters to be safe. Y'all still, y'all, y'all, y'all love Game of Thrones, but still like when it comes to y'all video game characters, y'all you know, want everybody to have armor. The last time I really thought a main character was going well, besides like the last one, shit. I say probably like the last Tomb Raider game. I thought they was gonna kill. Oh, that's the second Tomb. Whenever Jonah fat ass got shot, I thought yeah. they was gonna take him on out because they they've been they've been cooking my man's for years. I thought they was gonna take him out, but he was he even he was still good. It's like man, I be getting that that's that's safe, bro. Like that shit get lame after a while, bro. Yeah, man, it's it's boring and it's safe. Like oh man, he's he's not dead. Oh, you almost like come on, bro. Can y'all at least like. Like is Red Dead Redemption? A, is that the only game that really killed two of them? The, I'm like I'm a kill a main nigga. Yeah, is yeah. that that's the only yeah, like twice killed Red Dead. They did that shit. They did shit a few times. Yeah. And, and if you know what it is, uh, GTA they, Four as well. Uh, it might just be Rockstar that's willing to do the shit. <laughs> yeah, it, and you know what? Also, it is like a lot of people have this like this 
infatuation with a character dying a certain way, right? They should go out like a badass, right? Because they okay with John Marston dying because how did he die? He he went out literally well, shooting as money as like many people as he could. I'm not, I'm not mad at that though. If you if you've been playing as a nigga two or three games and this ain't nobody topping him, and then I die because I got strep throat, nigga. Yeah, I'm gonna be hey, like, what the fuck? Hey, smoke, shit, smoke. shit happens. Smooth, did you leave the film a YouTube short, bro? It says Xbox disappoint fans and goes multi-plat skit. You you did this during the podcast, bro? <laughs> nah, man. What happened was I did that, you know, earlier when I was in a better mood, but now I'm more pissed. I just put this out before my because my mood right now is worse than what it was then. This was still All on right. Hi-Fi Rush and Sea of Thieves. So I just put it out now that mm. the world is fucking melting. Um Nah, my bad. Let's let, let, no, let's carry you on, good, man. Put nah, in the music, make good, a diss track, good, bro. You good, put in the music, bro. Oh, oh Phil Spencer diss track would go crazy, bro. Do it, do yeah. it. It's the time. Yeah, Aaron so. Greenberg too. Get his little stupid ass in there. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so that's so, all. You would be like, okay. This will be fucking. Mm-hmm. BJ, you would be okay if, if if like a character just died like like that, like Omar from The Wire or something like that. Nothing too. Oh climatic. man, it, don't. It just happens like that. I'm not saying like don't make it like just passive like you know oh shot him he's dead like let's move on like but take some chances and kill i've been saying like yo i i've been calling for kratos to die who else i've been call, calling yeah to but great if kratos dies he's gonna have an epic death he's not he's not just gonna they, be like some random all right kratos is dead we're keeping the story moving no look but kratos always, will only die if he wants to die he'll literally be like all right i'm, I'm gonna die now it's not i always say bro i want i want like a third person action adventure game like a tomb raider uncharted bro at the beginning of the game maybe an hour or two in bro you platforming you know they do little fake falls you get back up i want one of the motherfuckers happen you fall nigga you actually <laughs> die nigga then the story go a whole different place You're like what the fuck like that'll be fire hmm. bro you don't think that'd be hard I, I really like what resistance did in resistance 2 the the other guy kills the protagonist and you play as him in three i'm like oh this is fire oh uh, niggas that Niggas like that and then hate it on last us. What? I, they, I guess they probably forgot. Uh, I guess they probably mm, forgot. That's what, I that's know, what happens. I didn't know all that, I know all at, that was going on. Wait a minute. Because at the end of Resistance 2, he's turning into a chimera, I think. Nathan Hale, it was Nathan Hale, put, literally puts a, 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 a freaking hole in his face. You pick up his him some odd years later in 3. That's I only played 3. I ain't, I ain't played the other two. I only played a part. Yeah, that's what happens. Yeah, I ain't know. So, that's crazy. I'm I'm with it, man. Like take chances like that. Oh yeah, if they killed Chief, that that's the other person. Listen, listen. I I think if you kill Chief, you revitalize the Halo franchise. <laughs> that's that's what I think. I think that's a good reset. Now that's some symbolism on Xbox side. They kill Chief, the <laughs> Xbox is over. <sighs> no, um, yeah. Okay, let's move on. Kill the Justice League is probably mid. Um. But y'all are, y'all are being babies about it. Uh, I like actually heard be... it was pretty good. People feel like there's a hit out on this game, and people that actually played it are saying it's mm. fairly decent. Like it's at like a 62 on Metacritic right now. Yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty bad. So yeah, I gonna have to get over it. Um, because listen, Gr- John Stewart, he gonna be all right, okay. Wonder Woman, they going she gonna be okay. You know, Clark and Bruce. I promise you, you're, you're your adoptive superhero parents, they gonna be okay. Y'all y'all will get over it. All right. Uh let me refresh, do some super chats real quick. Uh, okay. Oh, y'all are going crazy today. Um uh where damn where was that? Hold on, I'm finding it right now. Uh okay, Autumn. Yeah, are you oh my bad, go ahead. Autumn said fire, fire, fire. What you was gonna say, Alex? No, I was gonna ask uh, Jack. He really not excited for Hell Divers Two this week. Hell no, bro. Every t- oh, I ain't gonna even get into it, bro. Every time I see Hell Divers Two, bro, I do not think they should have changed the viewpoint of that game. I don't Cap. like the third person viewpoint for that game. I don't. Cap. Cap. What was wrong with the? What was wrong with the bro? Only thing Hell Divers needed, bro. I could have used some better graphics, but really, what it needed: new planets and new enemy factions. That's it. Why did um, they? Why did they have to? The, I the, truly feel like <laughs> when when did the first game come out? Mm, Mid twenty tens. I don't know. If it came out a decade later, more than a decade later, bro, and it's 
the same shit, nigga. That would be the biggest strike against the game. They'd be like, this is what you came up with. They, they're, they're saying, even though he got a new viewpoint, it is the same shit. It just looked different. It's the same. Matter of fact, it don't even got the same amount of enemy types as the first game. It only got two enemy types. It's more. They saying it got it got less fucking content. It just looked better. That's it's it. in, it's more intimate really? from that from that third person. Nah. View. And I the frame enjoy. rate don't look the frame rate don't look that, stable to me. Like that's, it needs the first day patch. First day patch. That's what I've been it. saying. That frame rate is spooky. I'm playing on PC, but that console frame rate definitely spooky. Yeah, be, um, it's chugging every time they show it. Like what the? Yeah. It don't even look like it's doing Jack, too much. To I, need, I, I will be live streaming maybe Thursday, definitely Friday. I need hope, you to, to you report fun, for bro. duty. I need you, you to report, fun, bro. nigga. Report your fat ass to duty, nigga. Don't stop playing with me, fun, nigga. Good hope you have fun, good brother. Hope you have fun, good brother. Show up, okay. Oh, yeah, join, you, jo- join the party. Uh, Connor Girardi, Xbox Massacres, Xbox Massacres Day, he said. Uh, Ruffle Mutt. Ruffle Mutt. Yo, BG Alex, you plan to pick up a Vision Pro? No. No, 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 no. No. 3,500? No, you got it? In, you got it? If I, was, if I had an iPhone, I'd buy it, but I'm not in the Apple ecosystem, so. Me either. Um. No, I'm I'm good on I'm good on that, brother. I like to live in the real world. Not yeah, really. No. Niggas been on subways with that shit. Yeah, they they you I'm bugging get getting, <laughs> getting on a New York subway with with a thirty five hundred dollar headset. You tweaking? Right. They probably pay. What, what, what they gonna What they gonna do? Nigga, he gonna what? bring you back to reality real quick. You walk on walk on the wrong. Wa- you New right. York niggas saw. Oh, fuck is you right. talking about? <laughs> All right. Fuck okay. is you talking them, about? Them man. beef and broccoli's be going to y'all head, bro. Y'all swear y'all right. the toughest niggas. Yeah. Say what, less. Man, you better sit your ass down there. Keep in mind, Jack. Keep in mind, Jack. It's the same nigga that don't want to come to Memphis. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> we worried about you. Come there, you change your face. Y'all That's different. You yeah, exactly. Nigga, y'all niggas. Y'all niggas ain't. Yeah, because y'all fighting different. Fighting sneakers, nigga. We not we, wearing big ass forty pound Tims to fight. That's what over I mean. here. They'll kill a nigga for a thirty five hundred dollar device. Y'all kill kill a nigga over some cookies. Y'all built. Yeah, exactly. They kill a nigga over thirty five cent at this bitch. Y'all have a gun. Y'all that's what I'm saying. Like in New York, you, what you got a uh, a blade? What you call niggas? They're gonna they're gonna poke they're gonna poke you. They're gonna poke you. Yeah, pause. Uh, okay, where was I? Um, L L M C Figs. Who's foaming up next week? No, oh, Pardon? dude, I'm foaming. Them. I'm foaming. Pardon, what, what what do you mean by that? He's talking foam about his foam stars. stars. I don't know why they bringing out foam stars and hell divers two two days apart, bro. They don't. They make know no one, sense. Don't, they know one of them the gonna issue. die. One of them going to die. You know what I'm saying? Designated to flop, man. That's Hell, gonna cannibalize and, and, the game, the player base, bro. They're really both they do. both only on PlayStation, right? That's gonna cannibalize the um, player base, bro. People, I really don't. Foam Stars just seems like a summer type of game, anyway. They should just hold off on that one. People gonna try out Foam Stars and, and realize, uh, yeah, we should just go to Hell Divers. Let's move over there. And especially if you get one for free, you pay it for the other. One. You're gonna be more inclined to put, play the one you paid for. You mm-hmm. niggas is definitely gonna drop Foam Stars, bro. I just, I just don't see how we, we complain so much about there not being multiplayer games. Why are you giving us two of them? No, you can't, yeah, but you can't, can't play two games? Bro, no, nah, man. Not on top of each other like that. That's not smart, man. It's like, it's y'all, like y'all Titanfall the same reason why they, back in the day. Yeah, exactly. Like, when Titanfall and Battlefield about, came out at the same time, that wasn't a good idea. And Call of Duty around bro, it. We, we can, bro, you comparing Battlefield and Titanfall? It's first, person quality, shoot, first person shooters. It's yes. turned, it's turned <laughs> a quality, bro. Y'all are the reason why they complain and talking about well, people only really play one game at a time. It's because y'all I mean, niggas. With a game, with a game like then we a go game months is, without a fucking game. Then we go get one game in February and don't get another one till late April. But a, ga- a like, game as a service is is a time sink. You don't you don't play. I don't know people that play multiple games as a service and don't play them like either you're not playing them at a at a, at a skillful rate or you're not really putting about? time in. Like yeah, that, that's a, play, that's a commitment. Play Tarkov, you can't drop Apex, two commitments. Warzone. Like that. They, people play tons of. But but but. It, the norm, the average person is not doing that, bro. You might do. Y'all might get on Discord and do that. The average person, they got one, may, maybe two games they lock in on, or they playing one game of service, one regular game. They not locking in on seven fucking games of service at one time and switching in between. Ain't nobody doing that, bro. Mm, okay. Shout out to you, the you doing that, brother. That don't make no out, sense. Yeah, it, it just the... annoy me. Bro. Shout out to the thousand viewers watching. Y'all just came here to to watch like chaos and destruction. Shout out to y'all, I guess though. Um, okay, where? Let me finish the super chats. Uh, the oh, Lao Lao Shim, Shim, Shimazaki. What? Lao Shimazaki. 
So he's cool. Nah, that, that word was whooping your ass. Go ahead, bro. Uh, Xbox, Xbox refugee reporting in. Well, welcome, sir. Thank you for watching. <laughs> What's going um, on, fam? The Brandalorian, what are y'all's biggest gaming pet peeves? I have two, relearning old abilities in the sequel and arbitrary, arbitrary skill trees to deepen the combat system. Mm, five, relearn, like relearn, that. relearn the skill trees, definitely. Uh, pointless combat, shout out to Alan Wake 2. Um, ice levels where you're sliding. I hate ice levels where you're sliding, especially in the platformer game. I love ice game. levels. Nah, man, they nah, man. That that shit's so lame to me, bro. That sliding mechanic, that shit is trash, bro. It's it's cheap. I got, I got one. I got one that we all recently saw in Callisto Protocol. Dying and having to re-pick up all the shit you just picked up. Yeah. Last oh my god, I hate that too. Alan Wake like that too. Like, bro, you know I just picked up this this, and it'd be random like a uh, 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 audio log. Like, man, let that shit yep, say, yep, bro. Yep, 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 yep. God damn. Facts. Um, yeah, bad time safe. levels. Time levels mm. in games. Go ahead, go ahead. You said bad save points. I hate that yeah. too. I hate that bad too. Bad save points. Um, speed run trophies. I think those are the spawn of the devil. Um, and those should those should not be in games. That's the single reason I I, I do not have uh two two platinum trophies, Stray and Resident Evil Four, because I refuse to do them. Um, time <laughs> speed speed run trophies are stupid. Because you you know I don't like speed run trophies specifically. First of all, the time limits are very strict it's like who the fuck play tested to, to do this like they got it to where you got to be within like e excellent to get the shit on top of that it it forces you to play the game the way it was not developed to be played bro it That's was not it, it how you gonna put out an exploratory puzzle game and then tell me to beat it in an hour and a half like nigga it wasn't meant to be played like this like it's, come on man to me it's you're punishing you're punishing the player for not playing a way that they're not supposed to Exactly. I got you know, two. Like, I got two. I don't like it. When, and we see this a lot in boss battles and just kind of common enemy to very types. One magnetization when you when oh you mm -hmm. dodge some shit and it don't matter they just gonna gravitate to you and hit you anyway no matter right. how long or short yep. the swing is that's annoying. Another thing, if you gonna let the enemy clip through the world to hit me, let me clip and hit them back. There's mm -hmm. nothing worse than I'm playing Neo right now. These enemies are hitting through boulders. I got this spear. I keep doing this. I can't even get the swing off because we in a small ass corridor. But this nigga doing 720 spins hitting me. So yeah, that shit is trash. That shit is annoying. Yeah, I uh, I have I have the Uncharted Four Platinum, which requires the speed run. Um, but I glitched. There was there's the glitch where you don't you could literally which I think you you gotta have a, a save file at the end of the game. You go into a new game. You load the new game. Something like that. And then no, you, you, just, you gotta you gotta play the first chapter and then you go into chapter select and replay the last chapter. Yeah. And it'll was, count as a speed run. I was so glad that was that that glitch was online because bro, if it wasn't there, I would not have that platinum either. I, see, I, I don't I don't necessarily agree with people like glitching trophies or like, but see some shit like that, I would definitely recommend somebody do that because like bro, don't ain't nobody trying to play that yeah. game like that, bro. E no. Even with the accuracy trophies like that too, like, oh, get such and such accurate with like a, some shit. Bro, I, bro, it's a way you can do it, bro. You load up a chapter, bro. Shoot a nigga twice with a shotgun. <laughs> Did you beat the last chapter? You getting that trophy too? Like, yeah. I'm, 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 I'm with that. Like, fuck the yeah. stupid ass trophies, bro. And, and, how about running, how about running 10 damn miles to redo the same motherfucking boss that you just Oh, lost, God. You know? oh yeah, 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 that's trash. That's trash. Yeah, that's yeah, that's that that don't make no sense. Um, I forgot what game was like that. Also, yeah, I know I hate chopping down trees. Anything that is like yeah. manual resource collection, like fishing, chopping down trees. I hate that type. Oh, of did you see? I, I love fishing in video games. It. Go ahead, Jack. No, I was gonna ask him. Did he see that new game they showed the state of play? The dude, the first thing they showed is a dude chopping down a tree. I'm like, I'll be rising. Yeah, bro. Yeah, I'll be rising. With this, he chopping down a tree. I already knew you weren't gonna. Bro, that's that that's the exact that's the exact same thing I said in my <laughs> chat. I, as soon as I saw that, I was like, first of all, why is a vampire chopping down a tree? Like, what? What are you? <laughs> you you want him to bite it down, nigga? He got to get the tree down. <laughs> like, oh, here go one. Here go one. When you when you listen to an audio log and the game not smart enough to let you walk around and listen to it, so you have to stand mm. there for forty five seconds. Bruh, mm. yes. Or or that, you that listen to the, or when that happened and then they didn't program the game right, so you talking over the audio log. Oh like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, like what is y'all doing, man? Another thing, this isn't really a mechanic, but uh, first person shooters, especially Call of Duty recently, they've had it to where you have to use guns you'll never use to unlock an attachment for the gun you really want to use. 
I hate mm-hmm. that they've been doing that lately. Oh yeah, that's sounds horrible. Annoying as fuck. Use a sniper to get a red dot on a on a SMG. Right? They're just trying to force you to use more weapons. That's that yeah. that sounds fucking yeah. trash. That's all it is. That sounds yeah. horrible. Yep. Okay. Um let me see. All right. Uh Joe Joe Schmo can't spend eighty billion and expect forty studios of exclusives. <sighs> Xbox can't survive on its own spending that type of cash. When the money when the money man shows up, shit changes quickly. This was very likely always the plan. It ain't the end. Yeah, we're going to get to that. I Holy actually mo- agree with that. Yeah, Holomoka17. Yo, BG, no one cares about Suicide Squad or the rest of the topics. Focus on Kids Move and the L-Bots Meltdown. We gonna get to that. <laughs> we gonna get to that. Relax. Hungry, brother. Uh, Bless011. People on Twitter get emotional over the death of video game characters compared to compared to real video game developers getting getting the sack that's true Pause. they'd be they'd be more mad about you know fiction real people who the fuck just died snipe what the- <laughs> <laughs> who the fuck just died what hey kids move first victim he got the flick at him. he got the <laughs> fuck up at him. who the fuck just disappeared somebody left what the fuck no was I, I, no, think, I didn't uh, leave I just turned off my camera real quick. Yeah, and, right. some water. yeah and that cut off Blandrew's mic for a second you, you there Blandrew? yeah that was that was weird what's up Blandrew? Blanchard no, I, mean, I, I just said I thought you were going to say people are more upset over video game characters dying compared to real people dying in the real world. They, they, they might be. Um, free okay. Palestine, free Palestine. Yeah. DJ Smith. I love the idea of this game. It's cool, but don't use the Arkhamverse. Give me my Batman Beyond Arkham game. I do think they can, they can redeem themselves. I think that should be their next move. Make a Batman Beyond game. Get back into people's good grace. I, I nah. think that's y'all not sick of y'all not sick of the Batman games. They need to make a Ninja Turtles game, man. Let's let's cut the bullshit Facts. right now. They need to make a Ninja Turtle. They got they got they plugged in with WB games. Make a fucking Ninja Turtles game. You know what I mean? Based but on that, the '90s movie, and let's oh, get it. That's it. Oh, because Black Forest is working on that nice last Ronin, but that's only going to be one turtle. So well, they all they also yeah. fired some of their devs last. Yeah, week. They had yeah that game 50%. is probably never coming out. So yeah, um, there, there you go. The Brandalorian, Jack's right about character deaths. It needs to make uh, make sense narratively. The Last of Us would be way different if you actively killed Joel on the stick. What? Okay. Okay. Um, if you were the one killing. Yeah, oh, if you oh, controlled yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, uh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, Emmanuel A1, rip to the best bot. Can we get a, a can we get Gamesta on the pod? He's not a bot, but he'd at but he'd at least rep that Xbox better than Smooth right now. Who's but Gangsta? Xbox, who, hey, game, who the Gamesta. I, I, I'm pretty sure I've seen his name before. I, I, I know who he's talking about. He might be. Why y'all dissing on Smooth? Why y'all dissing on Smooth? Why he down might, right now? Yeah, he might be a little bit unhinged. It's um, grieving right now. Ruffle Mutt. Hot take. Super Bowl in general is overrated trash. Well, you just don't like sports, brother. Who your team? You must be like a Cleveland Browns fan or something. I mean, I feel that way too. You know what I mean? I mean but you I'm know. not. Yeah, I'm not super excited about the teams that made it, but I just don't want that light skinned nigga to win again, man. Let let. Oh, he going? You know I mean? Yeah, he definitely going to win, bro. I need the 49ers to do what the fuck they need to do, man. All right? Stop all this bullshit. They supposed to have went mm-hmm. one in 2019. That ain't on bullshit. That, okay, let's get it now. All right, new quarterback. Yeah. Let's go. Lesser of two evils. I'm going with the 49ers. Facts. Um. Alex PSX, Phil, we sang the fun song together. How could you? <laughs> um, he was my friend. I played, I played Halo with him the other night. You ever uh, game with Phil Spencer Smooth? No, I have not. They, but do they boot you at the party when you pull up? I feel like they would. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's that probably, toxic yeah. guy again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're like, get this, hey, get this nigga the fuck out of here. That's, <laughs> that's that Xbox game. Yeah, get that nigga the fuck out of here. What y'all? Doing? I, I'm, I'm still Mr. Sorry, high expectations over here. Get him out. But I, but I gamed with Phil the other night. He didn't tell me this. Uh, Detour board. Go ahead. No, go ahead. I was gonna say, y'all see that nigga um, Tim Dog remove all the Xbox shit off his Twitter? Oh, Damn. No. Yeah, yeah. He yeah. was on ILLP. He, he, yeah. He's he he heated. He dropped his set. He dropped he his flag. Hey, yeah. Yeah. You can't yeah. drop yeah. the flag. He said. Yeah, he crazy. said if Starfield was going to PlayStation, he would um he would drop it. And you and oh, they and then Starfield's part of the rumor. They... He got rid of that picture where he was like, ah, he got rid of that joint too? <laughs> Come on, not that one. That was my you, shit. Not you can't, you <laughs> can't drop your flag in the street. In the... Oh, you can't <laughs> do that, That's my bro. shit. Don't do that, Tim, dog. We need you, baby. Set tripping. Uh, 
No, not like this. We're uh, dark, dark, and I need to hear what he got to say about all this. He didn't know he's level status. <laughs> Where he at? Dark, dark, boy dark at? is platform agnostic. He's fine. Like he just said, he prefers. Um, yeah, he just likes uh, Game uh, Pass. He's yeah. he's okay. Dark, dark just need his mod mic, and he good, bro. That's all he needed. Yes, sir. Yeah. Detour boy one. Doc, man. Uh, Detour bro one. Shout out to BG. He been on the timeline fighting that good fight. Listen, I've been I just been <laughs> laughing at the reactions. It's 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 been crazy. Okay, um, let's get to some uh. Like two major items before we get to the you know Xbox stuff. Uh, Grounded two documentary about the the making of the Last of Us Part Two. I never watched the first one. I still haven't, but I watched this one um, yesterday. And there's a few uh, you know takeaways, a few bullet points um, that I that I wrote down. Y'all can if y'all did y'all watch it. I don't want to hear shit else about Last of Us. Hey, I'm on it. Hey, same thing. Did y'all watch what it? Think, what, what, what he no, said. but go ahead, go ahead. I, I want to hear. I want to hear what they talked about. I'm so nobody, about. so nobody watched documentary. I am not supporting Naughty Dog until they bring out a uh, Jack, new. Jack, game. you are being we a stand, sucker. We standing on business. Yeah, you know but mean? watching My the God, documentary is not. On, we stand. We standing on business. Watching you know the mean? documentary is not supporting them. It's just a documentary. You know no, I don't want to hear about that fucking game no more, man. Shut yeah, they're getting that ad sense over there. Don't don't do it. Oh, oh my god. Oh, oh, oh. I want to hear. I want to hear about the game they they ain't they ain't bringing out. I want to hear about the cancellation. Did they talk Come about on, Big that? John? Come Did on. they talk about that? <laughs> hey Jack, hey Jack, read oh, your shirt for him. <clears throat> Let's just pretend I give a shit and leave it at that. Let's just yeah, man. You see what type of time we on today, baby? Fuck Naughty Dog. All right. What, so what, what, hey, hey one, of the, one of them damn DM me too. He he got he. I guess he felt the type of way I say he got fired. <laughs> hey, <laughs> because Jack, you wrong. You hold it. Word on the Jack, street, you, you wrong it. for that because for one thing. You you know he's he's like a like a big time artist in the industry. Like he's not the type of nigga to get fired. I don't know. Like, 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 like he's like a he's like he's like a because he's like a BAFTA, he's he's like a BAFTA judge. He's like one of those like design artists in the industry who's like worked on so much shit. Like they he he he's like he's him. He's he's a BAFTA judge. I hope they make a new game after they kicked his ass out of the studio. Oh, How about that? Man. That's my Have thing. You heard of the G League? That's <laughs> he's my thing. Though, Jack, right? he's him. You cannot say that he's him. No, no, he's no. one of those. I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna say this. I was like, <laughs> fuck this nigga at first, but he hit me up on some respectable shit. I'm like, ah, right, you know what, bro? I still think he got fired at the end of the day. But I'm like, you know what I mean? It's all love on my end, good brother. You know what I mean? He's... But you should have brought that game. You should have brought that game out. That you've been talking Look, about, let us cook. But, that, but that's not out. that's not on him. Why are you blaming him? He's just an artist. I didn't blame I didn't blame him. He's a fall guy. He had to get up out the studio. They said, "Hey, he's, brother, we shutting down the bro, studio." They had to get up out of That's it. He he's one. He I doubt he got fired. He decided hey, to go somewhere else because if hey, you've man, seen his resume, out. he been at, he been at Rocksteady. He been at you Naughty Del, Dog. Del, Del Walker. That's what you talking about. He been at, he he was at. It's crystal. It might have been Crystal. He been a, he been a, he been some places. So he been he been at a he been at a studio that just released Suicide Squad. He been at a studio that just got sold and laid off half their damn employees. Listen. And he been at Naughty Dog Studio just. Hey, wherever he go, <laughs> he's him, bro. He's That's not a, in control. He, he, he is him. When they see him, they say, All "That's right, him. Man. Get his ass the fuck out of here." You see what? All nah, right, man. man. You got it. It, it sounds like bad news. Follow this guy wherever he go. But uh, I'm gonna keep respect. See, that's why. Respect with me, that's why he I mean? pulled up on you and checked you. He said, salute. "Listen, no, nah, no, nah, salute." He said, man. "Listen, little bro." No, nah, I'm gonna tell you what he said though. He was like, um, he was just sending me messages. People had sent him like, you know what I mean. Some of the tweets he posted might cause this, but it ain't causing, man. I still think you got by, good brother. But oh, I respect man. it. At the end of the day, I do okay. respect it or check it. Um, but the grounded two documentary. Some of the bullet points I wrote. Uh, they started out with talking about one of the things they said was a sentiment about the game was it doesn't need a sequel. Um, right. Cause a lot of people felt that way about playing after playing the first one. I hate that type of type of shit from, from gamers when something is so good and so perfect. They're like, Oh, they shouldn't make a sequel. I never understood that logic that like that just doesn't hold water or make sense in my brain. Something is so good. Please don't make a sequel. That, that shit don't make no sense. to I, me. I think, because, it dep- I think it depends. I think it depends. It, 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 if, if it warrants it, which Last of Us One clearly did, like the the only time, bro, because bro, regardless of how you feel about something that came before or after something, whether it be a TV show, movie, game, the previous things stand on their own. If 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 season one, and and we've talked about this with game, with Game of Thrones, if if season one of Game of Thrones is fire, season twelve cannot make season one bad. I, That's not how I, shit works. 
It can also be argued that The Last of Us won, even though you can say it's a cliffhanger, but I think it told a complete story. I, I do. And, um, you know, the end is left up for interpretation. I think I'm glad they made a sequel, but if they never did and just went on to something new, I probably wouldn't be upset, bro. Even though we see what Last of Us 2 turned out to be, and it was a fucking amazing game, great game, but I think it told a complete story. I don't think it necessarily needed a sequel. I can see that argument. I, I think it absolutely n- needed one because you could not let that 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 white grizzled man get away with his atrocities against humanity. Oh, so he needed hey, to be man. held accountable. Um, but yeah, I just I just hate that sentiment. Oh, it, it's so good. It doesn't need a sequel. Like, bro, like things stand on their own. Everything stands on its own merits. A sequel, now, un- unless like in the sequel, they 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 go back. And and like retcon some crazy stuff and say, oh, this actual like 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 in Spider Man three where oh Uncle Ben oh this guy didn't actually kill Uncle Ben it was it was Sandman. If you do that, that's different. But let me ask you let me ask you a question. I mean, they did shit with like they had to do shit with like uh, Uncharted four. They did some shit like that. You know, he had a brother and all. So they have the longer shit going. They have to go. Oh, they did that with God of War. The first, the very first God of War game. There were the only living Titan still alive was Kronos. He said mm-hmm. one still walks to Earth. And then the next game is fucking Battle of the Titans. Like, all oh, these niggas might be dead, right? So they they do it with all these games as long as they go. So my question is, how do you feel about games that have multiple choices, especially with the ending, and then they try to make a sequel? I feel like if your game got a multiple choice ending, you don't need to make a sequel. It's either this or that, bro. Like I hate when games do that. Because one of the endings is gonna be canon. So I, I hate when I hate when games do that. Nostalgic Night, you don't remember in the Raimi Spider-Man series where they went in Spider-Man 3 and literally told Peter, hey, that's not what actually happened, but they told Peter, hey, Sandman kill, killed Uncle Ben. That's literally what yeah, happened. Yeah, they did. They did. But, that is but, what they, yeah. but that ultimately didn't end up being the truth. That's, but that's my point. Um, okay, so yeah, I just, I just hate that sentiment from gamers. Like Y'all are so afraid of y'all little perfect little toys. No, you got to keep it pristine and don't bother it. Like, man, shut up. Just make another one. Y'all will be okay. Stop being bitches. Um, Jeez. Working on, they talk about working on multiple projects. They, they pretty much confirm that they're a studio that really only works on one game at a time. And they, they really only be making progress when they're working at one game at a time. And I said this like, uh, like last year, like, cause you know, you'd be hearing about studios uh, working on, or uh, working on two, three projects or depending on the studio size. But y'all be working on one because they literally said, yeah, we had we were working on Uncharted 4 and early development of an, of of Last of Us Part 2. But they didn't really get nowhere with Last of Us Part 2 until they completely finished Uncharted 4 and even lo- And I think they said Lost Legacy as, as well. So, yeah, it depends on the studio, but Naughty Dog and, and studio size. But them, they got to work on one game at a time, bro, because when you watch. <laughs> so. Yeah, Going off of what you just said, and they're saying this after they announced that they was working on like three projects recently. So it's like, did they not learn a lesson or were them other two games not really getting worked on and they was just working on Factions 2 or I don't understand that, bro. Uh, they had the multiplayer team working on Factions 2 and another team working on something else. So but it wasn't so, enough. It wasn't enough. So, so. After a game that launched in 2020 came out, they acknowledged we can't work on multiple games at a time whilst working on multiple games. They they do <laughs> they do it. They do it. So they do it, but they they pretty much don't start full production until the home team whole team is available. Like after they finish Uncharted 4 and Lost Lost Legacy, they were working on the last of us part two but it you you don't get no it's like it's literally like playing three games at one time it, it's the same thing you play three games at one time bro you're not really getting nowhere with all yeah. three games you, you're barely making any progress until you put down two and you focus on one and you fly through it so that's it's the same it's I the same concept Plat- platinum games was doing that too they was they was getting <clears throat> whored out to make mobile games game here game there and uh, it ended up with all them games being mid as hell uh yeah yeah bro Shut, yeah. fuck platinum games by the way Shut so up. yeah um watch your mouth jack my bad brother <laughs> you seen um, they shut down another game blandrew that, that mobile joint i did and i want i was always hoping they would port that to consoles but they just stuck kept it with the uh, apple arcade 
And that's where it will die, sadly. Yep, and guess yep. what their their new direction is? Live service games. Yay. Well, they already made one. What was that? Babylon's Fall? Wasn't that live service supposed to yeah, be? Yeah, and they said, oh, man, this was a disaster. We're going to double down on it. Man, that that shit was averaging one player like the last few months. Of the, it was like one nigga playing this shit every day. Like, yeah, Persona <laughs> and Jay Bari, they were going to keep that game, <laughs> keeping that game alive. <laughs> oh, um, y'all talk about something for uh, 30 seconds. I'll be right back. All right, cool. So uh shit. Hey, hey hey jack you think i'm gonna get a, a mario hat in the new halo game for the switch you say would i get a mario hat what? in the halo game you think the switch version is gonna have a mario <laughs> hat absolutely. on master chief absolutely he gonna have a tanuki tail in that bitch he already yeah. wore cat ears on xbox so it's no doubt in my mind that they're gonna give him you know so yeah that'll be fire you you gonna a get the blue, the blue playstation beanie on the uh the playstation oh see <laughs> this is crazy bro I hope they don't put it. <laughs> Halo, on, Halo on PlayStation gonna feel so fucking dirty and disgusting, bro. I'm not gonna even buy the shit. I ain't gonna yeah, lie to y'all. No. Yeah, please. Imagine. I hope every single one of their games that they put over there flop to the fucking oblivion. I hope I nobody agree. buys now, shit. Now I'm gonna tell you though, smooth. They put Hellblade two, Ori, some of that shit. Oh, we there day one, baby. I ain't gonna lie to you. <laughs> I need that. Oh, Psychonauts but, uh, three. <laughs> I'm there. <laughs> Psychonets. <laughs> now, now you gonna start saying it right. They they heard how you was pronouncing that shit. They like he don't even fuck with the game for. It. Let's put it on. Yeah, you might be part of the problem. Respectfully, brother. Okay. Man. Uh, also from the documentary, Last of Us Part Two was supposed to launch he's, in spring. He's still talking about. He's still and, talking about. Yes, yes, we are going to. Uh, are we still talking about a game from yes. 2020? It, no, hey, no, hey, no, hey. no, no, no. We're talking about a documentary. Hey, Blandrew, what's that shit? So, you, you know what's funny about this documentary? Real quick, before you continue. All the people that said, oh, uh, I didn't expect factions to come out anyway. And I'm glad factions didn't come out. I didn't care about it anyway. Now they posting footage of this fucking documentary like it's a new game. You bitch. You bitch ass niggas, boy. I tell you, bro. Hey, Blake, what's that shit you be saying? Next topic, BG. I don't want to talk about this um, shit, bro. BG, next topic. No, Thank I'm you, not. Bro. Because what's crazy is <laughs> you last week when I said I never watched the original documentary, you was like, you never watched that? Now I'll watch this one. I like, I like, I like the original documentary. I don't like this one. What are you understand? You didn't brother? watch it. How you know you don't like it? Co- Ten minutes ago, what'd you just say, brother? Sometimes things don't need a sequel. All right, this documentary uh, didn't need God. a fucking sequel. Okay. Um, yeah. Last was Last was Part Two was supposed to launch in spring 2018. <laughs> Obviously, that didn't happen. Uh, it was delayed two years from the projected launch date. We know it came out 2020. Um, originally it was very melee focused because they were inspired by Bloodborne. Um, I don't know if you saw those clips, um, but yeah, they were heavily inspired by Bloodborne, but of course melee, that much melee focus doesn't work in the world of the last of us part two story. Um, oh, the, so we all know about the, the, the leak, right? So the, the servers were breached after they had to work from home, right? It, 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 and it, and it literally came it was it was breached after they had to work from home from somebody from a fan in the Netherlands who got tired of the Robin game games. being Robin game. <laughs> a lot of people thought about him. <laughs> I'm sick and tired of the agenda from Naughty Dog. It's like... <laughs> I know That's it's from funny. Neville. That was definitely Robin Game Roberta and them. Yeah, they got That's that shit. Funny, bro. Uh, so yeah, it was that. And, and it's a dude in the, in his twenties that was living with his parents. Literally, just like found a, they said a back door into the uh, into the server while people were working at home because of the pandemic. Um, and he got tired of the game being being uh, delayed, so he's like, "Yeah, I'm just gonna leak it." And and I and he said he thought that would uh that would urge them to hurry up and release the game by by leaking it, but it ended up delaying the game even more. So that's that's actually what happened because um, you we know there was a lot of story behind that and a lot of the shit was false. Um, there is a story about Tommy, um, that Neil has in mind, uh, about, about Tommy. It could be possibly the last of us part three. Um, and listen, I always thought Tommy should be, could be, should be DLC. I think that would be fire. If we could get, I'm, I'm not, I'm not down. I don't usually don't like flashbacks, but if we could get some flashbacks to Tommy in his firefly days and also maybe after, cause he's the only one. He's the only like kind of like unfinished thread, I I think in, in uh, after Last of Us Part Two. I don't like the sound I, of that. I don't. I, like I, the sound I say of that. this. I it personally can, don't like playing with. Um, I don't like playing games where I already know the character is dead. 
Not Tom. Tommy, like, Tommy not, yeah, Tommy not. No, no, I'm saying Joel. Like, say if he if he's in his Firefly days and we see a bunch of Joel, this Joel that. I personally don't like. I know the nigga gonna die. Joel <laughs> so wasn't. I don't like, Joel wasn't with Tommy though. Yeah, they. they, they, they you don't think they go show Joel at all? If they, if they, 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 they didn't see each other for like twenty they, years. After yeah, they didn't see Joel. each other. Oh, during, yeah, okay. during those times, he was a so. he was like a hunter, and he went to the Firefly. Yeah. This is my problem. I don't mind that story being told, but if you're telling the story of when he went after uh wlf and all that that just tells me you're gonna reuse assets it's a cheap fucking game to make and it's gonna be yeah it's gonna be jack, a glorified jack, asset jack jack come that, on that's jack stop that's this. what is that's what it's gonna be jack stop you're gonna this. be you're gonna be in seattle you're gonna see a lot of that same shit that arcade is they gonna put the this. same map from last of us too jack, that's stop literally this. What it's jack you're be. making what a lot of game? unreasonable assumptions sir you know Okay, how about this? When you play that uh, DLC of uh, The Last of Us 2 right now, did you realize that <laughs> all the characters got the exact same two running animations? They all run like Ellie and Abby? Did you notice yeah, that? Yeah, because it's so literal. Joel it's li- it be- like this? Because it's it's literal DLC, and it's just it's just. Joel skit. run through it's, that motherfucker like this? It, it's like just you literally. Pussy on, uh, what are you, you doing? Bro, run through that motherfucker like you got a pussy you attention. Doing? We seen the shit, nigga. Yeah. What are you doing? No, I need so you stop doing that on the new, camera. You're on the camera. I need you to stop that. Make a new fucking game, man. Make a, you're you're making me uncomfortable. I need you to stop doing my, that that's bullshit. That's not macho. No, I, fuck all that. That's not macho. When the fuck you get sassy like that? Stop man, doing that. Man, you a bad bitch? How's Yo, your bad bitch after death, man, nigga? Come on, man. man. I need you, I need you to stop doing that bullshit. Bad bitch after death is crazy. And he walk like Alex. Fuck all that. We not playing it, bro. Jack, he Jack, on the floor to get up. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't um, I don't necessarily want like a Tommy focus on the on part three, but as DLC, I think it would be a great idea. But we'll see what what happens. Um, they talked about E three that like making E three demos, and it took mad time to make them E three demos. I'm kind of glad like. E3 is not a thing only because oh my no no listen no no, no listen great. no listen no, ahead, listen, to ahead, listen to what I'm saying listen to what I'm saying listen to what I'm saying when you watch a documentary and you see how much time they spend just making a demo for for E bro it's crazy so I'm not saying they shouldn't have showcases have a showcase but they had showcases after E3 you should look bro watch the documentary see how much time they spent. I, it's it's insane. And have and, you ever have you ever watched the God of War three documentary? They showed a similar thing. Yeah. So, so I'm, they, talk, they talk about how yeah E three is very stressful so, on the team. So Jack, I'm just saying you are very very harsh on these timelines, on these timelines of when these games releases re- be releasing. So if like not to say that they're still not showcases, but E three is like a different type of pressure. Check, so you should this, actually be happy about that. Uh, I, I would rather, this is going to sound crazy, I would rather you show me your game through the development process and all that, and it take longer to come out than you're not showing me anything for years on end, and then the game come out and, and being mid as hell. I, like, I would rather them do the <laughs> traditional go to E3, we got the, this, this is our lineup, this is our roadmap, okay, cool, now I can, now I can know what I'm actually being patient for, right? Instead of not seeing shit for four fucking years, I'm just sitting up here upset, not knowing what the fuck going and- on. And then you come out with some bullshit or don't come out with nothing at all. I would and, rather the E3. And people are like not getting what I'm saying. I'm saying have a showcase. But E3 was different because it was it was guaranteed yearly. It was always the same. It was always the same. That's time. my point. I'm not have a showcase. But, but E3 it, was different. So it, it kind of didn't like benefit because they couldn't do it on their timeline. No, when they no, have no, their no, own show, they can do it on their timeline. That's what I'm saying. I don't like devs being on their own timeline. I do not. I like the fact that E3 kept all these devs honest, right? So either you go, you go, you go show up, right? You either gonna shit to get off the pot. You either gonna show up with an impressive showing, or you just gonna niggas gonna ridicule you for the next calendar year until you show up and show some bullying. But that's good bullying, right? That's constructive criticism. Bullying. <laughs> they need to bring back E3 because some of Game Fest ain't cutting niggas. Doing countdown timers and then you show. I remember you remember he did the countdown timers. Nigga show half the feedback. He was blowing under control. Like Jeff, get the fuck out. Nigga, we stayed up to four thirty a.m. to watch this bullshit, man. Are you kidding me? Like, nah, man. Bring back Game Fest. Like twenty of those games look exactly the same too. That's what I'm saying. Every Blanche, you see the homogenous fucking bullshit. Game Awards as well. Yeah. Shit, man. You see this shit, bro. Spaceship, uh, deep space, third person shooters, and we can every see fucking anything. game, every yep. fucking game, bro. Bring back E3, bro. I'm not finna get them no leeway. Nah, man. Show um, us what you're working on. Fuck else? all that. They talked about uh, animations. Um, 
and uh, like animations that you saw in the in the in the E three trailer, right? Because people always talk about is that real? Is that not real? Right? Like, because I remember Tick, like when he when we first saw that uh, Last of Us two trailer, he was like, "That shit's not real. That's not going to be in the game." Oh, and brother. actual, they actually admitted the t- at the time they showed that trailer, they did not have those systems made yet. All of it, all of it ended up in the game, but they didn't actually make it yet. This like the systems and the mechanics that they did that after. So that's interesting. That's to know. that's that's actually impressive. That's that's crazy. Um, because there's there's some animations in Last of Us Part Two. I've beat it mad times. I've never actually seen like you know when they drag you from underneath the the car. That's in the game. I've never. It's never been done to me because I ain't uh, a bitch ass nigga. That, that, that happened to me under a bed. Like when, no, um, right. yeah, when you're in that neighborhood with Ellie, if you hide under a bed, yeah. they'll pull you up from under that motherfucker. Yeah, I'm. I'm not hiding under a bed. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not built to be a bitch. So I'm like, I'm not hiding under. No is bed, that so. is that why you getting your ears stumped together on, on so, stream every day? So, so that's why you know I ain't never seen the mechanic, Jack. Maybe you. Maybe they pull you from underneath the bed. They ain't never done nothing like that to me. I, I don't know what that feel like. Coming out. They were one shot. They were one shot. I don't know what that feel like. You you letting other men pull you from underneath the bed? Couldn't be me. Actually, actually I was a. a a dyke lesbian and a woman <laughs> put me from under the bed. So we was finna get it on. With that you that right now? That. What you talking about? Never mind. <laughs> hey, talk about it. Hey, <laughs> tap in. Ladies, tap in with me. Um. Okay. Just uh, let me see. Oh, you kissed the mic. <laughs> <laughs> if I slap my ass, you're gonna hear that. That's that's thunderous right there. Yeah. Hey. Camera go shake. Hey, um, this is random. Shout out to Salam. I don't know if y'all seen that Power Ranger shit he just made us, bro. That shit is hilarious. Mm-hmm. Where that's at? It's on Twitter, bro. That shit. Yeah. Um. What else was there? Uh. Oh yeah. People were running with an announcement that Neil confirmed Last of Us Part Three. He did not. <laughs> like I'm. I, I watched the clip. I'm like. I don't know where y'all. I mean, get that from. It's. He said he has an idea, and and like there's. He definitely no, has. But he didn't confirm. He didn't confirm nothing. I'm like that's a reach. The, the, nigga, the nigga have said on numerous occasions you got the third game written. Like yeah, I, I feel like that's a good. I feel like that's a confirmation. I I feel like they are making Last of Us Part Three, even though that's people are still debating that now. I feel like they are, but I don't think that is a confirmation. What he said, but there will be one. Absolutely, there's going to be one, but I don't think that itself was a confirmation. I think. I would have, I would like to see them speak on. I thought I always thought Last of Us was a ba- way bigger. It probably isn't that because of the show. I always thought it was a way bigger franchise than it is, bro. Because the first game selling twenty million, and then that second game really. It was I don't leaks. think them sales are. It yeah, was it leaks, was leaked, man. but them, 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 them sales wasn't impressive, bro. I thought that game would have did way it was, more. It was the leaks, man. Like people hated it. They thought they thought Abby was trans. <laughs> they thought. They thought you know. And let's let's be real. We we can't. It's hard to have a conversation with these people. Because once once you you bring up Joel dying and that was it for people. They go they put on their blinders. They go deaf. Nah, they don't. They didn't that's hear true. anything. Nothing else mattered to them after Joel. Joel, my virtual you know hypothetical father, because I got daddy issues, Bro. is dead. I don't care about nothing else. It's weird. When I was trying to when I was trying to I had already. I had already figured out what was gonna happen, but I was still trying to duck spoilers, bro. Nigga added me on PSN. Their name was uh trans kill Joel or some shit like that. I'm like, really, bro? I remember one time I put up, I put up, I don't even do like community posts on YouTube. I put up a community post, like, should I do like exclusive streams or something? They like, yeah, man, maybe, bro. It's crazy that uh <laughs> such and such killed. I'm like, damn, what the fuck? I had to stop doing community posts. <laughs> Why niggas so hateful, man? Like, yeah, it's 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 hard, it's bro. It's and I, I I it's hard to like have the conversation. It's like I kind of want to, I always want to avoid it at this point because it's the same old conversation. And like with Suicide Squad, like I can understand more someone being mad about Suicide Squad and and like how the Justice League dies more than Joel. Like people have been watching Justice League for people have been watching Justice League and those characters for decades, bro. See, these niggas met Joel. Joel eight years ago or whatever, and they and I they think, act like this nigga raised them and sent them off to college, bro. You this man was in one game. I don't. He taught him what class shirts was, bro. Like I don't necessarily. I don't necessarily agree with how they murdered Joel off. I think it was. And hey, you know what irritated me about Neil and uh, old girl? Uh, they talk about like alternate story ideas they had, and low key some of them bitches sound better than what they did. So I feel like they should have probably did in a different way. Him dying two hours in the game was crazy. Like, Peep, but, and then on top on top of that, the flashbacks like. I feel like most people, if the flashback, like when you in the hotel with Joel and Ellie, they first blow their fight or whatever. I feel like that's what people assume Last of Us Two would be, and I, I think if they did a whole game like that, 
That and, shit would they could have did that in the third game. The shit they did in Last of Us Two at the beginning, they could have did that. Third and and game. my I don't thing think is, bro. my thing is like, no, I I disagree. I think regardless of how you kill Joel, these same people would have been mad because they they would maybe maybe I, I, maybe. I think they would have said it, it was an agenda. You replaced him with, with with a slightly butch lesbian. Um, you know, you killed him off after one game, bro. People are still talking about oh he was he was disrespected in the way he died, bro. Joel did not deserve an honorable death. Y'all keep glorifying this nigga like he was one of the knights of the round table. Look at what he look at what you did in the first game. It's like y'all pe people are so oblivious to what Joel did, and y'all think he it like I don't see why people hate Abby. Like he literally killed her father. Like you ain't gonna spin the block for your parent. Like people like real. BG, you don't get it. No, y'all don't get it. Y'all play Last of Us. And look at the rules and the logic of of the Last of Us world. And why do y'all think this random person deserves special treatment of a death? Why does Joel deserve a special death instead of a demeaning, degrading one? When everybody else in the world essentially gets a demeaning, degrade. Oh, oh y'all want him to go out shooting like John? No, that's not how shit works in the Last of Us universe. Play the first game. See how people die. It's it's sometimes it's random. It's instant. You don't see it coming. He is no different than anybody else in the game. Y'all want this man. Y'all want believe. special. Just say, listen, if y'all would just say y'all want Joel to have special treatment because y'all view him as a protagonist. Then I would then I would have no argument with y'all. Just say y'all want special treatment for him. No, but I'm sorry, it doesn't work like that, bro. He's just another character. He de he dead. Get over it. And he he deserved what he got. I'm tired of having this conversation. I just don't like when people make up shit that ain't true about the game. Like they'll say shit like, "How did uh, Abby know where he was at? They had no way of knowing." It's like, bro, if you played bro. the game, they show flashbacks of them saying they knew their names and they knew where they were located. Like she definitely knew. That was the whole point. They went out there, bro. Like people just be making up their own narratives in their head. That's the only thing I don't like about the discourse about the game. But they free to feel you, how they feel. You hear man. what they say? Oh, he's the main character. So what? This, see, this this is once again that programming over decades, y'all have been programmed and brainwashed to every game has told you that the main character is supposed to have but special treatment. We, we sorry, all knew was gonna be the main character in the same And sorry, game. he's not we the main character it. no more. Anyway, like, get it, bro. People do not know. People think they know the story of Last of Us Part Two. I've I've like people still don't. People people still be like, oh, Joel walked into the room and said his name. Joel never said what his name was. What are y'all talking about? Tommy, Tommy, Tommy said. Tommy his name. said his name. Oh, Tom, Tommy. Oh, Joel and Tommy would never do that. Tommy met two black dudes and and followed them three minutes after talking to them in in, in the first game. Tommy was literally living in a safe civilization for. Five plus five plus ten years longer than Joel, and randomly inviting strangers to come live with them. That was Tommy's life. No, literally that was Tommy's inviting. Job was to recruit random people to help. Build random straight. Yeah. Tommy, yeah. this is Tommy. This is Tommy. This is for people who do not li who do not pay attention to the story. This is Tommy's life. Hey, we live in a, in a civilization called Jackson, a town called Jackson. You want to come live with us? That's literally Tommy's life. And then y'all like, oh, he would never do that. That's all he ever did. <laughs> what are you talking about? This is why I hate arguing with idiots who don't pay attention to story, bro. Don't pay attention, but but swear they have so much to say. Let's move on. Y'all don't, don't know story and y'all know details. They would never do that. He, We've seen them do it. <laughs> like, anyway, moving on. Next topic, BG. Yeah. They don't know what they talking about. Um, state of play. I love the passion, guys. State of play. Let's talk about that. Um, you okay, BG? I'm great. I just hate people. Who, I'm great. I, I just hate people who too like to talk about story details and don't know what the hell they're talking about. You're all a bunch of idiots. They right, let's talk about the state of play. Like, they, they don't know. They don't, they're idiots, bro. Like, how you gonna argue? How you gonna argue with me about story? Blatant, sto blatant story details. That's like happened, and you don't even you don't even actually know what happened. Anyway, um, wipe your knees, BG. Wipe your knees, bro. State of play. Hey, man. If being right, hey. Requires me to wipe my knees. Hey. hey. This is so if being right means you gotta be a d what you say? Jack, didn't you just call yourself a butch lesbian the other other minute? Don't fall back. You call me then I just agreed to it. There's a difference, brother. Okay. But I just call you a dick sucker, then you agree with it. So what are we doing? Um State of play. play. Make sure get my, just make sure I get my invite. I right, bet. Let's go. State of play. I don't have this in um no, I do have this in order. Hell divers too. Um, February eighth, as we as we already talked about it, Jack, 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 Jack oh, being performative, Jack being performative. Report for duty. Your... Re report for duty at this Friday, Jack. I better see your fat ass online. 
Was the original oh. Helldivers like a popular game or no? No, yeah, not so much. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's like you're a muted, cult. You're muted, smooth. You're muted, smooth. Cult, yeah. yeah, smooth, unmute yeah. yourself. That boy going crazy. Yeah, he had a whole my bad, my bad. Helldivers uh, 1 was never this popular. Helldivers 2 is only this popular for two reasons. One, they moved the camera back to that PlayStation template. And two, Fire. there's no game for PlayStation this year, so it's been propelled to be a more key title this year. So it's going to have a little bit more hype just to fall down in a fiery flame. That, 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 best, by guys, guys, you. Guys, <laughs> that best by stealing you. That best by stealing you. I see you, baby. Yeah, I got a little bit more fight uh left in me before the uh before the week is out but i know somebody come monday or tuesday gonna piss my ass off make me throw something out the fucking window um but yeah yeah um so yeah, they start off with hell divers hell divers too cool um we've seen enough of that i guess so we'll see what it does when it comes out. Uh, then they went to Stellar Blade Shift Up Corporation, second party game comes out April twenty fourth. We got a release date. That I think that's probably the best game they showed in this. Um, am I the this, only one the, that doesn't? That think I, I, I disagree. That shit looks I, stiff as hell, bro. I yeah, disagree. That stiff. game does not look good. To I me. Yeah, that, that game looks that game fire. Looks stiff as hell. That game looks dope. Like like ready, visually, man. the graphics the graphics are nice, but whenever I see the gameplay, it just looks. I I know, like, like Alex said, it looks stiff. Like it's no. missing. It looks fluid they bragged, to me. They bragged about her taking yeah. a rest on a bench, my nigga. Like, and when she's tired and worn out, have a seat on the bench. And then they had like a five second clip of it. Like <laughs> that shit don't look that yeah. spectacular. It looked clean and cute, but it don't look. Like, I just the story don't look like it's hitting on too much of nothing. But I don't know, man. But I thought Jack I'm, I'm was not... really excited about this game, though. Yeah. I thought some of like the in town dialogue was a little cheesy, but like. The fight scenes and stuff like that looked pretty hot. I'm ready to play. Oh, yeah, they like you're Angel. You're the last savior of the fuck nigga race. Yeah, so that shit. Yeah, and when, whenever we <laughs> see like actual combat in this game, it just seems like she's doing finishers, and it's in this weird montage, and then thank they move you on to something thank else. It's, it's never like just legitimate three minutes of pure gameplay. Right. Uh, I I only thing I'm concerned about is like I think the world might be unnecessarily kind of big. Smooth be uh, throwing them headphones on, boy. Throwing yeah. that ass, too. Hey, BG, you fuck with the... <laughs> it look Unga Bunga a little bit, though, man. You fucking with that, bro? It is, but because oh, yeah. it has a PlayStation logo no, on that, it. No, that, that, that is not true. That is not true. You ain't beating them allegations, that is, that, is, yeah. that is not true. Right. I, I told y'all, I like some Unga Bunga games, but there are some trash Unga Bunga. Not everything is... Not everything Unga Bunga is created equal, okay? Bledu, I, I done told you. For example, I think Vanquish is absolute fire. I think it's the best game that Platinum's made, but I think Bayonet is garbage. Both are unga bunga to the core. We're, we're talking about hack and slashers, BG. We know you like third person. V- Vanqu- shooters, but... Vanquish is a hack and slash. Stop it. Well, it's it's yeah. shooter technically, but it has melee. It has some melee combat in there. It's different from Bayonetta, but it's different. Like even even Metal uh, Metal Gear Rising, I still think that I still think Metal Gear Rising was mid, but I thought it was better than Bayonetta. Like Bayonet is just trash. I'm sorry, Blandrew. I'm sorry. Revenge is mm. cool. Bayonet. Nah, BG, you got you got to get on that Bayonet. And they're supposed no. to be remastering the trilogy for the the Switch no. too. It's gonna be no, running no, at an optimal no, frame. Yeah. Oh Listen, man, BG, you got to get on that. Another no. remaster, bro. I bought Bayonetta way before. <laughs> I bought Bayonetta day one. Remember, it was it was just a multi plat. No Nintendo association. No nothing. It was just a multi plat. Bought it day one. I played it for three hours. I was like, this is garbage. Traded it in. So it, I'm sorry. First one you play just, it. That does not matter. I played it on PlayStation. It does the frame rate, mm. the frame rate may have been not the greatest. Yeah, it was better on 360. I don't change the gameplay. The gameplay sucks to me. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's, it's Metacritic on PlayStation, I remember. Good yeah. old days, man. Yeah. Um, so yeah, to me, Stellar Blade is the it was the best game show. I'm sorry. That that's that's oh, that's over, 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 Judas, over Judas? Judas Judas will probably be will definitely be the better game because it's Bioshock. Um, and it's Ken Levine and he's, he's, he's him, but they still didn't show enough like right. gameplay to me that that's the thing. Like they <laughs> kind of showed, they showed slightly more than they did at the game award oh. show, which was, which was barely anything. That's the problem. It wasn't enough. Uh, that, that Judas look good. That shit had, that shit had my, uh, the bottom of this knocking, bro. I was like, I was like, I had my <laughs> joint on my, yeah, I had, I had it over my <laughs> joint, but I was you can just hear you the auto box on your laptop. What the hell was it? That's that's a, a laptop fan, good brother. But yeah, my shit had a little oh, knock to it. I, thought, so I said, damn, I said, damn, Judas, Judas looking all right. Okay, freaky ass. Yeah, so we, 
Oh, wait, go ahead, Alex. No, go, go ahead. No, I was just going to bring it back to Stellar Blade real quick. We know that it's coming out in April. Do you have a, a Metacritic prediction for that game? Stellar Blade. Uh, I'll go with... Uh, I'll go with an 84 or something like that. I'm, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say 76. Yeah, see, I was thinking 74. Yeah, I'm at a 78. So. It's not a proven, de- it's not a proven developer, man. It's I don't think, I don't bro. think there's some, some, a, a substantial story there. I don't, um, I think it'll all be, be all about the action in the world. Oh, you know what else I don't like? <clears throat> I do not like the voice acting in this game because is the main character supposed to be like an Asian or something? She looks Asian. Korean, yeah. I mean, it's, it's so she, a Korean developer. They're all like, you know. So she's Korean. I do not like the American voice they got for this character, bro. She sounds Don't they fucking, have European voice acting or was that a different Yeah, it, do, it, don't, it don't sound right, bro. It don't sound like it's, that voice is actually coming out of those characters. That's what I don't, well, her specifically. That's why I, I don't like that. Turn on them it subtitles like, in that dub. Man, you're going to have to with that joint. And it's going to be I'm trying to read what type of. Yeah, you know how that goes. <laughs> yeah, we don't do that. Um, <laughs> you see my skin? Go ahead, BG. Sonic. Yes, next sir. was Sonic X uh, Shadow Generations. Very um, good. Yeah, yeah, no, I don't care about Sonic. Um, but I'm glad y'all are getting. Like, is this essentially just Shadow DLC? I guess. Basically, pretty much. But it, it's also being ported to next generation consoles because that game. With the exception of Xbox via backwards compatibility, it's still locked on the PS3 360. Okay. Um, I just want... Because I was thinking, I've never actually made uh, Sonic. I don't think I've made Sonic a thumbnail ever for the podcast, right? And I was thinking about doing it this time. But then when you... Yeah. You, yeah. When you type in Sonic X Shadow Generations and put it in Google and images, because the Sonic fan base is a bunch of deviant freaks... Yeah, I ain't, I ain't got to say hey. what comes up, but it's it's not exactly everything you you want to see. I got I'm I not got into a hot that take. Stuff. I feel like the Sonic fan base get the most game. I feel like they do not deserve all the games they get. <laughs> like I feel like there's so many other uh, titles and fucking IPs that could be getting all this all these games, bro. I I'm glad they eating, but nah bg this is the sonic game you want like if there's any sonic game i would recommend to you that i think you would legitimately enjoy it would be sonic generations i this is the one where he got the little midget mini me with him right yeah classic sonic that's when they Pardon? brought him back i or little people should i say um i think I, I feel like i played this and i still didn't like it i'm just sonic hater yeah, man it's, it's a good game man i'm just a sonic hater bro it's okay um, Foam Stars gonna be dead Let's in. Go. Uh, wh- how, how how long we said dead in? Uh, I, I think I gave it a month I and a half. A, I give it three weeks. Okay. Destruction All Stars last. Destruction All Stars lasted two, and Alex was still playing that. So, <laughs> so, so what? So what y'all gonna do when we uh when we excel all your expectations? You Who was we? Nigga, nigga learn friends. French. <laughs> we. Who the fuck is we, bitch? My I homies mean, and I. You guys are losers. You're, uh, Ham, you're, not looking, you're not looking forward to that, Hammer. You an Xbox game, right? Or you a PlayStation? Uh, I, I play mostly Xbox. Yeah, Xbox. So you don't get, you don't get fucked by foam slits. Absolutely not. Wow. Yeah, it's a wrap. You got Final Fantasy this month as well, on top of Hell Divers and Stellar Back Blade and all these. Yeah, and then you got Back Rise of Ronin the following month. Yeah, it's not. It doesn't stand a chance. Respectfully, of course. Oh my God! I can't wait for us to prove y'all wrong, dog. You're not. You're going not. To. You're not. You're not going to. It's <laughs> the fucked up that, part about it, brother. Bro, that game is dead. Dead on arrival. Maybe it could be worse than. Oh, uh, y'all think. better be right. You, be, you better not. Get, you better not try to get home talking, base on this. I'm you better not try to get home base on the rest of the year. Do not let this shit pop. You, you e Rock and Wonton is not gonna have this game popping online. You Rock, you Rock, not a phone me. You Rock, not a phone me. It's me, Benji, and King Kiso. Alex, Alex, about to, Alex, about to, about to hit up all his cousins in the Middle East. Talk about get on foam stars. We all gotta support this nigga. Yo, cut it out. Listen, it's it's over, bro. That that was a the game I was hyped the most for, other than Judas on that damn. Uh, yeah, I'm looking at the, the first Judas trailer. Hey, this game fire, bro. BG, you tripping, bro? It's the second best this. thing there. They just didn't show enough. Bro. Look at this fucking footage, brother. Hey, it's actually more gameplay in the first trailer, the announcement joint. No, there ain't. And the right. first one at the Game Awards, no, there ain't. Bro, no, I'm sitting there pretend. I'm sitting there pretend it's more. It's more gameplay in this one, bro. I'm sitting there <sighs> looking at it right now. Maybe there's more in-game footage. There's not more gameplay. 
Well, I uh, say that then. Okay, cool. Um. Okay. Next, Dave the Diver x Dredge. I don't care about that. No. Anybody care? Wow. I heard that's a pretty good game. I mean, I had to look more into it. I wouldn't mind checking it out, bro. It was one of the the more acclaimed indie games of last year. Oh, it's it's, it's oh not know, indie. I'm sorry. Yeah. yeah. That, that guy got from last it, year. it got it got uh voted indie game uh what was it indie game of the year it was up for that award but they saying it wasn't it wasn't really indie for real so it's just it's in, you know imposter brother yeah I might fuck with that though they got a they got a uh, Godzilla collab I think they got a collab with another game too so they getting plugged in bro people got to be fucking with it mm. next is uh oh fuck where the screen at um. V Rising, the vampire game where, you, where for some reason vampires are chopping down trees. I still can't get over this shit. Like, uh, sure. Um, from what I heard, it's like, okay, you're a vampire um, and you chop down trees and you like build your castle or something like that. And like you drink people's blood, but the people's blood you drink, that's what gives you your abilities. So if you drink the blood of I don't know, a mage, you get magical powers or a warrior, you get certain warrior powers. I'm I'm loosely interpreting how it how it works. Don't take, you know, it, it works something like that. But uh it's not something I'll be playing. By Stunlock Studios coming out sometime this year. Yeah, it's yeah. been an early access on PC, I believe, for a while now. And nah, I'm I'm all set. Okay. Um Silent Hill, the short message. Oh, oh you uh, sure. dropped immediately. I played it trash. Really? I downloaded him. I was gonna stream that. It's trash. <sighs> it's it's trash to me. Okay. It's it, it follows more along of that PT hype that you know everybody yeah, thought yeah. PT was, you know, the, the, the greatest demo ever made. Oh, it's such a national treasure. Man, that overrated. It definitely bullshit. was. It definitely that, shit, was. that shit was scary as hell. I ain't gonna lie. Uh, that PT yeah. had me. No, nah, man. It's it's if you like PT, then you'll probably like this. How long how long is it pause? So it uh you freak yeah. Um so it's so pretty much you have to do multiple runs. Once you get through it, it it resets you at the at the beginning, and then it tells you, oh, what does it say? Oh, you have to do the correct thing, or you have to find the right exit. It's, it's something proper that you have to do. You can beat it, but technically, like there's a proper ending or something like that. I got through it in like I think you can get through it in like 10, 10 15 minutes. Something chases you. You get to the oh, the, I don't the, like that. Don't you get know. to the ending. It resets you. Say, oh, go or go do the right path now or whatever. And I'm like, yeah, I'm good, dog. I'm okay. I hate getting chased in games, bro. I might not play. <laughs> I might not play that shit, bro. I don't know. I like getting chased, bro. Yeah, I'm I'm good Jesus. on that, bro. Um, y'all, y'all, and oh, and the frame rate is garbage. Like, I, joint what? running, like, running at like, I'm like, bro, there's not that much even going on. Why is this running at like? T- feels like how? Do, I don't know. It, the frame rate is bad. It's bad, bro. You're not making it sound too appealing, brother. I don't. Yeah. Um. It stars Erica. You know, Erica said that girl looks just like her. Um. Oh, oh yeah, and I saw the, that. The theme is very much about like suicide and depression and all that stuff, and you know, this girl and what she's. It, it, it's very what's that? What's that? Uh, that lesbian girl game? Um, like Life strange. is strange. Yeah, that is very Life is Strange. Oh, Jack don't love this thing. I'm a lesbian girl. I might play this actually. I might. Uh, it's your. Uh, it's probably because you like Life is Strange. You like PT. So I don't like neither one of those. So I hate. Well, you're it. a bitch. So yeah, that's I can't well, believe you don't like well, PT. Yeah, I'm good. You know, you know, don't nod. It made Life is Strange, and they're not making this new game. You're saying you're all up in arms about, good brother. So you well, sure you want to play that? You, you want to play that? Uh, what What do they say online? A, a broken clock is right. When? How often? At least once a day? Some shit. I don't know. <laughs> it's, twice, it's twice a day because it, it, it goes in a cycle. Yeah, whatever they say. Bro, yeah. I thought of a, I thought of another saying they be saying online. Oh, oh my God. From what what was the saying they be saying in spaces? From oh, from soups from soup to nuts? Ain't nobody what? did what? Bro, did they be that? What that Bro, mean? they be saying that in spaces. They be like, oh, from when you when when they developed the game from like soup to nuts or something. Bro, that's a saying they be saying that in the spaces. Now, 
if they said from nut to soup because they like dicky, just I can understand that. But from soup to nuts is crack. Bro, no, why are you man. saying that? Soup to nuts like a primordial goop, and then it gets the mechanical from pieces. Soup to nuts. Uh, I fuck with from dollars to donuts, but from me, soup to are you about to start saying it? it, it no, it, it, so it means I looked it up. It means from beginning to end, but I don't understand why. Why would why now, would heard, soup I've to heard, nuts? Are, are nuts made out of soup? It, it's got to mean like a goop. A they got, but they got they got boiled <laughs> bag nuts, right? They got boy. Uh, Ham, hey, help us out with this, brother. You know, I, I, I can't help you with this shit. <laughs> you never eat, <laughs> you never <laughs> eaten soup or nuts ever. <laughs> Oh, wow. Yo, I don't like soup and I don't like nuts. Now you lying about, about you lying about at least one of those. You lying about at least one of those. I don't fuck with neither one of them, dog. Sorry, that's crazy. <laughs> I, I, I enjoy both. I mean, I don't know if I put them together, but I don't know yeah. if one makes the other. But you know, yeah, I have you know, no Whether it's on your, no, no. on your chin or your back. Hey, BG, let me ask you a question, and I, I already know the answer. Did a white person say that shit? Yes. Okay, cool. Why I'm t- look. I love my white brothers and sisters out there. And it's, it's Black History Month. Y'all got to stop with these dumbass sayings, bro. That don't Idioms. make no sense, bro. That, that don't make no sense. What the soup? To, what the fuck does that mean? Okay, so I, I looked it up. Brother. It says soup to nuts is an American English idiom that convey, conveys the meaning from beginning to end, derived from the description of a full course dinner. What? Oh, so they saying soup like the appetizer, and then at the end you eat. Okay, all right. I guess it'll make a little bit. I still don't like it, but that shit's right. still dumb. It's still weird. To I don't. Understand the only time it. I eat nuts after I'm a meal is if eating, I eat like five guys. Who the hell's eating? Nuts they even asking his name for, for fucking dessert. dessert. No. Like what the fuck yeah. are we doing? Well, they got they got nuts at the five guys, and you know some of the roadhouse. I, I guess I can get that. It's still <clears> stupid <throat> though. Okay. Um. Then Silent Hill Two, absolute. Garbage. <laughs> that look, thing look bad, bro. Bloober team needs to be removed from the industry. Stop giving these. Stop employing <laughs> these dudes, bro. Why do they have jobs? They're bad. Smooth. You need to stop defending these people. Stop Yo, it, man. I thought the medium was fire, dude. And I figured they would be a good partner to do Silent Hill, since you know a lot of people often compared the medium to what Silent Hill. They're like, wait, hopefully these guys do a Silent Hill game, and then they get the opportunity, and they give me what I got. Maybe Nobody ever not. wanted them to do Silent Hill. Yeah. No, no, that's what I heard. Um, the thing is, is that I think what's going on is that there, it's, it's been a while since there's been a silent, a relevant Silent Hill game, and maybe you guys just don't really care for the IP or the game anymore. Most people no, don't. Know I mean? No, but... That, that, I understand what you're saying, but that doesn't excuse the graphics looking outdated and horrible. Anime. Oh, that's Uber's looking. graphics. They, they, it, it, it's nostalgia, buddy. Nah, no, man. It, no. it's, it's, too, it's, too, it's too nostalgic. Like, bro, I'm, I'm going to agree with some one time. When I first saw it, I'm like, damn, did they take the PS2 remasters and just like... What the? It looked like a remastered game. It don't look like a, a remake. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like the graphics are fucking dated and horrible. The gameplay looks stiff. It looked like somebody. It looked like you gave somebody with Down syndrome a copy of Resident Evil Four and said, "Make this." That what it looked like. Like, bro. like smooth. And look that's at what they brought back. You have you have you, right? you have Resident Evil Two remake. We see we seen what Capcom did with that. We we have Dead Space remake. You see what EA and that studio did with that. And then you you look at Silent Hills. Like, wait, one of these don't belong, bro. Like, what? what that that's that's what it right, should bro. it should be. That type of you know remake for this horror for, for this horror game. And that was a combat trailer. I, I know Silent Hill is is not has not been known for its combat. That wasn't its thing back in the day. But you needed to change this game to to be that. Uh, there's a new Silent Hill game. I think it's Silent Hill F. Listen, if you want the, these games to have mass appeal and for them to be bigger than what they were in the past, they need to have good combat and more and a more focus on combat. Nobody wants to just walk around with with a with a, a two by four, maybe a, have a few pistols, pistols in your gun. And no, I, I'm not. And it's essentially a walking horror simulator. I'm not doing that. I don't want that. Improve the combat. I don't, I'm pretty sure I'm not even buying this. I'm not. Have you played this. Silent Hill before? Oh, wait, go ahead. All right. I just wanted to know how does how is Blue Team still in the industry? Because the last the last month or so, we've had developers, gamers, and and journalists all attacking Pal World for what they believe oh, to allegedly be plagiarism. But Blue Team's entire existence in this industry is based on plagiarism, and they still keep getting triple A opportunities from these major publishers how is this happening and this is and this game looks fucking disgusted yeah 
Um, Konami should be ashamed of themselves because blue, bro, you literally went for the cheapest, found the cheapest guy on the block to 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 you know to paint your house. You know, like you got them. You got. Let me not say the Mexicans because the Mexicans would probably do a good job. Oh wow! Um, shout out to the Mexicans. You got You you got you you got. I don't I don't know some some trash dude standing outside a a Home Depot said he paint how he paint houses for ten dollars and you said I right, we'll we'll give you the job. Like, come on, bro. You could have went for somebody else that's that's that knows what they're doing. That has a has a great talented studio. Because if you're trying, you're trying to bring back Silent Hill. That's what you're trying to re revitalize the franchise. That's what you're doing. And this is you give it to Bluebird. I hate their name. They need to they need to change their name. That's the first. <laughs> they call thing. Change it, they your name. calling them Boo Boo Team in the comments. Is it that's me? Or is, it, is that trailer targeting 30 FPS or something like that? Oh, <laughs> god. Like. I don't know. It just looked like Shane. It looked like Shane Sung just came and just sucked the soul out of that character, though. Like that dude oh, looked yeah. ashy as hell. Yeah. Like throughout, like 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 even Bro's hair was looking all weird and grainy and just like 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 just like the wrong color. He brother looked like he was dead inside. It it, it don't help that he got the like he looked like Leon Kennedy from the yeah all oh, from the back right so that don't help matters bro you like like Leon you, Kennedy uh, alcoholic uh, Leon Kennedy that's so when you see uh, when yeah. you see that when you see that the first thing you that think, man is malnourished <laughs> the first thing you think of when you see that hair is like damn I could be playing RE2 remake right now RE4 remake what the fuck is this shit you fucking stomping people with the you know you got legs like me like you got wood planks for legs bro like niggas ain't fucking with that bro. Planks. That shit trash. Uh, that and are y'all checking this uh, out or what? I'm not. I mean, I might, I might still get it. I ain't gonna lie to you because it's dry out here. But that, yeah, that, that, yeah. get it. that frame rate is terrible. Those animations are terrible. I look forward to the that other Silent Hill game, Silent Hill F. I'm not even sure who's making that, but is it, anybody get that Alone in the Dark remake they just came out with? Ain't that out right now? No, it comes out. I think next week maybe. I okay, I'm about to say that. I, thought, I knew that was dropping recently. Any, anybody getting that with David Harbor in it? You getting that smooth? Um, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe if I get a review code or something like that. Who knows? Okay, okay, good brother. Well, let me know if it's good, man. I was looking to see what what yeah. that was hitting on. Yeah, I need that's... anybody who can hear my voice to make sure they do not buy this Silent Hill Two game. I need we. To, I need us to collectively make sure we get Blue Team I'm out that. of the video game. I'm industry. with that. I, I think they. I'm not, listen, I'm not. I'm not a poll. I'm not a poll. So I, 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 I know it's not the right thing to say, but shut them boys down, dog. <laughs> Layoffs. <laughs> <laughs> Layoffs, <laughs> calling for it. Shut them down. Get them out of here. Fire, fire, fire. Sorry. Uh, I feel like they just want failure away, to be honest, especially when all these layoffs happening. We just need one more failure. We need them gone. Yeah. And I mean, done for. Get Studio closed down. We don't need none of them niggas to have jobs no more. Gaming Darwinism. The is that what Dale Walker is? Dale Walker at Bloober Team? Where'd he go? No. He said he was doing something. He, he might worked be on blue. oh, he worked on Suicide Squad. Don't get me started on that nigga, Jack. Move. I'm so sick of that nigga, man. See, yeah, but they told, they told he's an, wrong for he's an artist. Y'all can't. Bl the, the game looks good. That's the that's one thing you can't take with Suicide Squad. The character he like he, bro. The, the saw, character models the look good. I saw the Arkham Knight, man. It wasn't kind of shaky. No, bro. no, it's not I was on about that. To say if he an artist, then how they butchered uh, what's her name that bad? Harley Quinn. Yeah, oh, bro. The game, the game, the game looks good, and he and based on what I've seen, he designed, he did a good job. So I saw one they of uh, Harley, Harley Quinn. Quinn's animated series uniform. She looked really good in that. I don't know if you've seen that one though. Yeah, mm. and he was at Respawn before that. Um, so put some respect on that. Anami just need to give the and, IPs away to somebody else, bro. I wouldn't mind True. Sony. And he's black, by the way. It's Black History Month. No slander on that man. Yeah, we we can't. He's barely. Nah, he, nah, he, nah, he, he's nah, black nah. like Alex is black. We don't really know. We don't really know. know. We don't really. He know like he, he like Bond black. We don't. Yeah, we don't yeah, really yeah. We don't. We don't really know. No, he's, well, he's biracial. Though. He Patrick Mahomes black. Like we we might claim him if he's doing something good, but yeah, yeah he got to stay over there. Yeah, but but he he low key against us. He 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 a op. So we we can't really fuck with him. Yeah, this man. is crazy. Ain't, ain't that many prolific black developers in the industry, and y'all just throwing the the few there, away there, that we are got. There, are, there, are there any? I'm trying to think right Look, now. I, I could forgive him. I could forgive him for everything he's ever said and done so far, if he can give us footage of factions too. I don't even need the game. I just wanted to see what it was. Give us put in the Bro, y'all putting the burden of factions on this man's shoulders. He joined the studio like eight months ago. But look, no, look, he, look. Know, he knows he, something. He, he ran something. two campaigns. He ran two campaigns oh, on God. Twitter to try to get, get shit to happen for these developers. So if if he worked on factions too and he can get us some footage oh, to release hey, that NDA. Hey, 
On top of that, I got another reason Hardhead can hate him. He was talking shit on Power, saying the development wasn't real, the shit looked oh, fake. God. He got a she lot to say for a nigga. Ain't, he got a lot of shit to say for a nigga ain't putting out no games. Hey, Hardhead, let's talk to this dude, bro. What's let's trade. Let's trade the nail nigga for the. Yeah, let's trade him for the It Takes Two uh, developer. That, hey, that hey, the big oh, role. Joseph Forrest, I fuck with him. Hey, Dell Walker, That's come up, hey, come up on here, man. Talk to these dudes, man. You welcome here. I'm coming too. You welcome here, bro. Pause. Pause. We need to talk to you, good brother. We need to see what's going on with you, man. Your well, audio ain't matching. I need to talk to him. Yeah. Fact. I need to talk to him straight up. You welcome here, sir. No clothes, nigga. By the way, Jack, Alone in the Dark comes out March 20th. It's not this month. Damn, I thought it was. I could have. Man, I'm bugging. Okay. March. Uh, 20th. Next was Judas, Ghost Story Games, Ken Levine. If you don't know, same guy, you know, from uh, from, from Bioshock. Uh, so, created Bioshock. Yeah, created yes, Bioshock. Sir. So this is going to be a banger. Uh, the only problem with Ken Levine, if you don't know, he's a perfectionist perfectionist. So. He he, one of those where listen, if he got to take eight years to make a game, he then he gonna take eight, maybe more. He the, we we might not get this game till twenty twenty six. It's it's possible. Only even though thing, we've seen it bro, twice. Only thing I'm 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 cautiously uh not optimistic about, but it, the game almost looked too good, bro. It looks fucking gorgeous, bro. Like what they've shown so far. If the game has looked at, like that when you playing it, bro, we're in for a treat. But the thing is, bro. Bioshock I'm sure Infinite, all y'all, yeah. but bro, go back and look at the Bioshock Infinite announcement trailer, bro. Look at that and then look at the final game. I still fuck with Bioshock Infinite, not, bro, but it ain't nowhere close Infinite, to what they showed, bro. Infinite wasn't, are you talking about graphics with Judas or just the gameplay that you saw? Because Infinite every, was more, every, so they took out set pieces and gameplay mechanics. Bro, rather bro, than, bro, bro, that announcement trailer is nothing like the, <laughs> it's nothing like the final game, bro. The, the Skyrail system didn't matter in that game. A lot of shit in mm -hmm. Infinite was kind of low-key ass, bro. Even though I still mm -hmm. like that game, yeah, bro. Yeah. I just need Judas to be... I need it to mm -hmm. look like that. I need it to play like, you know, all that fluid animation. Yeah, I need all that, bro. Yeah, and it seems to be more akin to Infinite than 1 or 2 because, uh, because of the machine enemies. It's just what it seems to be like that. Yeah, but you still got the plasma and shit. I'm seeing that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, plasma I saw that. Left hand. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, Judas look absolutely fire. Um, Metro Awakening a VR game. Um, oh, are you yeah. copping that, BG? Yeah, you got a, that. That's a day one. That's a day one. I love the Metro series. Yeah, except except the last one, Exodus. I wasn't effing with that one, but one, you know, the 2023 and the one that came after that. Why you? Why you ain't like that one? Uh, they went like open world ish. I thought you were gonna say the Xbox Series X uh marketing they had. Okay, so you oh no, it was, it was like open world ish. Right. A lot of people didn't like that one because they went over open, open world ish. Uh, um, so yeah, I, I feel like they ruined that game because what's good about it is like the claustrophobic feel, the sandbox. I mean, not the, not the claustrophobic and like the you know the 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 linear. You like feel like you're in the closet. <laughs> you. That, that's where your mind went. I'm, 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 I'm talking about linear game, and and you your mind goes to in the closet. No, no, no. Because at first you said sandbox, but you realized it's like an open world game. So across the like a tight hallway closet, maybe. Real tight. You don't, you don't like feeling like you're coming out the closet. Whatever you say, saying. Jack. First, anyway. I, yeah, so so that that shit. What? that claustrophobic uh, feeling in VR. You know, dark. Um, yeah, it's perfect for Metro. Uh, you gonna so. stream it? Yeah, I think so. I think uh, I think I might. Um, I think it's perfect. So yeah, I uh, I look forward to that. No release date. Oh, they, they said the cams messed up on the podcast, BG. Oh, cause oh, hardhead. Uh, that's love. Okay. All right. Um, yeah. So that looked great, and then they showed a not so great looking VR game after that. I don't know why you would follow this up after Metro Legendary Tales. Some people said they. They they thought this looked good as a VR game, not to me. Yeah, that didn't look um, bad. Oh, it no. just looked ashy, but it didn't look bad. Nah, that that shit looked bare bones as hell. I wouldn't even. And uh, I heard Jack uh, mm -hmm. fat ass diss me on the stream while he was watching it. What I um, say? Alex freaky ass would love to. Uh, he said something stupid, mm -hmm. but nah, this shit look a budget title. I don't know where this is yeah. coming from. So. And it comes. I think it comes out in for uh, this Friday. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not. I'm good. I'm good on that. <laughs> Yeah, it, it doesn't. You got to do more than you got to do more than let me grab a skeleton and bang it on the ground. We're past that in VR. Okay. All right. Um, Dragon's Dogma Two. We've seen plenty of that. It, we know it, it comes out March twenty second. They just showed more of it. 
Um, is that the same Rise- day as the? Uh, go ahead. No, same day as what? Is that the same day as Rise of the Ronin? Oh yeah, which they showed right after. Yeah, same same day. So Rise of the Ronin and uh, Dragon of Zogma two both same day. Uh, oh wow. Yeah, Rise of Ronin. We know as Team Ninja. This is essentially Neo four, in my opinion, um, because Wo Long was Neo three. It, it, it's it's. It's a step up from that. I'm not gonna say it's the you exact same game. You say you're not game. fucking with it, though, right? You ain't fucking with this, though, right? I'm, 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 I'm gonna wait. I want. I plan to wait for the PC version because I, I, I did that with Neo. I did that with Neo One and Neo One and Two, and Wolong. Well, Wolong came out on PC day one, I think, but but Neo One and Two only came out on PlayStation at first. And the play the PlayStation for the console versions of their games be, eh, they don't be great. So I think I'm gonna wait for the PC version. And I just I, I think Team Ninja does need, need a publisher. I feel like their games are right on like the precipice of like being like being amazing or, you know, to that greater level. But like some of it, when you look at it, it's like some things look great. It's, it's very inconsistent. This looks great, but this looks bad. This look like it look like it plays well, but this looks janky. You know, it, it's a little bit inconsistent with their with their games. So I think they I think they need a, a little bag behind them. You know, How do you so, feel about the fact that they they opened this game up a little bit more? Well, I, I thought they um the the first trailer kind of showed that because he they showed them fly flying on that little mechanism or whatever it is a little yeah uh, yeah that so thing I, that Aang be flying on like a kite avatar <laughs> yeah so I I thought it would be open just because of that because why would that be in the game otherwise um I if you haven't played Neo and you know. Wolong, they do a lot, a lot of like repeating levels. They'll be like, "Oh, that is this... my biggest complaint with that game." Yeah, the one mission will be like, "Oh, okay, go through this, this, this little um village," and then another mission will be like, "Go through this village backwards." Mm-hmm. It's like, bro, this is the same exact mission. We they do yeah. a lot of that stuff in their games, bro. They're like, come on, stop this shit. I hope and that's not there. Um, do you ever think about the story? <laughs> in their games, they they stories be like very just. Yeah, out, out of the world. Like it'd be like, what is this? Like it, it'd be some bullshit. I'm being yeah. real with you. It'd be some bullshit. Yeah, but, but- I'm I, I'm specifically not interested in this game because of that. It's just like I don't know. It just reminds me too much of what I've played before. And sure, they got a few new things that you could do in it, like fly and stuff like that. But I don't know. To me, this is a deep cell game. Yeah, and people be trying to like people putting sauce on it, trying to like say, oh, it's gonna be. Uh, on um, Ghost of Tsushima level, put the crack pi- crack pipe down. Yeah, they no, did. I'm t- telling you, that's just uh, you know, that's PlayStation symptoms news. of no, yeah. yeah, not having the strongest lineup. So all these games get put up to on a pedestal. And I keep forgetting that Rise of the Ronin. <laughs> the way people talk about Rise of the Ronin, you thought it was like uh, coming from freaking Sucker Punch, but you, I forget it's no. from the Wolong uh, Neo team. And I was like, oh, it's gonna be another one of those. I mean, I, res- I like Wolong, but I know it's like it's a not, tier or yeah. two down from yeah. what people expect so it's not on that level it's not one thing i yeah. did read that i was happy to see uh they're like kind of fixing their um their drop their weapon drops uh and, and like item drop system because in neo and wolong you'll get like a weapon and it's like okay oh this this weapon's good it's you know it's a it's a higher level than what i had um you'll maybe upgrade it you'll go to the next mission You'll find something that completely shits on what you what you just found and and, and upgrade. It's like, bro, what was the point? What was the point of well, any of that is, time? I hate that. The idea is that I think they want you to uh, just forge them together because I I'm playing it right now. I had yeah. an axe that had fire capabilities, but the one yeah. that was stronger didn't have sh- shit elemental wise. So the idea is to upgrade your shit that you got now, yeah. just to you know, so you yeah. can also get your familiarity up with the weapons. Yeah, I, I just hate that whole randomized uh, drop system like it just drops so much stuff and then you like you spend like half the time not half the time in the game but a lot of time in the game just menu shuffling oh gotta check yeah. this item what i got because everything drops items gotta check this item gotta check this weapon gotta see what this do I, like bro get rid of all this stuff it's so unnecessary that's how you uh, get your elixirs and shit them off yes yeah. mm-hmm. um until dawn they're calling it a remaster but the game is rebuilt from the ground up they claim so it seems like more of a, more of a remake in in its description. I don't really care. I didn't like Until Dawn. So it's not doesn't really matter to me. Jack, you're an Until Dawn fan. 
I was muted. Uh, yeah, I am until Don fan, man. I need to see some direct feed comparisons of these games because my whole time looking at it, I was like, I remember until Don looking exactly like this. Like, what? What did they? And it's not even a. It's not even a rematch. They're fully remaking the game from from scratch, I guess. So. I did see one comparison, like the mask of the little, little killer dude, but the new one he got like eyes or something. It's just some silly shit. Like I don't know if this was necessary. And uh, I was barely listening. I ain't gonna lie to you. But did you did you touch on the fact that they was gonna make a sequel to this fucking game? I didn't know. They that. Were, so apparently, uh, coming from this, so the, the the studio that's remaking Until Dawn right now, they're they're uh, comprised of former supermassive devs, so people that worked on the first game. Apparently. They originally wanted to make a sequel to Until Dawn, but I guess Sony stopped working with them as directly, so now they're just remastering it. Bro, they should have made a fucking sequel, bro. Like, what? That's crazy, dog. Hopefully, hopefully this game, I mean, I guess I, I guess this game is going to say, hopefully it does well enough to get a sequel that we should have been had, but, uh, and like I said, Until Dawn already, if you play, I, I still got my copy. It's already like 4K60 on PS5 already, or something similar to that. So I don't know. Did we need a fucking? I don't know. No, whatever. Mm. Another remake and remaster, I guess. Yeah, uh, I don't care. Um, and it's a good game, BG. You, you should give it another yeah, shot. Brother. I watched the movie. The movie probably be better than the game. Even though it, 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 gonna, it, it, it is a movie. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna argue that. Oh, they got a. They got a picture of the. I, I guess it do look better. I'm seeing it what, now. What the general chat? Yeah, I can see. They bad the camera up a little, like change the aspect of it. Eh, it looks um, last game until um, no, uh, Death Stranding two. It's called On the Beach. <laughs> um, Death Stranding two On the Beach, Kojima Studios. Um, it's coming next year. Uh, y'all know I'm a Kojima hater. Um, as of right now, uh, depending on what this other game is that he's talking about, this Fizzant, he you know he like making up words and and making up a whole bunch of shit. Uh, depending on what that game is, he's talking about it's a uh, you know um, back going back to espionage ac- action es- espionage. I might I might be a Kojima fan again. I want y'all to you know realize that I be right about stuff, right? No, Yay! notice no notice the way that in the way that he made sure when announcing this new IP that he's working on, he made sure to let people know it is an action espionage game that wasn't by mistake that wasn't just you know uh he wanted he made sure you knew why because he knows a lot of people ain't a fan of this package delivery game that he that that he makes a lot of people probably ain't you know a lot of people that don't like it man a lot of people find it boring like me well, that term action espionage is directly tied to like metal gear so yeah you know you know niggas dick eat metal gear so of course he's gonna say that so uh-huh. yeah, what the hell? Oh, that's me. <laughs> How you gonna say what? The, what is that? That was me what singing, man. On the incognito. That was me singing on. What's wrong with this guy? That was me singing on Twitter, man. I don't know why I got that pulled up. You a sick negro. You want to? You want to hear it? Hold on. Where is it? Oh, I just, I just turned it off, bro. That was a good song, though. I sounded um, out. Hey, Jack, you picking up Death Stranding right, too? Am I picking up? I'll beat the first one. I might. That was me. I am. I Are you am in the shower, sure. nigga? In the shower? What's wrong with you? You see the video on Twitter, man? <laughs> you see the video on Twitter, man? <laughs> Are you in the tub? Are you in the kiddie pool, nigga? What is that? No, I was, I was washing my face off, getting ready for the podcast. That's all. Oh, you get pretty face. <laughs> who, who put some on your face? Hey, man, go watch the videos on Twitter, man. Tap in with me, bro. That's it. Salute. Um, <laughs> uh, so wait, you be so you be, I thought you liked the first one. You wouldn't, you're not getting the second. No, I, I did, I did, I did like the first one. Um, I don't know, man. That's one of them games. Did we need a sequel? I don't know, man. It looks interesting, though. I, mm. The only problem I said this on my stream about it, bro. The only problem I got with a lot of Kojima shit, bro. No matter how many times you play it, like if I replay Death Stranding, it's gonna be to comp- to comprehend what the fuck going on, right? No matter how many times you play it, how many lore videos you watch, you're never gonna truly know what the. If somebody asks me, I never know what's really going on, bro. I'm like, I don't, I don't fucking know, dog. Yeah. Like, 
that's how I felt about Metal Gear Solid. Like it was cool while I was in the moment, but it like once it was all said and done, I couldn't really tell you what. Oh, I, de- all I was. definitely don't know what the fuck going on in MGS Four. <laughs> I still love the game, but I don't. I don't fucking know. There's, there's a lot of people that that get like boners off of that jo- joint, though. Like, huh? uh, there's, there's a lot of people like pseudo. They're like pseudo intellectualists where like. That they love the games where it's like they don't know what's happening because Kingdom they try Hearts. they uh-huh. they try hard to figure it out and they feel like oh if I can explain this to people it'll make me look smart. There's there's Kingdom no Hearts, people. yeah. But my problem with those games are if somebody say yeah I truly understand the story, brother. When they start explaining it, I don't know if they tell the truth or not because I don't understand I, it. So I just got to assume they like yeah. Like I, mean? I understand the story of of Metal Gear Solid One, Two, but after that, especially especially for and most of the stuff that they're talking about i think they are just saying a bunch of words and not really saying anything i don't think they're actually i don't think they're, they're just saying like word soup bro they're just whatever random word kojima found in the dictionary make them say that i don't think they're saying anything that's how, truly how i feel so <clears throat> i don't know i think the game looks hot i'm ready to give it a try that decimal engine looks like it is it is doing some damn work I'm excited for that joint. Um, and it looks like you're going to have like different vehicles and stuff like that in the game too. I hope they make the traversal a little bit smoother um, than the last one, but eh, I'm excited for it. Main thing I'm worried about is how they're going to do the chiral network. Um, it was kind of wonky on the first Death Strand and it wasn't really as consistent as I thought it should have been first when it first came out. So in what way? Wanted, well, when I first did it, um, you had to like join your world with somebody else's world or some shit like that. Um, and I did that with a couple of friends, but the bridges and the stuff that I would make, it wouldn't sync up with his world. So the idea was that y'all were supposed to either you and a specific person or in general, when you load in, people are contributing to the, the uh, ropes and the repels and shit like that. It just never synced up. So my world was always different. So one oh. day I would have a mission where I'm riding on the freeway and unless it's story built in that I, I physically did this in my story, I have a little bit of this freeway in, it was always different. So it was never consistent. So I'm wondering if they'll, you know, get that better. Just go around. That's interesting. Mm-hmm. Um, they, and they gave him a lot of time. Uh, I, this dem, this uh, video felt like eight minutes. And then they... It was, you know, it was nine. It was nine minutes. Wasn't it? Yeah, I think Christ. it was nine. They just I left this it, man. Bro. They let this man get away it. with murder. And then he, you know, he was talking with Herman Holst and then, you know, all that uh, movie game. And then he went on Twitter and clarified, oh, it's actually it is a game. But, you know, my movies be games, you know, and my games be movies, whatever the hell he said. Mm-hmm. Uh, I hate this. Y'all guy. don't like cutscenes anymore, BG? Y'all don't, no, y'all don't like it when you can. I, I got no problem with that. I hate I just hate ho- how Kojima explains and rolls things See, out like he can never just be straight. My my thing with that is like. Kojima games already have notoriously long cutscenes, right? 40 minutes, some hour. So when your games already have that in them, and then you come out and announce your new game and you overemphasize the movie aspect, it's like, right. damn, yeah. my nigga, how long the new game cutscenes gonna be like? Yeah, you show a movie production studio and everything yeah. outside of, yeah. Like, bro, I think, that, I think that shit lit. No, 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 it's cool, but it's like, you gotta understand, though. If you already doing hour-long cutscenes, and you you come in on some, this really finna be like a fucking movie production, like, okay, oh, wait, bro, like, shit. do y'all think, on, do y'all think, um, the thing he showed at the Xbox, what what was it, OD, or, um, OD, yeah, the face, y'all think that's, the y'all think coming to, uh, y'all think that's coming to PlayStation, now they'll be hearing this shit, <laughs> oh, oh, wow, that know. would be, that would be crazy, that would know. be crazy, I mean, at this rate, <laughs> yeah, I thought that was going to be a VR game the way they was marketing that first, do, but I guess do, not. Do y'all think, uh, y'all, y'all think Kojima just drugs? Y'all think he... Cause maybe. I, I, maybe. Because I feel like he's, these ideas... Like yeah. He's like a melatonin it, every night. It, it feels like acid like, like, like trips microdose. or shrooms. He might microdose. Yeah, like he does shrooms or something like that. That's where he gets these ideas from. That's where, that's what I think. Well, he also a really big sci-fi and horror movie fanatic. So you can imagine there's probably a ton of indie shit that we've never seen and probably creatives that he's talking to and making stories with in his storyboard room that are able to come up with shit like this. Yeah, the man. Yeah, and it's not like a lot of other developers don't want to, you know, do weird stuff and just be completely unchained without publishers getting in the way. It's just Kojima has that freedom to just be weird. So he gets away with it. Put that nigga back on a chain and leash. <laughs> don't let him outside. <laughs> Wouldn't want the sun out. 
Man, like, they said they wanted Kojima Unchained after he left Ko- uh, Konami. No. Okay, honest question, that. BG. What are the story or uh, what are the storytellers that are making uh, you know memorable experiences for you? You don't, you don't, you can't appreciate that at least from Kojima. I can't make it through his game, so I really couldn't tell you anything about. Well, I, I shouldn't say games specifically. It's only been Death Stranding. So listen, I'm a Kojima fan, even though I slander him because I just think uh, Death Stranding is such a dumb concept. So that's that's the only thing that I just what? can't get Ow. I just can't get past because I just feel like it's so dumb like like you think I the just, story is dumb or just No, the I think the, the game, game is play. dumb. I mean, the gameplay okay. is dumb. That's If we being real, if we being real right after that game came out around that time COVID hit, so <laughs> he might have been on to something. I don't know. It was feeling real COVID yeah, on that motherfucker. Yeah. He saw a nigga over there eat a bat. He said, "Hold on." What's... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it's really just like the Kojima idol worshipping that kind of makes you hate him yeah. more than you like you don't even hate the guy, but then like all this, you know, he can do like no wrong. Thing. Yeah, like right. Yeah, like I, I feel like if anybody else, and I get it, like you know, you you can earn this type of freedom, right? But like he does some stuff where it's like egregious stuff. Where anybody else did this, they would be like, "What's wrong with this guy? Get this trash!" Now don't y'all also tout him as a nigga that brings um, new, fresh ways of gaming? Don't he also have a couple of those under his belt? As far mm-hmm. as what? What was that one that y'all always talk about? It was like you had to unplug the controller and put it in. No, the Psycho no, Mantis, no, MGS One, he had, Metal Gear. Yeah, he, he has a couple of those. Oh, don't he, had a game, he had a game on a game where he wanted to bring out that, like I think it ran on sunlight or some shit like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, we it, need people like him, bro. But, like, but the thing is, the other box. You know, but, he's definitely an innovator. No, We're but Alex, the, the only thing is, all that was Metal Gear. So that it's one, it's it's multiple games, but it's one franchise. So outside of Metal Gear. What has he? He's worked on other games. You know, but what has he really I, done to to get to this legend I status? I know what you're being on. Be, no, but I mean, Zona. Didn't he do Zona? The end. Zona, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But nobody really cares about Zone like that. Now that's a pretty popular game too, BG. Like it people just. Like, you seem like a, you are. Uh, yeah, yeah. You you big on people making multiple games? You, I noticed that you don't like that that one IP anymore. It seems like if they only they only know for one IP, you yeah. I, I I don't think you can be a legend and only make one thing. Like, listen, M- Miyamoto, Miyamoto and them. Wait, like, the nigga that's making Judas. What other games he made other than Bioshock? Nothing. <laughs> you I don't think he's. Shit up. But I don't think he's a legend. I think Kevin he's a, he's 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 a legend in game, bro. If we he's made. Game, he's bro, he's, he's made. Just sucking this nigga off. Because what he's bro. made is great, and and I love what he's done. But he I wouldn't like, put him in legend status. If you talking about game developers, Ken Levine is up there with you now, man. Ken what? Levine cannot get up on the game awards and announce, "Hey, my podcast is coming out," and <laughs> like just go away. They're like, oh, what? <laughs> they're not gonna get. They're not gonna get him the same league where they give somebody of a coach. But coach, like, like a rock star in this shit, like Anuma. It's certain niggas when they come up there, bro. People is listening, bro. Like Miyamoto, your, same type of shit, bro. He is like a cold icon. Bro. Out of here, man. Icon. He's, nah. he's a, yeah. Anyway, um, hey man, let, let's let's get to uh, Korea. The worst <laughs> news. Um, well, well, I guess. Wait, the, wait, real quick on... b- before we. I'm sorry, viewers, but before we get there, you guys didn't address the hip hop gamer leaks about Nintendo games going to PC. I didn't even well, hear well, about well, that. Well, well right you before he, that? right before he goes into that, I do gotta. Ask BG because you because you just said you can't be a legend without multiple games, right? Oh, here we go. Let's go. Yeah. Get on his ass. I want to know who do you think is more legendary? Okay, Kojima or Sam Lake? Oh, the it's man. Now wrinkle just more legendary. Shirt, like he's Here's the thing. Here's Woo! the thing. Right, we cooking <laughs> now. I. I respect <laughs> Sam Lake more. I respect mm. Sam Lake more, right? Sam Lake has not not made anything on the level of Metal Gear. Nothing. At all. At all. Nothing. <laughs> but he's made four different IPs that were all good to great. So I res- I kind of respect that hey. more than you making one IP like b- bro, Qu- Qu- Quantum Break, Al- Alan Wake, um, Ma- Max Payne. Mm. Control, control. I respect. I re- kind of respect that more than just Metal Gear. Uh, <sighs> but 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 just the question, so, BG. Kojima, who's Kojima more made. legendary to you, brother? Hey, you know what? 
I'm, I'm like Jack. Jack, I'm standing on business. He's rolling with my man Dude, Sam Lake. What's good, shit. yo? What's okay, good, Sam talk Lake? Your shit. Talk your shit. Talk your shit. Rolling no, with that, Sammy. That's that's cat BG. Big style. Sammy. <laughs> he cooking. Mr. Lake, we rolling with him. Anyone Big game Sammy of the year. Wild. Anyone game he of the did. year with Alan Wake too. Put some respect on his name. We rolling with Sam. All right. Okay. Rolling. You were such him. a Damn. groupie. You were such a groupie. Well, go ahead. All right. I'm saying I'm standing on it. You gonna give Alan Wake to another chance, BG? You no. might like it, bro. And I'm so glad you just mentioned it. he did all of this and didn't even play Alan Wake. The thing about Alan Wake too. I, well, you're not real big on innovation in game, and I feel like they did a lot of innovative things with that game, man. I don't know, bro. Very interesting things, BG. You might follow Jim with that nigga, bro. Okay. <clears throat> let me let me scroll down to the uh to this. Okay. So not that this really needs much introduction. According to a Zenimax employee, and I was skeptical about this whole, you know, third party games going multi-plat thing from Xbox. So I reached out to a couple Xbox dudes, um, like Special Nick and 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 ran and i was like man is this being blown out of proportion like is this really happening to the extent people are saying it is they definitely confirmed to me that that hi-fi rush and sea of thieves are definitely going multi-plat that much they know everything else the rumors we really don't know yet but the other games that have been rumored like just as of today there's doom flight simulator indiana jones uh starfield and there might have been some more others. Halo uh, Master Chief Collection. I didn't even know about that one. Okay. I asked, man. Mike, bro, man. Okay. Ha- Halo. Um, yeah, Jez, Jez, Jez has been on on Twitter confirming confirming this stuff, saying uh, he wouldn't, you know, that Starfield and 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 these other games maybe coming. Xbox Eras is, is saying this stuff. Um, that they may not. That a lot of these games. Uh, may essentially just be timed exclusives. And it's like, bro, at this point, any Xbox game that's announced that, that's exclusive, it may not be exclusive for long. It may essentially just be a, a timed exclusive platform. And this is sending uh, you know, our beloved Xbox uh, family in, 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 a, in a tizzy. They're having meltdowns. and Because what is a console... Without an without exclusives, what is a platform without exclusives? What is it? It's it's really nothing. That's you have nothing to stand on. You have nothing to you know. You're 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 the you belong to the streets. That platform belongs to the streets. We get we get that too. So you got you got no ammo in the war. You got nothing to be proud of. Mm. There's nothing to separate that platform from anything else. It has no identity because everybody got that. Everybody hit that. So it's like. Wow, what, what is there? Oh, I can't, I, I, I can't really believe this. It, it, it. I, th- like I said, I, I, I think once if if Halo, if stuff like Halo goes multi-platform, then it's over. I still think y'all have something to stand on with these other with these no, other games. No, no. I, no I, I truly believe that because I you, disagree how heartily. Because it's like eh, these other games. It's like okay, maybe they might save the tent pole staple no, games no, no. just for xbox the most important ones no. like halo gears yeah, see, see thieves is that it's probably more bro. popular than all their like main games bro. that we know them for i'm just i'm this... trying to i'm trying to help not about to say yeah because <laughs> yeah man this is a slippery slope man once they once they start told it look when they announce quantum break we've been talking about quantum break when they announced that shit was going to pc man y'all should have been up in arms y'all should have pitched the fit back then because that was the test right there they didn't they didn't complain about that. And then y'all start fucking with the shit. Oh, and, and monthly active users. When y'all start bragging on all that stupid Wind ass tan shit. Fam and- bro, when y'all start doing all that shit, bro, it was over with right then. Y'all was already what's that shit uh old buddy told Walter White? I've been dead for 10 minutes. You the smartest person I know. I've been dead for 10 minutes. You ain't even realize it yet. Same <laughs> shit, bro. Y'all was dead in 2016. Y'all didn't even realize it yet, bro. Y'all should have put up a man now, nah, bro. So with man. Yeah, cool. it, it, this. Oh, this, this hurts. It, it hurts really bad um, when you consider all the talking, you know, there, you know, Phil Smith had interviews like, hey, you know, you know, the whole Ori thing was a one off thing. They don't want this expectation every time they launch a game and people asking if it's coming out on this, that and the third. They don't want to put, you know, games on other platforms unless they can get the full <laughs> Xbox experience. Um, last I checked, Game Pass ain't on none of these platforms. Neither is Xbox Live. Uh, none of that bullshit. So. Uh, the funny, the, the, it's not even funny, man. The thing that pisses me off about this shit, right? 
is for years. They acknowledge they've been getting shatted on because they ain't have no games, no exclusives and stuff like that. So we thinking they making a turnaround. They buying up you no know, studios and whatnot, bolstering up that first party. It's like, yeah, this is for you. We're going to, you know, get first party, the content, this is for you. And uh, they're doing all that, that shit. That's what you like, think okay. Phil sounds like. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. It sounds like today. So, um, yeah. <laughs> and then they uh, do the, you know, the Zenimax deal. And that for in that in that initial announcement, you know what I mean. This is for games, you know, this for you know exclusive games for uh, games platforms that ship with Game Pass. Some bullshit. They're pretty much saying this is Xbox and PC exclusive because they got Game Pass. Uh, and um, and then um, you get this Activision deal uh, going through. And the crazy thing about this whole entire time, right? You think they're doing this because of you know to get back into like some real competition with PlayStation, you know, put out some good game because there's been a, a void of first party content, quality first party content. So now they got their ducks in a row. They got their money right. They got their studios right. They got some talented ass teams and some public, they got a publishing arm. They put themselves finally in a position where they would never be a void or a, a sparse year for Xbox again. The roster they got, it's ju it just impossible to happen. They can't even force it to happen. They got to a point where you can actually say, hey, let's see, let's, let's duke it out. And the first thing they do is throw it all the fucking way. It's like that retarded football player, right, that's headed towards the fucking end zone, right, with the football. And he drops his, the yeah. No, no, turns the motherfucking round. <laughs> and start running back to the other team end zone. It's like, I don't understand. Why? What? Like, I don't like, I, I can't stand these companies. Like, is, is it greed? Is it greed? Think about this, Rick. Think about this, Jack. Jack, there are third party exclusive right now rotting on PlayStation 3, PS4 that would never see the light of day on the Xbox console. Right? Like, are you serious? PlayStation 3 has put had Sony in trouble. Yeah, they pivoted with it, but it's crazy. Have no matter how many roadblocks they ran into, yep. nothing has urged them to want to sell a game on Xbox. That's true. That's I don't understand what the fuck they want, man. And it's like you think, here we are, you know, Phil Spencer gets this promotion. He's on the board. He's on the board. He's at the table. He at the table. All right, he at the table. Then he should control everything that happens with the gaming portion, which means all this bullshit we hearing right now should be. He could either like fuck that. That's not nah, they. They've never been afraid to dis, uh, dispel a rumor like on Twitter or in a DM or whatever. Like ah man, that's nothing, right? They've been quiet. So quiet that they're putting out fucking trailers and pre-orders for Sarah Bond announcements. Like, yeah. oh, she's going to say something in the spring. Nigga, we got to wait three months for her to say something? <laughs> like, what? <laughs> I don't understand that. Oh. I, like, this is bad. I don't care what anybody say on fucking Twitter. The toxic positivity people. I don't care. There's no way you could cut it, spin it, fry it, boil Snake. it. This ain't good. Saute it. It's Say some not names. Good. The toxic positivity it's guys. Not evolved. good. Never mind. This man. is not. This. This is good for gaming. No, it is not. It is bad for gaming. It's bad for Xbox. It's bad I for agree. the fucking um. It, it, I, I'm sorry. It's bad for the culture. It's horrible. It's like that's why these rich motherfuckers can't come in and start fucking shit up with the the industry. It is bad. It's horrible. It, the thing is, is right. At some point, somebody got to be there and be like, all right, all right, we understand this. We, we know the, it's so, like, you hear a report saying uh, internet discourse not being considered, so they just say, fuck y'all niggas. <laughs> well, fuck y'all niggas. We don't care right. about what you feel. That's pretty much what's being said. They're going to throw away all that goodwill. I am today, Mark, I don't care, record it, snap it, screenshot it. You caught me in 4K, maybe 8K, 6.5K, however y'all recording video content. I regret this Activision Blizzard deal. Because no. if that, if you're telling me that's the pillar that made them, to get them all fat-headed and to do this, I regret it. Fuck, fire another 2,000 other motherfuckers, get them out the door. Like, I don't Damn. care about any freaking layoffs or canceled games, any of that. No, this deal was bad no i don't like 
this whole I don't I'm not siding with all the like the argue, uh, the sentence and all that shit and PlayStation and all the people arguing court. No, it, if I known that this was going to be the thing that pretty essentially Xbox is dead to me. It kills Xbox for me. Then yeah, they, that Activision could have just gone away. I don't care. I don't care about any other studio that needs saving because X, in order for Xbox to acquire talent, they have to be a third party publisher. The thing is, when Sega went the way it did, right? I was not a thank you. I was not a super hardcore oh, gamer like that. Uh, uh, corn, shrimp, scampi, and salad, and whatever. Oh, look, look, but um, I, I I didn't get to see Sega like you know fall right. You know I didn't get to see that. Even though I was around for it, it didn't mean anything to me, right? But come on, bro! Like this is literally there's no way to spin this to make this and. I, like just people, I'm trying to find the good in some of the comments that people are saying you're your usual suspects. Like, yeah, d- this is what they're gonna do. No, no, I wouldn't know. All right, this is all I care, care about. When is it good for me as the Xbox gamer? That's what I'm trying to figure out. When is it good for me? Like, I don't care about another Xbox Direct. I don't care about another Xbox game showcase because all I'm gonna be wondering is like, when these motherfuckers gonna launch on PlayStation and Nintendo? You are gonna keep showing me all these games and I can't even enjoy that they're coming out because I'm like, well, they're multi-plat. Like, what's the point? What are you doing for me? Like, what's going to happen? Like, it's a, is these Xbox controllers gonna come like attached with like a moist mouth or something like that? I don't know. <laughs> I need to know what is Yo. in it for me. X, any, every Xbox gamer need to be asking what's in it for me. Cause when they hi fi rush, see if these, I, whatever, you know, I'm still gonna be pissed off because see if these, to me, even though it, it low, was low rated, it was like a new IP born in the Xbox One generation by a first party studio that kind of held its own and just grew over time. And that's your that's yours you didn't you didn't cheat that one that is yours right high fi rush whatever smaller all right whatever y'all treating it like orient cuphead whatever right but now that these rumors are evolving and now some of the names are getting bigger we're getting flights and tossing out uh bad chief collection and, and starfield it's like really dude i was like all right so y'all just saying you know fuck us. so so you guys, this is everything that's taking place is all Microsoft fault, right? You guys failed to sell the console because you failed to sell games and you failed to have exclusive. Your marketing sucked ass for a decade plus, and now nobody's buying your shit. Now you want to just sit there and, and, and just feed everyone. Feed, and, and it sounds selfish of me, but I have a right to be selfish. You sold me a fucking console. You pretty much put out a product that says, hey, buy my product over the other products because we got something special. I buy your product. Now you're saying... Never mind. We ain't got nothing special because we want to feed the streets. So, yeah, this is going to do irreversible damage. And I hope for every every game that the first game, I don't care who's a sacrificial lamb. I don't know if it's Hi-Fi Rush or CFDs. I'm begging, I'm begging PlayStation gamers. Don't buy none of that shit. Let that shit rot. <laughs> I want that shit to hurt that they, I want it. It should be a loss. Every game ported to PlayStation should be sold at a loss. I don't know how they do that. That means that shit got to sit on the shelf. Nobody buy the shit. Like, I want it to be a waste of time because there's nothing that Sarah Bond, Phil Spencer, anybody could tell me that's going to make me feel good about them putting games on PlayStation and Nintendo. It, there's there's nothing that's going to make me feel good. It's like, okay, what y'all going to tell me? Y'all get Spider-Man? You tell me that? I might feel a little bit better. If Spider-Man coming on Xbox... Okay, cool. We could talk, but or or is it y'all just feeding the streets, or are you just gonna keep making PlayStation better than you? Like, I don't understand how that not work. It's a, I swear, it's a bunch of AI motherfuckers working at Microsoft. It's not. They can't be human. They can't be human. They can't be. There's no way that somebody's in a room and just thinking, all right, we're nothing's going to happen for this. There's no crisis report, no damage control, no like nothing. It, I don't, I do not understand it. So yes, I, I mean what I say, what I'm saying, fuck it. Like, yeah, the console war is dead. PlayStation, y'all won. And it's crazy. The crazy thing is PlayStation, even though they're, they're number one now, right? But content wise, they down bad and they got every moment. They can take advantage of it. And they're like, no, no, let, let's make my, our situation worse. How is it that you have prime opportunity to do something? Something and you ain't gonna take advantage of it. How, nigga, how you gonna like this Activision deal was about Game Pass? 
and, or, or, or oh, it's about, you know, subscriptions. We want to compete, right? But when you finally get the shit, you won't let the shit marinate and actually work? Like, you're not going to test out any exclusives? Xbox is full of Darwin motherfuckers. I don't like any of them. I told you, you know what? That's what it is. See this? And I know niggas get mad at me. I know 110% of them are liberals over there. And this is what liberals do. This is why this country is fucked up because you got a bunch of liberals doing dumb shit. And that's why Microsoft is fucked up because you got a bunch of liberals doing shit in there, making dumbass decisions, trying to be all inclusive and shit. Like, fucking by the way, Nintendo and, and, and Sony, there's no genders involved and shit like that. Like, I don't know why they acted all inclusive. Like, everybody got to have something. Like, I'm sorry, man. This is that liberal shit, that liberal disease that's spreading across into our industry and it's fucking up gaming. My bad, man. <laughs> I um, real quick, man. I just want to say, and that does the we laughing at smooth, bro. What smooth just said was a hundred thousand percent correct. Right? Breathe, smooth, breathe. That, bro, you spitting right now, smooth. I ain't even gotta say nothing on top of that, bro. But like, bro, I don't see the only people that saying <laughs> this is great for gaming. This is they don't play on Xbox. These are people that don't want to have to buy an Xbox to play the games, bro. This is not a good idea, right? We might benefit from it, me being a PlayStation. But this is not this is not healthy, bro. This this is the equivalent to me. I know y'all don't like sports analogies. This is the equivalent of every time the Lakers get through playing the game, they say, "Hey, Anthony Davis, LeBron, y'all go back over there. The, the Clippers playing tonight at <laughs> Staples Center. Y'all go put on the fucking Clippers jersey." Help them. That's what y'all doing, bro. Y'all are assisting killing y'all selves, bro. You not doing nothing but shrinking. If you're trying to make waves, they literally own what makes the most revenue on PlayStation, Call of Duty. They own that, right? You literally assisting your own suicide at this point. It makes no sense to do none of this, bro. At all. I agree wholeheartedly with movies 100% right, bro. That's it. Wow. I got um, a different take on it. Yeah, go ahead, Am. All right. I'm so, snack. I personally see what Smooth's saying and I see his frustration and I get it. Right? And I don't really like this whole idea of share, like like, like everything being shared between everybody or whatnot. But I feel like Microsoft is looking at PlayStation, Nintendo, and PC the same way that PlayStation strictly only looks at PC. And that is, we're going to put this on Xbox for a little bit, but we're going to make sure that we make money on this by putting it elsewhere later on. So if you're an Xbox customer, you're playing it first, sure. But we're making sure that we secure our pockets at the end of the day. And that happens on Steam, that happens on PlayStation, that happens on Nintendo a lot easier than it happens in house. So in my opinion, I'm just like, man, I hope you guys continue to make consoles because if you guys stop making consoles, then it's, it's really, really over. But at, but, but, but at some point it's interesting to possibly think, Oh, this game that came out for PlayStation last time, is now on it went from a two month exclusive to now the second one being even better and now it's a year exclusive so now we're playing with exclusive times and stuff like that and just seeing how xbox handles its own base and then um let, let, let's maximize it to everybody else to then get the rest of the revenue and, and i just think that's just the thing that microsoft does internally all the time I mean, you see them currently, they've been in the computer business since inception. They still make their own computers for people. Right, they don't to use. make gateways no more. Nah, that shit been dead. When Dell and HP started to sell them better than they shit, they don't make no gateways no more, right? Crazy. Niggas make the fucking shit that runs on computers, but they can't make computers no more because it wasn't beneficial to them. All right. So who makes you Surface said- Pros? Those ain't real computers. Those are just glorified tablets. They're and computers. They're so neat. They're so niche that they just like they like they're they're not that dominant, dude. They're, they're yeah, they're computers, but they're not 
They're not that dominant. They move. They lose money on Surface Pros all the damn time. They're toys. They're toys, right? They're- My question to you, Ham. You said you know PlayStation. You know they toying around. Why is it? Why ain't PlayStation toying around with fucking Xbox? Why is they only looking at PC? Why isn't Xbox an option? And they got. They pretty much the way PlayStation operate, they need you bought to buy the PlayStation, right? And they, they're seeing that that's not enough, but they ain't looking at no damn Xbox. They're looking at PC. So so why does why do they have to look at Xbox? I mean, not because Xbox. they're not gonna why look, do they look at PlayStation. They're not gonna look behind to try to get more revenue. Do you see what I'm saying? Xbox is behind, so they're looking at how am I gonna get into their base how am i going to get inside of there Oof. if you're in first place oh. you're not looking to get inside oh. of third place i'm looking to get inside there too yeah we're ready inside um, <laughs> yeah, <you know. laughs> yeah you feel that <laughs> so, <laughs> yo, let's, okay. y'all freaks it's getting late yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you, so what good do you see in this like how does tell me on this how does the xbox gamer get a good deal out of this they get the game first nigga we're making the game first <laughs> <laughs> now, I'm, I'm, that's I'm, all but, but, but what you're asking is how do they get the better deal they get the game first that's that's literally it so nothing <laughs> and cheaper and, and, and cheaper wait and it's cheaper early access box move but and, it. and cheaper but no nah, man but the the thing is we already see how that work that doesn't hold any weight people if, if if i know i could spend uh money on a system that i actually want like a playstation or a nintendo and wait three months for the game to come out and i'm actually willing to buy the game that's that's not nah man i don't Think about Jack, it. we've been waiting years for Persona 5. Nintendo fans bought it when it finally came around. PC gamers are used to waiting, so there's no exactly. real hold there. And PlayStation gamers, they don't mind having to wait either. So it's no real that, that that time exclusivity shit don't don't don't, don't it don't hold no weight. It don't yeah. hold no weight, man. It really don't. Unless and, unless like you I, uh lock something down for like years, bro, like PlayStation be doing with Final Fantasy. On top on top on top of that, Xbox they're they're no longer selling physical games, meaning their their presence in store shelves is is shrinking. The, 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 yep. A lot of space they have in the store is going to shrink, yep. leading to people not buying. Con- they're already not selling consoles crazy. They're going to sell less consoles even more now. Leading it's not even going to be on the mind anymore because you don't it, see it. So. Yeah, I'm not I, you, exactly out of stock. Yeah, if I'm Best Buy, Walmart, why would I fucking order an Xbox if I ain't got no content to sell for the shit? No, I exactly. need people to come in and out of my store, not one time only. Niggas need to come back and continue to feed what they just bought. So. Think about this, Xbox, right? Everything, <laughs> this is how weird gets funny, right? Sure. This is how it's, well, it started, it, it already started, right? So when they start putting their games on PlayStation and Nintendo, uh, maybe it, it, it's digital only, people get comfortable with that. It's like, okay, well, PlayStation's already more popular. PC's out there. Nintendo's already more popular. And we got all these little mobile PCs to play our games. We could just kindly faint our way into the background and they're just randomly there just won't be no xbox console to sell because all you sure you're making money in gaming just like tencent is making a whole bunch of money they don't got no they ain't got no consoles and gaming and shit like that there's a bunch of uh, business businesses thriving in the gaming industry without any hardware and xbox can easily just do that now that they own a good majority of gaming studios and, and, and publishers out there they're publishing games all over the place. They're making money that way. They're not spending money on R&D or anything like that on consoles. And the more money they make and the less they have to spend, the better the, uh, is all for them. So, yeah, this can, if successful, this can easily be the end of Xbox. Easily. And all the thing, only thing they'll continue to sell is some fucking controllers. Because... You need a controller, a controller at least to play on your TV with the cloud because they already got the cloud up and running on uh, um, the TVs and whatnot. But yeah, this is a direct shot, a, a, a direct aim of their ending console support. Um, sure, w- they'll probably throw out one more console. Maybe it'll be completely irrelevant, not necessary, being that what are you going to sell with it? But 
I think this is a, if you don't want the Xbox console to go away, then you don't want them producing shit for PlayStation and Nintendo. Because the console is going to go away. Easily. It, they have no reason. I re- personally don't think the console is going anywhere because there's going to be people that still want to play natively on... Uh, uh, there's still going to be people that want to play natively on a box that just does gaming yeah. that has their digital library from previous generations. So I just think if anything, they'll only go digital from now and then on to the future, but they're still always going to have a box to I put don't... somewhere in your living room. Well, but the traditional and they've conditioned their users to do this. The traditional Xbox gamer now does not have a library. Their library is Game Pass. You see what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. it's like... I got another thing. Because you think about it, right? You said they still want a box to play on. Who says that box has to be an Xbox? Eventually, you're just going to be able to sign into your Xbox profile anywhere and just have access to your digital library. So what's going to happen to the library that I currently have? Are you just thinking that's just going to puff and just, just go away? Game well, they already, well when you sign it, these exactly agreements, can. they say you don't own these games. So if they wanted to, they could just wipe your entire library from existence. Like there's no rule saying they have to keep, you know, making these consoles just because you supported them in the past. Game Pass is the library. Right Game Pass is the library, man. I don't know. We'll have to see. Um, Fuck Xbox. Fuck them. I don't think I don't. I don't think if you're a primary Xbox gamer, this is never, I don't see how this is good. This is the same shit I was saying with PlayStation, put they shit on PC. If you're a PlayStation, the end user, the person they're supposed to be catering to, that doesn't benefit you at all. Like, it, it, all the excuses people use, well, uh, great people get to play great games, and this is going to give them more money to fund bigger and better games. What bigger and better game have we got since they put their games on PC? Not a goddamn thing. Anything they what? slowed down. What bigger and better game has Xbox gotten since they started putting their games on PC? Not a fucking thing. Nothing. So all this dumb ass shit y'all be coming up with is not real, bro. It's not real. If anything, this is harming their market share, their mind share, is shrinking their presence in all... They're widening their appeal by shrinking their presence in the hardware space. This is what's going on. I don't see how this benefits them. I only at specifically all. disagree with Jack's PC point. I I believe that we, we know we will we, benef- benefit us. Yeah, hell um, yeah, I bet you do. I bet you do. Um, fuck out of here. But, but hold on, do you think it benefited Xbox? No the games on PC. Ever since 2016 or 2015, whenever it was, I how yeah, did it, I, how did it benefit them? I don't think it hurt them. I don't think it hurt them in the way that um I do think it it helps you uh possibly make more money to fund future games i do i do believe that i believe pc games uh putting your games on i PC don't believe they okay then, then let me then let but me ask i don't you. but but i don't think that's a that was a that was a really an obstacle for xbox really like that okay like, let, let me ask you go ahead let, let me ask you this so you and even like bond have enjoyed xbox first party games over the years from cuphead to gears tactics bond with flight simulator and a couple of these other games how come you never ran out there to buy an Xbox? Hmm. Yeah, I don't think it's good for for Xbox hardware, but as far as like game development, yeah, but that, that I think goes it's good one and one with the success of just Xbox as a brand. Not I think, exactly. I think I think it could be good. I think games on PC could be good for software development, but bad for game, but bad for hardware. I think it could be good for one, bad for the other. That's what I believe. So. More, I think it helps more games and the development of future games, but it's not necessarily helping the hardware. So that, that's that's what I think. Um, and and, and I, I'm sorry to interrupt you, but like the whole mantra of Xbox this generation has been ecosystem. So it's all about having access to be able to play said game and whatnot. Now, what will like kind of throw me for a loop? at all is is if i have to sign into an xbox account on my playstation or something like that that will then tell me that they do that for what you call it they do that for uh, minecraft yep they do that for minecraft on playstation already yeah yeah Yeah, there's xbox live sign-ins on playstation that's crazy here's what i want to do um i want to call out the false prophets on the xbox side 
we we say all the time, put a name on the bullet, Colt Eastwood, Tim Dog. Mm. These individuals have led y'all astray. They have they have lied to y'all. And they have sucked from the teat of Phil Spencer Paul and Spencer. all these Xbox all these other Xbox executives that spun narratives and change and, and, and change the belief system of how the gaming industry works. They told and they fed y'all those lies and y'all believed them. They X, Xbox told see, you gotta understand, people like Colt Eastwood and Tim Dogg are minions. They're minions. They're little chess pieces for, for Xbox and Phil Spencer. Oh, but I played Halo with Phil Spencer the other day. So what, you bum? So what, you moron? What does that mean? You don't know anything. So they told y'all software sales don't matter. What did y'all get online and do? Software sales don't matter. Bro. They told y'all hardware don't matter. What did y- Hardware don't matter. They told, they, they told y'all, oh, it's only about engagement numbers. What did y'all get on Twitter and do? Say the same exact thing. Y'all are mouthpieces for these execs. Y'all are false prophets. And it, y'all, y'all preached it at every chance y'all got. Tried to make Redfall look better than it was. Y'all tried to change the way the industry works when you never called the shots. Xbox was never in charge. It's At, at best... It's always Nintendo. We could look at the rest of the industry and see what the rest of the industry did and go by that and and, and go by the beat of what the rest of the industry was was doing. But for some reason, y'all think Xbox is special. Game Pass is special. And they're going to call the shots of how the industry works. Sales will always matter. In these these engagement numbers that they that they lied to y'all and told y'all that was most important, maybe in multiplayer games. Sure. But individual a la carte sales will always be what's See, important. They changed the narratives on y'all, made up all these lies and, and made up all these beliefs and y'all fell for it. And then y'all then y'all went y- y'all went y'all went at the head of the church. Y'all got on got on the little podium and preached to 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 your little uh your little Xbox congregation and they was and they and, and they had nodded their head and they drank the Kool Aid and they believed all the stuff that people like Colt Eastwood was saying. And Colt Eastwood was like, "Oh look, I, I with with his little Twitter degree." From Twitter University, he he got he got all he's look. I did the math. I, I I added the two. I carried the one. I used the Pythagorean theorem. I did all of this. See, look, Game Pass. This is what's gonna happen with it because I did the math myself. I ran the numbers. Oh look, I, it, it, it's simple. Why doesn't Sony do it? He's a moron. He doesn't know anything. He looks stupid now. He looks like an absolute moron. And we kept on telling you these people don't know anything. They are just talking heads. They don't know shit. If if any if if these people were so smart, why aren't there why aren't they CFOs? If these people know so much, why aren't they why aren't they ex- execs themselves? of the head of these companies. These morons sat on Twitter and made everything look so simple and rudimentary and foundation and y'all believed them. And now oh the 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 the, the, uh, the acquisition, oh no, it's going to be great for the industry because this this and that. Y'all believed them. Oh, this is Game Pass subscription services. This is what people want. It's the future. Y'all believed them. Y'all sat and believed everything these idiots who know absolutely nothing Tell y'all, and this what happens. This what happens. Y'all didn't have a brain to think for yourselves. So this is your fault. This is absolutely your fault. You kind of deserve it because we tried to tell you. Stop listening to Colt Eastwood and the rest of these bozos who don't know anything that they're talking about. They don't. They they don't know anything, bro. Oh, but, but look, I, I I I played Halo with Phil the other day. He's my friend. He's my friend. Oh, we're best pals. We're we're best buddies. I talk to him every other day. So what? You morons think you just because you're in close proximity to these execs that you know anything. So hold on. You mean to tell me you was playing Halo with Phil the other day? Oh, killing spree. Kill Oh, he didn't tell you this was gonna happen. Oh, you had no clue. Oh, you don't say. You know why? Because you're nothing to him. You're nobody. You don't matter. You don't matter. I, but but he's he's my friend. He's he, he's he's my buddy. He's my good old pal. Look, I I I, I even wrote, I even made a Father's Day card for him. He he was feeling sick the other day. I made him some soup and sent it to his house. 
morons. All of you. All of you. You're dumb. You're idiots. And I, listen, I, I think it's possible that some of this stuff is overblown and, 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 and exaggerated. Some of this stuff could possibly not happen. I still think all of you are idiots. It's, and it's blowing up in y'all face and y'all well, deserve it. Really? What did we do? I, well, I, was, I was talking about the prophets like Colt Eastwood, Tim Dogg, and like, I, I, I may be forgetting some people, but uh, they, they're like, I, I know they are some of the main two. Who else is like a false Xbox prophet? <laughs> you carry? know who else. You, you know who else. No, I really can't think. Who else right now? Um, you, you, know, Alex is a PC you, guy, you, right? you, you, you know who You know who else. Listen, my guy, um, my guy Uni drank the Kool-Aid early on, early on, but he called out a lot of the stuff. So I'm not going to get on him because he's been, he, hey, he, I, I fuck with you. No, you need to keep it real, bro. You need, you need don't be doing that, bro. He, if he, he don't like yeah. something that's going on, he going to speak on it, bro. He don't. Yeah. Oh, I wasn't even thinking about that other guy. Oh yeah. The, 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 the safe take bald man. It's <laughs> him. <laughs> The, the safe, the safe, t- safe take the, bald man is in, is wild. Bro. The safe take bald man, the toxic positivity, black bald guy. Yeah, he he's one of those too. He told you every, what, everything's going, everything's going to be all what right. What is it? Everything's going to be okay. Let's all hold hands. Xbox is doing the right thing. Y'all going to be okay. Let's all hold hands and pray and sing kumbaya. And are you are you talking about Paris, PG? They don't know anything, bro. It's, I've tried. I tried to tell y'all for the longest. These dudes are big dummies. Mm. So when I clip this, you're talking about Paris, right? Listen, I put a bullet. <laughs> I put a. I put a. I put a bullet on everything else, right? Effort. Gotcha. I'm talking about Paris. All of them. Mm. All of them. Cold Eastwood, oh, Tim, no. Tim Dog, Paris. Mm. All of them. You're, they, they. They are pawns. Mm. They are. They are pawns. Mm. Okay. And and. You, you Xbox weirdos, y'all was reading 300, 300 page documents from, from that acquisition. Y'all was, y'all was worshiping and, and, and simping for that Lululemon chick, whatever her name is. I don't, I don't know that, that, that Asian woman that y'all adored so much because she was making jokes and cracking jokes. And suddenly y'all was like posting her on, on, on y'all wall. Like she was that Kim, uh, that, like she was that, um, that Kim poster. Oh, I. I, I will accept no Sarah Bond slander. Mm. No Sarah Bond slander. Okay. I, I want the, the way I was simping for, for that woman. I want y'all to simp for Sarah Bond. No disrespect to Sarah Bond. She is just doing her job, which she just got. So this is. It, she's Shout out doing to that black job. woman. This was passed down to her. So, um, yeah, now they're all looking. Now they're on Twitter. Um, Look, looking stupid, looking like idiots, because look at what everything they've been preaching for the last who knows how long. And they're wrong and they look like they look like dummies. Everything, everything was about, oh, saving money. Oh, it's the greatest, the greatest deal in gaming. OK, that comes at a cost. You want to save money, right? OK, save some money. S- save, some, save, some, save as much money as you want. Game, game Pass is so great. OK, well, keep keep saving money now. Now, some of y'all going to be so upset. Y'all don't even want to buy these games at all. You're going to oh, you're going to be even saving even more money than, than before, even with Game Pass. I felt like there's going to be a Twitter space in the morning, and I'm excited for it. I'm so excited facts. for it. They already had one tonight. <sighs> Jeff Keighley was in there. Oh, really? Yeah. I think oh, it was man. a D-batch sta- uh, space. Eh. Um, well. So where do we go from here? Smooth, um, are, are you really going to quit gaming, though? Like, like, li- like, seriously, if this happens, are you just done or what? I don't see myself in a space for that long as far as like, <clears throat> you got to think about it. Let's, let's, let's see. Let me just tell you what's going to happen. Right. Do you know of now? I'm, this is not just for me. <laughs> this is for other people. Like, do, you know? do you know of any like EA or Ubisoft specific content creators? No, I don't. Oh, well, Jimmy was a Ubisoft guy, but outside of him, no. Nah, he was, nah, he was a, in a fair. He wasn't no Ubisoft exclusive content creator. You know, you got your Xbox YouTubers, you got your PlayStation YouTubers, and your Nintendos. Xbox, I mean, there's going to be a shit. So, look, there should be a lot of vacancy in the YouTube space. Just saying, like, there should be a lot of vacancy. Like, uh, will I quit 
I, gaming I, at some point <clears throat> I, I will I don't think this will make me do it I don't even think this will make me stop gaming on Xbox but damn my shit my YouTube gonna switch from Kid Smooth to Jerry <laughs> that's what the <laughs> fuck it's gonna be it's gonna be a fucking default ass YouTube channel I ain't gonna have shit to talk about <clears throat> oh man um, that shit hurts it, it, I just hope that PlayStation guys, Nintendo guys, take it easy on my brothers and sisters. <laughs> on you know, please take it easy because no, nah, no, nah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be real. I'm gonna be real with you guys. People don't, and people think I'm lying, but I think this is the truth. I think the console wars have created uh, mental health issues. People have um, inherited mental health issues through the console wars and you do something for such a long time when it, if it's defending or like it be starts to become a personality thing and a lot of people personality is identifying with these brands so this is literally almost like a death blow to a fan base and I, and I, and I don't know how I gotta check up on people I really personally I feel like I gotta personally check up on people because <clears throat> any added thought outside of what Microsoft is already doing right any outside, so PlayStation fanboys and stuff like start going at these dudes. Be careful. Just be careful what you say, how you say it, because people are gonna come out of character, people are gonna say shit they don't mean, and people might just have like an adverse reaction to it because they're hurt. Morale is low, emotions are running high, and you may cause or trigger a mental episode and I don't want you guys to do that. I know Are you, you guys like, a warning for yourself. Like, are you about not, to not, I mean, not this. me. I'm just saying in general, there's a lot oh. of people out here <laughs> really like, like I was already bothered. People like already body got short temper with like dudes, PlayStation dudes and, and, and media guys. So now you got something where is there? We're all facing a fucking L that we can't refute Blandry. right now. We, we, we can't refute the L. <laughs> what, what's and that, BG? If you remind, is, if you remind us, that could do some catastrophic damage. Is isn't it the the concept so simple, so but so powerful? Yes, sir. Buy your games. Yeah. The, the 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 simple solution to everything. Well, Buy what's that, that, that meme of the astronaut on the your, on the moon. Buying the games was the solution. It's always been. It's always been kids move your games. I'll tell you where I'm at right now. And I'm not sure how many people will like this or maybe people will continue to hate that I think this. Smooth, you probably won't like it. But I'm just gonna continue to rock with the same console I've been rocking with. Xbox. I'm gonna continue to rock with it till the wheels fall off. I said that a long time ago and Shit ain't changed. I still got a PS5. Still got a Switch. Still got a PC. I mean, until, until these companies can just flat out stop making games, I'm going to keep playing video games because I'm a gamer. And that's what I do. I'm not going to stop gaming or, or, I don't know, just completely be subsided because of a move that a trillion, a multi-trillion dollar corporation does that I clearly don't have any kind of talk or say into what they actually do. I'm just going to continue gaming. Hopefully they do what I want. If they don't, well, hopefully they still got the games that I want and that it goes to a platform that I'd be willing to play it on. You must have went to like the school of Paris Lily because that, that that sounded exactly like something <laughs> he would say, and that's exactly why. why? In this why, 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 why wait, wait, hold on a second, real quick. <laughs> you see, you you say that, but it's but as I just got done telling you, I have a mat, I, I have a library, a, a bunch of games on that console already. What would I be to just be like, oh, I'm pissed? They're not making games only for my console anymore. I should just throw that away. Like, yeah, <laughs> you, 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 do you want me to, 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 to be a smooth, like copy and paste? Like, like, like I'm, I, I'm not him. I, I am not smooth. I'm not I'm trying not gonna... to be smooth and I'm not trying to be Paris either. I, him, 
I, I, I enjoy Xbox not only for the console, but for the ecosystem. And, I, and I've been said that. How many times do I have to tell people, oh, it's dope that I just got done playing Starfield on my Xbox and I just turned on my Steam Deck and I'm in the exact same goddamn spot. But but meanwhile, I go on ahead and beat Horizon Forbidden West on my PS5 and go to play cloud gaming and it tells me to restart the entire game. So, 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 so yeah, there are benefits in shit that I like where it's not going to make me just be pissy and just jump across. That's the, that, that, that's the reality of it. If you don't like my take, that's another uh, you conversation. Can, you can have your take. I'm just saying the average person is looking at these other factors as far as mm. why they buy their console. You, you buying a, a multi-plat machine really doesn't like buy, bode well for the future of Xbox. Okay, like, okay, you can play games first on your Xbox series. So why whatever. have Steam? Sure. Wait, why have that? Steam then? If you can just play it on so many different places. Why have Steam? Why buy a Steam Deck? That's made from Steam. A lot of people are arguing that. This, again, this is, we're not saying that. But we people are doing it. But people are buying Steam Decks, right? Steam they still came still out with a new Steam iteration of the, the Steam, Steam Deck. Even though, even though the ROG Ally came out and uh, Lenovo came out, Steam Deck did what still? They still came out with another Steam Deck. Um, I'm not understanding mm. your point here. His point is, is like if you mm. you can't argue the whole multi plat box when uh, most people are playing multi plat boxes. Like for example, if you want exclusive, why do you have a? Why are you playing on Steam? Why are you playing on a Steam Deck? You should only be playing pretty much Nintendo at this point, right? And maybe some PlayStation. But um, so it kind of goes against, you know. No, but that, that's, what, that's, like, that's what we've been saying for all the consoles. We've been saying that mm -hmm. since Xbox first started putting their games on the PC, mm -hmm. it devalues the platform. Mm -hmm. I remember Jack was having these conversations back and forth with Kofi when it pertains to the PlayStation. Mm -hmm. It devalues the platform. And if oh. Nintendo starts doing that as well, everybody's just saying, why don't we just buy a, P a PC at this point? What's even the point of the console? No, buy, you know what's crazy? So is PC a devalued platform? Is it PC probably a offers the most platform? value. Objectively had, speaking, objectively speaking, because it, it, it essentially it, you can play everything on it, right? Right. As well as things this like is, free online and all the other quirks and stuff that come with PC gaming. I'm gonna do this. So, Ham, I respect, I respect you. I thought there would be uh, some point in the universe where I would have the same attitude you have. I thought my love for Xbox was so strong. <laughs> That I would have a reaction like that, so I'm not mad at you for having that reaction. I'm pretty sure there's plenty of us, uh, plenty of people that's gonna have that reaction. At this point, man, like this is gonna sound horrible, and don't take me literally. I'm about ready to sell some ass, dude, and um, give me a. Fucking, <laughs> well, I, I'm about to beef up this fucking PC. If somebody want to donate to the Get Kiss Move, a better PC fund, because I am, I, I, I can't do it no more. I can't. Like I'm, I'm, I'm like. I'm hurt. And I didn't think I would be hurt by this, but I'm actually hurt. And it's just Yo, a you... fucking rumor. <clears throat> but it's, it's actually beyond right the now. rumor. Fuck Bon. Bon, I'm <laughs> glad he's not here. Um, but the, the thing is, is that yeah, man, like I respect your uh your take and like you know where you're coming from. I just I just don't share the same uh sentiment. You know, you want some sort of uh, value in a box and I invested a lot in Xbox so I'm not just going to throw away my Xbox because I got you know I think six seven hundred games or whatever on it um, um, that, that I, a lot of them that I own um, so I'm not going to just throw away the box and just start over on PlayStation but Xbox has done had me cooking in the oven on PC for a long time so I do have a, a an established PC library um, that does that's not you no know, changing but shit I mean like will i feel bad if i like you know not get an xbox or got rid of an xbox and upgraded the, the gpu or some shit like that uh to something that i can say okay i'm comfortable playing on this for the next seven years who knows man but um you know more power to you um like i said more people should be thinking like you but we've been in this console war in the trenches for so damn long our brains have melted uh, i don't think it's possible for uh, a lot of us to think that way because we've been programmed and um, <laughs> conditioned to fight a console war. And it, if there's no 
console fight for what the fuck? Uh, I don't know. It, it is. I think we did it, gentlemen. I think it's about time to uh, and um, this won't be the end of this conversation. Um, I'm sure more is going to happen this week. Um, we're going to learn more information this week and discuss it. After the Super Bowl, because there will be no Weapon Will podcast this Sunday because of the Super Bowl. But why you want to say our ass, though? We not going to just gloss over that, bitch. I just, I just <laughs> yeah, got back. Why, I you, know why? Know why? why are you trying to say our ass, too, brother? What's because, going I on mean, brother, that is, that is something like... Like like, like 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 Xbox can do whatever they want to me, brother. <laughs> they ain't making me go to no... Bro, they ain't making me hit no corner. It was completely quiet here when he said the shit, too. Like, what y'all got going on, bro? I, <laughs> I, I feel him. I feel him. It's it's it's. You know? We we can I can definitely pick pick out a fire PC for smooth. But uh, let me res- let me get to <laughs> these super chats because there is a uh, smooth. You're on fire tonight, brother. This shit. Real it's, real quick, BG smooth. Mm-hmm. I I know I'm I'm laughing at you and a couple of the Xbox guys right now. But I I was really kind of rooting for you guys. You guys had PlayStation right there. I was kind of hoping to see how PlayStation would respond. With I was own. too, man. Shooters of their own, bringing back old IP, maybe making some new IP, sharing their games to developers to get their games out quick like Nintendo, maybe even dropping the price of PlayStation Plus because whenever companies are backed into that corner, you get things like Game Pass, Nintendo doing crazy deals on the the Wii U, PlayStation with all their stuff on the PlayStation 3, but now... We'll never know how that goes. PlayStation can kind of mm-hmm. just coast along again and do absolutely nothing and still sell consoles. So maybe uh, Phil Spencer is a double agent. I've been saying that since like when he like when he was shutting down, you know, Scalebound, the Phantom Dust remake, all these games back in the original Xbox One days. I was like, he must be like an undercover PlayStation guy or something. Hmm. Um. Okay. Uh. Yeah. Super chats. Let's get to it so we can get out of here. Clean frame. Who's y'all favorite video game? Autor? A U T E U R? That's a word. Author? No, that's, no. that's a word. No, he didn't mean author. He he said autor. No, that's that's a word. That's that's a, that's a word though. What autor what, means what? a filmmaker. Oh. It's like geez. a nigga that author. Makes it's author. It's it's author in French. Oh, okay. Excuse me. That nigga fancy um, as hell for leaving that comment. <laughs> yeah. Like, he could just uh, say it, he could just say it maker. Right? Yeah. Um like Jack adding that shit to his reference while he love finding little vocab words. Look at him smiling. I'm the one that knew it was a real word. Y'all niggas like did he mean Arthur? Did he mean he arthritis? He's definitely saying that shit next next stream. I am an author of Alex's uh no. Yeah. Say something stupid. You know Some, what you know what type of time we are. Uh, favorite, favorite, favorite video game Artors? Quick answers. Um, Hideo Kojima. No, I don't fucking know, man. Um I'm gonna be honest, that nigga Sam Lake um with Alan Wake 2. I wasn't familiar with his game, bro. I, I fuck with him. Yeah. I don't know the person name. Whoever had Super Giant Games coming up with I that shouldn't idea. have said nothing about Sam Lake. I shouldn't hey, have said shit about Shout out to Ken Levine. <laughs> shout out to him. No man with one game? You putting up, up on that pedal, stupid G? Wow. Shout out to Ken Levine. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just saying. Yeah, shout out to too. Ken Levine. Uh, Ruffle Mutt. Oh, yeah. Perfect time for Xbox to be sponsored by BetterHelp. Not a bad idea. <laughs> um, uh, the brand... The Brandalorian. Let's take the bigger knife in the drawer and cut out the bullshit. That's, <laughs> hey man, shout out to um next gen Zaire. Next gen, yeah. next gen. Shout out to Zaire. Uh, let's let's take the biggest knife in the drawer and cut the bullshit. Xbox likely stopped investing in the console war a while ago. Mm. Um, King Kiso. It's sad seeing my people's lose my people lose the love of gaming. Y'all might need to go back uh, to what got you into it. Yeah, go back to the essence. Go back to the Mecca. Facts. Wherever that is for you. Fellow um, foamy. GT Bato. Dell Walker getting passed around the industry like a hooker with STDs. Wherever he goes, disaster follows. <laughs> yeah, I don't like this, what y'all God, doing to that guy. Hey, man, man salute, salute to Dale Walker, man. I hope he laying on his feet, bro. That's it. Um, Detour Bore 1. Here to ride on that red-eyed albino ape Raekwon. <laughs> fire shout out to wani oh you know i'm about to say you know what that is okay yeah. <laughs> uh woden's throne breaking news starfield is coming to ps5 yeah talked about it they rubbing in it smooth you know you're gonna be getting tagged all week in this shit right bro just um, delete that bro yeah Ballin, i'm gonna have to put it down yeah balling harder congratulations to killer mike three grammys tonight oh and hashtag play anywhere i guess he got arrested oh, right after really? his grand yeah he won three thanks. grammys and got arrested <laughs> for some uh, 
the fix is in. The fix is yeah. in. You know that's gonna be the, the single when he drop it, bro. Yeah. Um, Joey L, white t shirt BG is unhinged. Yeah. Can't count how many Stay wrinkles cool. is in this one. Yeah. You got a rubber band around your neck? What is that? Whoa, don't disrespect me, bro. <laughs> don't disrespect me, what is that? Hey, hey, oh, hey. That, chi- hey. that chain is a little famished, BG. You got a hey, 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 little dog. <laughs> you make too much money be wearing little, that thin ass dog. necklace, brother. Uh, you know, I'm not, I'm not the flashy type. You, you know, I just like you a little too something. You make wearing that thin ass necklace, brother. That's why I see, see, see. I knew you guys gonna say something. You know, I'm not the, the flashy yeah, t- type. Yeah, tuck that, tuck that motherfucker. Yeah, in. yeah. You know, you know. I usually no, you know what it is. He ride, he ride, he ride public transportation. He ain't trying to get, he ain't trying to get got. That's what I do. Cap. Cap. Um, <laughs> I know, I know, a nigga. Right now with the YouTube channel, they hold you by that damn chain. <laughs> That's crazy. Who? <laughs> Never heard of him. Don't know who it is. He told uh, dicks. <laughs> y'all niggas nasty. Bro. Why, y'all why, why would y'all say that? He yeah. took chains and dicks. What? What are you talking about? <laughs> that nigga's a multitasker. That shit is crazy. <laughs> y'all are sick. Um. <laughs> Uh, Joey L, uh, smooth sucking on that popsicle like a what? Blank, blank, blank. Um, he trying to get ready. He trying to get ready for the PC upgrade, man. That's all. <laughs> Tap Al- in. Alcoholic gamer. Uh, Jaeger and cranberry juice. Enjoy drinks on me. Drinks you, on me. Clean frame. Y'all ready to get foamed up? No, sir. No. Alex, you gonna <laughs> scream that, bro? <laughs> scream. <laughs> Are you going to stream it when it comes out? <laughs> to Man. all 10 people that watch you. I will flag that stream for terrorism, but I'll tune in, though. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to put some I'm gonna put some clips on Twitter, bro. I, I promise you, if BG can get us some sponsorships, i.e. Don't. chairs and fucking Mount Norris chains, I will be a sponsored <laughs> foam star. I'm you gonna, you're going to post them, them, them. Oh, God. No, bro. If you have any Pierre Bourne instrumentals behind you playing foam, phone- young no, duty, bro. young duty instrumentals with the phone stars, that's fire. Like, yeah, yeah, liquor in a pot. Uh, uh, fuck it. Yeah, nah. yeah, nigga, that's he. Oh god, I'm not, I'm not looking forward. You're to that, so bro. scared of soap. Look at you. I am. Um, GC Bato, today's discourse has shown me Xbox fanboys put Xbox in their current position. Also, PlayStation fanboys all of a sudden can't wait to play Xbox games. I'm not gonna lie to Hellblade. I definitely want to play that. Uh, Joe Schmo, Rand. Some games. Okay, I think Rand said this. Some games will shock you. Speaking about <laughs> Xbox titles going to PlayStation, <laughs> they really about to drop major Xbox title Xbox titles like Gears on PlayStation. Maybe the uh, the COD collection uh, to to start. What a time to be alive. Did Rand really say this? I gotta see. I don't think he said the last part. I mean, no, yeah, part. yeah, he just said the the will surprise you part. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Smooth, you already commissioned a new YouTube banner art. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta get ahead yeah. of it. That's Jerry. You, that's Jerry. Don't call him Smooth anymore. That's Jerry. I can't bro. believe it's they dropping... I gotta get this Xbox like, shit off my profile. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I can't believe they dropping their flags day. in the street, bro. You know, pick that. Yo, listen, Xbox dudes, pick y'all flag up. I I can't All let y'all do I this. Look. Bro, what is all these Xbox podcasts going to do going forward, bro? Oh, that's bro, that's bro. Like that's a whole... planet, nigga. And there's a lot of them. There's like four, <laughs> X- four Xbox podcasts for every PlayStation podcast out there, by the way. There's a lot. Oh, of them. E- easily, easily. Yeah. Um, that's what stinks about calling your podcast Xbox yada, yada, yada. Yeah. Yep. I didn't do that when I made my... I mean, I'm an Xbox main player, but yeah. I already knew that, you know... I, I, I didn't have any idea that anything like this would happen. And, and we're not even sure what's going to actually even come from this quite yet. But mm. at the same time, just it, I mean, you better be sure when you make a profile uh, with a company's name attached oh, to it. That's why. Have, yeah. have you talked to true. Addicts Move? I mean, Jerry? Yeah, I mean, we was oh, uh, we wow. did the podcast yesterday. We we had we skipped Patreon because some of the stuff was coming out. I was like, just throw it straight on the the two. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, no, we 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 had discussions, um, and then when we, when we went out last week uh, to BBQs, uh, we were we were talking about it a little bit. But oh yeah, I did link up last week. I saw them pictures, man. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, I did the jiggy foods. That's fine. Good good times, man. Good times. I, I wanna. I just wanna caution. Uh, PlayStation dudes, listen. Nothing is out of the realm of, of out of uh, out of the realm of possibility for PlayStation. So make sure y'all keep buying yeah. them games. I'm they, just saying. Exactly. 
Even with them buying games, bro, you already see what they doing, bro. Look, that's why. That's why I'm not really. I'm laughing at with smooth right now, but that shit ain't funny, bro. As we see, even though you said last place don't dictate what first place do, everything Xbox did that niggas was clowning, <laughs> PlayStation started doing the same shit. So I saw, I saw a nigga on Twitter blame this shit. Oh, what was that game that niggas was? begging for a fucking uh crossplay it wasn't fortnite there was one game that they was fighting so hard to get crossplay for he he said this is stemming all the way back to the because uh, i can see i don't remember i can final see fantasy like, 14 maybe or i think it might have been fortnite because it was one of them like epic where it's like your username is based no, on no, another... fortnite was definitely one that was one then, the i know yeah that was the one where PlayStation got thrown into the mix and like, why aren't you allowing crossplay? Yep. We got all these other games on the mm-hmm. Xbox and Nintendo. Because I think we can all agree that if this all of this actually happens, they we, Microsoft will make a lot of money from it, right? And yeah, listen, of course. I, I could see PlayStation looking at their yep, uh, their, them, fi- yep. their, their financial mm-hmm. report and being like, wait, hold on a second, <laughs> maybe that's not such a bad idea. So yep. anything is possible and they, they, they ain't competing with xbox no more because they're gonna be yeah bro it's like they business part they business partners anyway but like yeah at that point who gives a fuck you know what i'm saying so yeah it can happen um, bro it can happen parasite 82 green great show guys rise of ronin is a skip for me they need to hurry up and bring back the goat tenshu as a remake including the stealth kills i wouldn't be mad at that i did like tenshu uh i played the first one and I don't think I don't think I played two. Um, Emmanuel A one about to butcher this Japanese name. That's racist to assume it's Japanese. Uh, Haro, Har- Haronobu Haronobu Sagaguchi is a living legend. Living legend. Really, BG? That's the Final Fantasy creator. Man, I don't know these niggas' names. I'm just a Final Fantasy fan. I don't Terrible. know. Terrible. That's names. some gummy bears, ain't it? I'm, those are those are good. Make Haronobu it shit, Sakaguchi. Yeah, I'm. I'm a big Final Fantasy guy, but I do not be knowing their names like that. I'm be, I'll be the first one to tell you. I couldn't tell you their names. Um, he's the father of Final Fantasy, and he made Lost Odyssey the best JR, JRPG made to date. Mm. Mm. Okay. Uh, uh, Navenzor. Kojima came out with a stealth game when games were, when games were ungabunga at the time. He pushes these consoles to their limits and isn't afraid to try new things. Okay. Listen, man, I, I love Kojima. I just don't like the, the, the era that he is in right now. I don't like his bag right now. Blessed 011, the whole Xbox slate. Let's go. Okay. Blade X, smooth. It's time to bring back Planet PlayStation. <laughs> oh, I remember man. that. Oh, man. Uh, Parasite 82 Green. This will be bad for everyone, including ponies, because this will mean the end of Xbox and Sony, Sony striving to do, to do better uh, due to competition anymore. I partially do agree <clears throat> with that. Competition is great. It's, it's good. No, it's, it's good. <laughs> competition is great. I don't know what that saying is. I say competition no, is No, you got to say competition is no, good. I, I can't it's say that. Good. You got to say it like that, bitch. I, I can't <laughs> say that. We know what's going on. Have we truly felt like Sony has been striving to do better since the fuck, ex- since this fuck, generation? Fuck, fuck, because, no, because there is a you know there is an argument to be made. Like you know when they say like like the, the like the Bears and the Packers have a rivalry. Is it really a rivalry when when we beat y'all every single time and it's like eighty to two? You know what I'm saying? Is it really a rivalry? Are we really no, in competition? Yeah, what you know, some like, people make that argument, and it's it's a it's a valid argument. Are you know? So, uh, I mean, but that, but that would explain why PlayStation ain't been attempting. I mean, they fucking yeah. fighting, like, you know, yeah, um, you know what's going on. Patrick Morgan for years, channels like Double Barrel and Cult built their respective audiences around the idea of anti PlayStation rhetoric and exclusive content, exclusive content for Xbox. What's going to happen to their communities now? Oh, it's it. I think it might get bigger now. I think because you... go ahead. It, it, it's like. Now there's even more more need for displaced individuals and and like a refugee camp. <laughs> people need it. People need a savior. Their channels might might grow even more. Did now, they you see? Go, out. go ahead. Go ahead, Jack. No, nah, I was going to ask about uh, Destin Legary. If y'all seen that clip of him that was going around? No, I didn't. They oh. they had a clip of him like when uh <laughs> when the when the Activision deal first happened 
And he was like, don't be crying for our games. They ain't going nowhere else type shit. Uh, <laughs> she yeah. got a clip of like, he was like, maybe you do see a Halo or a, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> he he reasoned it with the shit. No, that shit Y'all ain't like seen that clip, bro? Nah. Oh, I've seen, man, I've seen other it, ones. Bro, these dudes don't have no like real opinions of their own, bro. I'd I be telling y'all that. That's what I don't. That's the thing I don't like, bro. Like, I don't care how you feel about the shit, but just actually feel the way you saying. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like all this extra shit, bro. Like it's disingenuous, bro. That's what I be having a problem with the shit. Have you guys ever watched like Sega channels? Because I feel mm. like that's the route Xbox fans are gonna go. Like the the Sega guys are like oh. usually like forty years old with neck beards talking about dude. The Dreamcast was actually pretty underrated, but then PlayStation <laughs> had to come out here and kill it back. In, I think that's how Xbox <laughs> guys are gonna go out. Oh, you know, the no. Xbox One was actually a pretty hidden gem back in 2013. We had Killer Instinct, bro. And Sunset Overdrive. They still talking about 2014, bro. It's like, bro, that I know, was like I 10 think, years ago. I think bro. that's their fate right now, unless things turn <sighs> around completely. I, it's like I don't want to slander that double barrel guy, but he's such, he's so full of shit. That, that guy is you full know, of shit. The only problem I had with him was when, uh, damn, I think it was no, I know what it was. It was when Neil Druckmann they said Naughty Dog wasn't paying their employees or some shit like mm-hmm. that. Which came out to be false. And he was like, I have a background in uh what do you say? He's like, I have a background law in law enforcement. Yeah, yeah. I have a background okay. in law enforcement. I can tell something else there. He's not telling the company. Shut the fuck up, nigga. How did you my guy a Perry Mason? Shut your dumb ass the up. Stuff nigga. he be saying just don't be making no sense. He just be talking straight out of emotion. Like it's just all emotion, bro. Like, what do you even be doing? like, yo. Anyway. Um Machine XP. Oh wait, Patrick Morgan. Oh, wait, I skipped somebody else. My bad. Let me go back down. Uh, oh, shot red 555. Good rant, kids move. Here's a little something. Okay, thank you for your $2. Um, next time, make it five, good brother. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Patrick Morgan, uh, trust me, I'm a certified Sony guy, but I need an Xbox to put their foot on PlayStation's neck. Without competition, my preferred platform will continue to be complacent and not do jack shit because they don't need to. Hmm. Um, yeah, machine XP service computers are not niche. They sell well. And also they make profit off every surface. They sell multiple versions, tablet, laptop, and high end studio services. Okay. I was going to say that, but it wouldn't, it wasn't necessary in y'all's argument, but service is very successful from what I understand. Okay. Hola Mocha smooth. Talk to J dub and sign the Sony contract. Mm. (laughs) The Kratos contract. Yeah. That's like a 360 deal, man. I'll do that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Patrick Morgan. I think Xbox got a mental health abuse case they can pursue. Get that bag, Xbox. Oh, yeah. Smooth. I heard what you said about it might be a mental episode. I need to talk to Beast of Truth, man. I know he going through it right now. That fucking shanty <laughs> town, some kitchen that nigga living in. I know he didn't flip that motherfucker inside out. I don't, but, um, I don't <laughs> think that guy would admit to any like <laughs> thing, though. Anything like, you know. That that's bad for Xbox. I've never really. He's, seen like, it. he's fucking retarded. You know that, right? Yeah, yeah, I know. Okay, cool. Got made up, yeah. Jack. I don't fuck with that weird ass nigga, boy. <laughs> okay, Hola Mocha. These console war, these console warriors were frauds before and after. Indeed. Thank you. Uh, Parasite eighty two. This ish will not make me quit gaming, but if we ever have an industry where most games become Rainbow colored woke garbage. I will quit gaming. Oof. <laughs> All right. Uh, Metro Knight. Xbox are on Control Alt Delete Watch. Oh man, don't hit it. Don't hit the buttons, y'all. Y'all will make it through this. Maybe like y'all wake y'all wake up in the morning and and all of us fake. Oh, man. No, and and like it's not. Y- and y'all feel different. Like maybe this could be a reality that we can live with. Okay, our games go everywhere, but we still enjoy them. Maybe y'all wake up in the morning and feel that way. Right? That's possible. Everything's fresh, you know. You you get shot. Nah, it it hit. You wake up in the morning like, like that. PlayStation. It hit different. You you wake you you know you get shot. You wake up the the next morning like hey, you know. What? You the ain't never woke up. No, nah, when you wake up after a bad day, you be like, well, that did that shit really happen, bro? You be like trying to come to terms with this shit like that. That shit really Break happened. This yeah, shit that's down. Right. Yeah, man. Mm. Uh, the pyromaniac. What happened to hashtag hold the line? I honestly thought we would have we would that's what I really believe this morning. I believe this more. I believe that would be the campaign. It would go stronger. There would be a new slogan. I thought they was gonna like hold on to that. Um but no, they they kind of abandoned that. Amen. Um Voodoo Vic. 
Just last week, Smooth was doing the Carlton dance. Mm. Yeah, man. Just a week ago. Things happen, man. Forget me not. Watch KFG try to spin this into something positive. Who's KFG? Kind of funny games. Oh, oh, oh okay. Um, yeah, this week going to be... This is this week going to feel like, you know, when the Cowboys lose in the playoffs and like everybody's just watching the reactions. It's a great week. Machine XP. Sony has barely, sh- uh, bar- has barely any in-house first party anyways. Right now, no. Dry, barren. So they need, they need to start talking. Um, Emmanuel A1, hold the line, Ham Solo. <laughs> yes, sir. Charles Shire, BG is spot on. Buy your games. Such a simple concept. So simple and easy. And it avoids what you're seeing now. Tarek Ahmed, at the end of the day, Xbox is a pet project for Microsoft. I slightly agree with that. Um, Shot Red 555. Bad, bad economy, government trying to make a civil war in World War III, and now smooth selling his cheeks. What is the world coming to? 2024 is a Man. good year. Right huh? Right huh? <laughs> He's all that, and he said it's a good year. This thing is crazy. All right, all right. JM, JMG, to be fair, this is only the beginning of, of the next gaming crash. And to be honest, I don't think PlayStation will survive if Xbox goes. Clean wipe. Thank you for that, JMG. Uh, clean wipe. Is is that the red string from uh from uh the red string from baloney on BG's neck? Oh man. First, first of all, <laughs> I, I need y'all to put some respect. First of all, the camera, listen, I, I gotta say this. You're gonna roast me for it. The, the camera the makes What's it look carrot? smaller than it actually is. As a, That's as saying something about my th- yeah, oh, man. You no, I'm dead bro. serious. Like, see, if, you, <laughs> if you've seen it in real life, it's not. It's the camera. The camera doing that. You know, it's a nice little thing. But I ain't. I ain't a flashy guy. Like I said, anyway, I ain't trying to have like nothing twenty pound around my neck. You know, what I'm saying it's just something nice. You know, BG. Like I'm big in person. I'm real big. Yeah. Pause. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you know. Yeah. You know. Um. Okay, Tarek Ahmed, Persona 8 exclusivity out of the industry. Why are you Come still on, bro. Why what? are you still attacking that man, bro? Um okay. wait, wait, he's I just realized what he said. <laughs> yeah. Leave that man alone. Oh my god, he's rolling all over the floor right now. Paras- Parasite 82. Green. All I can say is where is this where there is smoke, there is usually fire. So in my head, I am preparing for the worst. Okay, um, gentlemen, it's been an amazing time, and uh, it's time to get out of here so we can uh, so we can reflect on the on this day and uh, do after dark. Um, Alex, your outro. Chef Bubble, um, I don't know about you guys. I'm very excited for this week. Hell Divers Two and Foam Stars multiplayer. I'm finna eat. No persona. Let's get it. Wow. Don't call okay. for it, brother. Yeah. <laughs> um, Jack. Hey man, good podcast, man. Hey, uh we tried to talk to y'all Xbox dudes, man. Y'all told us to shut the fuck up. So hey man, you made your bed, you gotta lie in it, dog. Yeah. Sadly. Okay. You know, it's, Sad, it's un- sa- sadly, you know. I, I, th- I do think it's unfortunate when you try to like r- like have solid reasoning, like actually put the fanboy stuff aside and and tell people like, hey, um, there might be a consequence to this. You might want to be careful. Shut up, pony. All right, my bad, dog. Let me yeah, call it's back. Gonna, it's gonna, they all don't think you hating, bro. That's, yeah, that's you got it, big bro. Man. You got it, big bro. You know, sometimes it be legit, you know, just conversation and reason. Shut up, pony. Okay, my, my bad. Let me stay in my yeah, place. Man. I shouldn't have said nothing, big dog. You know, my, my fault, big bro. Let me fall back. Um, Ham? Yo, yo. Um, I appreciate y'all for inviting me here i was a little under the weather today so i wasn't really feeling the best but um i appreciate the invite um was it alex you said it invited me uh sure. whatever prenup dick whatever wh- whoever that was uh, i should have called you late dick because you didn't hit me up after y'all done started the show already jesus christ late uh, but- crazy. That's- 
<laughs> but, 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 but I appreciate y'all. Uh, uh, shout out to, to to all y'all on the panel. Uh, good to see you again. Smooth uh, Jack move. Yes, sir. Um, but yeah, y'all can catch me on TSWS Gaming. That's my personal channel where I do all of my um, stuff. I talk about Xbox, PlayStation, some Nintendo. I don't really talk too much about Nintendo, but a little bit every now and again, especially probably this year with the whole new nintendo possibly dropping but yeah that's where you can find me and on also at twitter um at ham solo zero five game appreciate y'all blandrew good podcast see you all in two weeks smooth i hope things get better for you all jokes aside all right oh man and last but not least <laughs> we, we put in we put in good hands on our on our good brother smooth we reaching out we extending um, all positivity, all positive energy. We we putting hands on you, good brother. We you gonna make it through this, and uh, we here for you, okay? And uh, you can go do your, you can go do your outro. We, we we here for you, man. I got the nipple. Hey, man. Thanks. Uh, shout out to Ham Soul. Thanks for coming through. Um, looking for some new, you know, graphic arts people. Hit me up for some Twitter changes, <laughs> YouTube changes. Uh, I'm, I'm I need help coming up with a new podcast name and so on. But um, yeah, um, I'll be back with a video at some point, um, probably under a new alias. Um, <laughs> but you know, you know, subscribe, you know, show love to the Weapon Will Patreon, uh, Planet Podcast. Uh, the next episode will be available. You know, Planet on time Podcast. Next <laughs> it's a working title. <laughs> you gotta wait until they at least confirm it because you know Xbox. They've done this before. They've seen y'all reaction and be like, you know what? Maybe we shouldn't do this. So maybe Shit. maybe wait. You, you could do like FK Twigs with like Jerry FK Kiss Move. Ooh. Just wait for the confirmation oh, oh, first. Yes. You know? Yeah. But you no, know, I appreciate it. We good, man. Uh, to all the Xbox uh dudes out there, you know who you are, man. Drink some water. Um, just drink some water, drink some wine, relax, shut off Twitter. Um, uh, because those dudes are ruthless. And I know it's gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt for a few days. So um uh, Let's go. Have you thought about changing your name to non-liberal gamer smooth? Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's actually pretty good, dude. <laughs> Just call it how it is. No filter. Go on, yeah, rumble, bro. You know, damn, you gonna take off like a uh, high swing? Go ahead, bro. Let's find Yo, shit let me make sure that doesn't exist. I feel like <laughs> there might be a guy with that. I don't know. I'm a, I don't know. <laughs> All right, in NLG, right? <laughs> um, <laughs> Jack, he, a ring. he got a nice Jack, ring to it. Look is, <laughs> what's up? Is it, is it hot in the room? You don't need to. Pardon? Is it hot in the room? In, in your room? You no, no, no. No call. No calls need to be made today. Oh, you man. good? Sure you, you good? Make sure okay. they had an arm, man. Yeah, we 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 saw. Right, gonna, right, gonna throw that leg up. He rearing up. I, <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to check on you. Make sure you ain't need to, you know, make a call before a podcast. Man. Yeah. Y'all to my cur- I ain't curse out mouth. I say it's hot as hell in here. That's what I said. I was like, can you turn on the earth, please? That he said, bitch, go touch the thermostat. Well, the, earth just just turned, the earth just turned off as soon as I said that. That's crazy. Ain't Ooh, nobody even here right now. That's go crazy. Go ahead, make a call. <laughs> How did that happen? As soon as I said air, the shit turned off. What the fuck? Actually, I, I realize that might not work. A lot of the gaming industry is full of liberals. I might not get no review codes or nothing. Are you getting review codes like right now? Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, keep doing what you're doing. Uh, I was like, with a name like mm-hmm. that, I might fuck shit up. <laughs> yeah. You curse in front of your parents or no? No. Mm-mm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Man, y'all. Uh, that nigga. was always like the the number one rule, Jack. Yeah, I'm not doing my, that. My parents cuss in front of their parents. Yeah, what the hell, bro? Yeah. Uh, it's a it's a Memphis thing. We're respectable folks Maybe. over here. I don't be, you don't curse out your parents. They're like, you know what I mean? Like, damn, it's hot as fuck here. What the fuck going on? Like, yeah, I mean, yeah, I'm not saying that. Oh, hell no. Nah, I'm not doing that. You ain't, that. Cursing, you ain't oh. cursing them out. I, I'm not, no, I'm not saying that in front of my parents. That's nuts. I don't even, I don't even say nigga in front of my mom. I'm not doing that. Because you're not one. Oh, my God. Yeah, watch your fucking mouth. And you curse in front of me all the time, Alex. So, yeah, you curse in front of your parents, nigga. Who are you, don't big do mama? Who, who the fuck are you? I'm big daddy, bitch. <laughs> Late dick. <laughs> <laughs> Jack be flexing and, no- and nothing happens. <laughs> just be yeah, fat. I, I was waiting for something to pop out, nigga. <laughs> just be you want to take my shirt off, BG, bro? Come on, come man. On, bro. What pack, come what on, doing? pack it up, though. What we really pack doing? Pack I'll pack it, pack it up, up I, I'm pulling out hey, dick next hey, time, nigga. Nah, 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 I'm pulling like, out dick next time, nigga. BG, did that look like a phase two of a boss? Like when he get to phase two, he's up on the shirt. 
pull him out. Dick oh. next time, nigga. Yeah. Who's that face too? Like when he lift up his shirt and it's a whole other face. <laughs> Why did you put like, your leg up, Like bro? Krang God, or something. Damn. Yo, Ooh, that's crazy. He the put his shirt up. Oh, I started God. hearing music play when he pulled that shirt up. I heard. Nigga got a nigga got a whole nother four or uh, phases like Freezer, nigga. Whole other forms. <laughs> it would be, it would be crazy. Like, what if like Jack like lift his leg up and put it behind his head and he transform into the next face? <laughs> Yo, like, swing it like this. <laughs> Should be fun. Oh man! All right, we out of here, Joel. Y'all. That's um, crazy. Woo. I can't wait to play Deanna Jones. That shit we'll gonna be see, lit. We'll see y'all in two weeks. Peace. Love you too, BG. Oh man, horrible show. You have to pull shit, man. No. Why? Right. Plenty of tried and plenty of fell. You could run and hide, but you can't dodge what's in my weapon well. Name another pot that's big or small, I'm contesting it still. Name another spot or any section, I'm king of the hell. Name another squad that wanna test it, I'm beating them still. Bye. No, you can't dodge what's in my weapon well. Name another pot that's big or small, I'm contesting it still. Name another spot or any section, I'm king of the hell. Right. I know my bro can't got me. See, that's a black bond that can't be broken. Nah. No Idris Alba, I'm a black bond. They in a scope and all black panel. You can never try playing us token. Nope. Yeah, we playing games, but now one of us playing a joking. Not at For all. Real. <laughs> oh, wait. Then Jack Move came in with the trophies. Damn. God in the lane of his own. Like, how can you gamers approach me? How? So kids smooth the body. You went halo. Then sing your family an angel emoji. Damn. Oh, fool. Should've known, dog. you ain't got enough series X's Best Blind, got all the answers, no, you ain't gotta ask Siri questions All the latest gaming news, gotta be here to check it yeah. Since 2015 and beyond, I'm just here to respect it Woo. When you at the top of your tier, it's a blessing Woo. From the bottom, so no way we appear to be desperate nah. This for anybody doubting, I'm clearing a message yeah. And if you ever had a problem, plenty I'm here to correct you Plenty of fell, you could run and hide, but you can't dodge what's in my weapon well Name another pot that's big or small, I'm contesting it still Name another spot or any section, I'm king of the hell Name another squad that wanna test it, I'm beating them still no, you can't dodge what's in my weapon well Name another pot that's big or small, I'm contesting it still Name another spot or any section, I'm king of the hill Right I know what it is, man Weapon World Podcast, y'all know what we got in the building, man We got BG We got Care Smooth, we got Jack Move, we got Black Bond, I mean Blandrew, I mean, what you You can't all strafe us, bro, like, the strafe too strong